This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater. The Esperanto Teacher A Simple Course for Non Grammarians by Helen Fryer. Tenth Edition. Perhaps to no one is Esperanto of more service than to the non grammarian. It gives him for a minimum expenditure of time and money a valuable insight into the principles of grammar and the meaning of words, while enabling him, after only a few months of study, to get into communication with his fellow men in all parts of the world. To place these advantages within easy reach of all is the aim of this little book. Written by an experienced teacher, revised by Mr. E. A. Millage, and based on the exercises of Dr. Zamenhof himself, it merits the fullest confidence of the student, and may be heartily commended to all into whose hands it may come. W. W. Padfield Preface This little book has been prepared in the hope of helping those who, having forgotten the lessons in grammar which they received at school, find some difficulty in learning Esperanto from the existing textbooks. It is hoped it will be found useful not only for solitary students, but also for classwork. The exercises are taken chiefly from the Exerzaro of Dr. Zamenhof. The compiler also acknowledges her indebtedness especially to the standard course of Esperanto by Mr. G. W. Bullen, and to the Esperanto Grammar and Commentary by Major General George Cox, and while accepting the whole responsibility for all inaccuracies and crudenesses, she desires to thank all who have helped in the preparation, and foremost among them Mr. W. W. Padfield of Ipswich, for advice and encouragement throughout the work, and to Mr. E. A. Millage for his unfailing kindness and invaluable counsel and help in its preparation and revision. Manner of Using the Book The student is strongly advised to cultivate the habit of thinking in Esperanto from the very beginning of the study. To do this, he should try to realize the idea mentally without putting it into English words. E.g., when learning the word rosa or colombo, let him bring the object itself before his mind's eye, instead of repeating rosa, rose, colombo, pigeon, or with the sentence la suno brilas, the sun shines, let him picture the sun shining. Having studied the lesson and learned the vocabulary, he should read the exercise, repeating each sentence aloud until he has become familiar with it and can pronounce it freely. Then, turning to the English translation at the end of the book, he should write the exercise into Esperanto, compare it with the original, and relearn and rewrite if necessary. Although this method may require a little more time and trouble at first, the greater facility gained in speaking the language will well repay the outlay. After mastering this book, the student should take some reader, such as Unua Lego Libro by Dr. Cabe, and then proceed to the Fundamenta Crestomatio, the standard work on Esperanto by Dr. Zamenhof. A very good Esperanto to English vocabulary is to be found in the Esperanto key, halfpenny, or in the whole of Esperanto for a penny. The Origin and Aim of Esperanto A few words as to the origin of Esperanto will perhaps not be out of place here. The author of the language, Dr. Ludwig Zamenhof, a Polish Jew, was born on December 3rd, 1859, at Bielowstok in Poland, a town whose inhabitants are of four distinct races, 
Poles, Russians, Germans, and Jews, each with their own language and customs, and often at open enmity with each other. Taught at home that all men are brethren, Zamenhof found everywhere around him outside the denial of this teaching, and even as a child came to the conclusion that the races hated because they could not understand each other. Feeling keenly, too, the disabilities under which his people specially laboured, being cut off by their language from the people among whom they lived, while too proud to learn the language of their persecutors, he set himself to invent a language which should be neutral, and therefore not require any sacrifice of pride on the part of any race. Interesting as is the story of Zamenhof's attempts and difficulties, it must suffice here to say that at the end of 1878 the new language was sufficiently advanced for him to impart it to schoolfellows like-minded with himself, and on December 17th of that year they fated its birth and sang a hymn in the new language, celebrating the reign of unity and peace, which should be brought about by its means. All mankind must be united in one family, but the enthusiasm of its first followers died down under the derision they encountered, and for nine years more Zamenhof worked in secret at his language, translating, composing, writing original articles, improving, polishing, till in 1887 he published his first book under the title of An International Language by Dr. Esperanto. Esperanto means one who hopes. That the idea which impelled the young Zamenhof to undertake such a work is still the mainspring of his devotion to the cause is shown by the following extract from his opening speech at the Second International Esperanto Congress in 1906. We are all conscious that it is not the thought of its practical utility which inspires us to work for Esperanto, but only the thought of the important and holy idea which underlies an international language. This idea, you all know, is that of brotherhood and justice among all peoples. And again, in his presidential address at the Third Esperanto Congress, held this year, 1907, at Cambridge, he said, We are constantly repeating that we do not wish to interfere in the internal life of the nations, but only to build a bridge between the peoples. The ideal aim of Esperantists, never until now exactly formulated, but always clearly felt, is to establish a neutral foundation on which the various races of mankind may hold peaceful, brotherly intercourse, without intruding on each other their racial differences. Sur neutrala lingua fundamento, comprenante unulalian, la popoloi faro sen consento, unu grandan rondon familian. On the foundation of a neutral language, understanding one another, the peoples will form in agreement one great family circle. Helen Fryer, December. 1907 End of section This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater The Esperanto Teacher a Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer The Alphabet, Sounds of the Letters In Esperanto, each letter has only one sound, and each sound is represented in only one way. The words are pronounced exactly as spelt, every letter being sounded. Those consonants, which in English have one simple sound only, are exactly the same in Esperanto. They are B, D, F, K, L, M, N, P, R, T, 
T, V, Z. R must be well rolled. Q, W, X, Y are not used. C, G, H, S, which in English represent more than one sound, and J, are also used with the mark circumflex. Tso, cho, go, jo, ho, ho, yo, jo, so, sho. C, whose two English sounds are represented by K and S, has the sound of ts, as in its, tsar. C with a circumflex, like ch, ch in church, match. G, hard as in go, gig, gun. G with a circumflex, soft, as in gentle, gem, or like J in just, Jew. H, well breathed as in horse, home, how. H with a circumflex, strongly breathed, and in the throat, as in the Scotch word loch. Ask any Scotsman to pronounce it. H with a circumflex occurs but seldom. It is in the Irish GH in loch, and the Welsh C H J like Y in Yes you or the J in Hallelujah Fjord J with circumflex like the S in Pleasure or the French J as in Dejeuner Jaune de Arc S like the S S in ass, less, never like S in rose. S with a circumflex, like S H in she, shall, ship, or the S in sugar, sure. In newspapers, etc., which have not the proper type, C with a circumflex, G with a circumflex, H with a circumflex, J with a circumflex, S with a circumflex, are often replaced by CH, GH, HH, JH, SH, or by C apostrophe, G apostrophe, H apostrophe, J apostrophe, S apostrophe, and U with a breve by U. U with a breve is also a consonant, and has the sound of W in we, as Europo, or U in persuade. The vowels A, E, I, O, U have not the English, but the continental sounds. A always like the A in ah, or in tart. E like the E in bend, but broader, like E in there. I is a sound between E in meet and I in is. O, like O in for, or in the Scottish no, or AU in ought. U, like the double O in boot, poor. A, E, I, O, U are all simple sounds. That is, the mouth is kept in one position while they are being sounded. In learning them, lengthen them out, and be careful not to alter the position of the mouth, however long they are drawn out. In the compound sounds given below, the shape of the mouth changes. 
to get the correct pronunciation, sound each letter fully and distinctly, gradually bringing them closer until they run together, when they become almost as follows. I. I. Nearly like the I in aisle, or I in nice, fine. A. Nearly like A in vain. Oi. Oi. Nearly like Oi in boy, or Oi in void. Oi. Oi. Nearly like Oi in hallelujah. Ow, like ow, or nearly ow in house, pronounced broadly, house. Ew, like ew, or aw in they were, aw in wayward. Practice saying, aya. Eya, Oya, Uya, Awa, Ewa, several times quickly, then gradually drop the final A. Aya, Eya, Oya, Uya, Awa, Ewa, Ai, A, Oi, Ui, Au, El. Accent. The accent or stress is always placed on the syllable before the last, as espero, esperanto, esperantisto, esperantistino, yuna, yunulo, yunularo. All the syllables must be clearly pronounced, not slurred over. Exercise in pronunciation. Ah, as in bath, patra, lana, agrabla, malvarma, clara, bafado. E, as in bend, bela, mem, fenestro, vendredo, treege, letero. E, as in see, mi, ili, imiti. Visiti, trinki, insisti. O, as in for. Homo, roso, colombo, dormo, the R rolled. Morto, popolo. U. As in boot, unu, doom, brulu, surtuto, vulturo, murmuri. I, as in nice, ein, kai. Raito, Tailoro, Fairo, Belai, A, as in play, Veino, Heimo, Play, Heito, Oi, as in boy, 
patroi, foino, homoin, koino, soilo, konkoi, ui, as in hallelujah, tui, chiui, tiui, au, as in cow, antau, laubo, fraulino, causi, auscultu, audi, eu, like eu, europo, Neuralgio, Eucaristo, Reumatismo, Tso, equals Tz in bits, Celo, Fazila, Belezzo, Oficiro, Pazzo, Ticonio, Zolo, Cho, equals Ch in match, Chu, Ech, Che, Chambro, Cerpi, Tranchi, Riccia, Go, as in good. Longa, legi, genuo, gento, gliti, grosso. Jo, as in gem. Gemi, gis, giardeno, saggia. Mangi, Rejo, Ho, breathed, Haro, Hirundo, Haringo, Historio, Hedero, Himno, Ho, in throat, Chemio, Cholero, Mechanico, echo, chaoso. Yo, like why. Yuna, maesta, signoro, cayero, yes, ya. Jo equals j. Bonajo, jeti, journalo, jus, jaudo, jaluso, so, s, super, ses, stari, trans, vespero, swingi, sho, Sh, fresha, shelo, kushi, stupo, shviti, shveli, ks, exerzo, exemplo, exameno, executi, exili, existi. Kv, kvar, kvin, kvieta, kvankam, kverko, kvazau. Gv, gvidi, lingvo, kn, knabo, knedi, stz, stzio. Sceno, sceptro, 
exciti, extenso, scienzo, cento, sento, celo, 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 solo, colo, ci, ci, et, et, cruzzo, cruccio, pago, pagio, regi, regi, segi, seggio, horo, horo, pesi, pesi, stelo, stelo, sango, sango, verso, versi, disiri, disciri, gusta, giusta, stupo, stupo, stalo, stalo, posto, posto, reservi, reservi, rugigi, rugigi, ricigi, ricigi, ricezzo, ftizo, aero, oceano, feino, giui, perei, pereu, poiro, ciuiara, voioi, trousi, furrampi, cuiri, squamo, zoologio, enui, detru, spruzzi, ruini, januaro, februaro, lieno, hodiao, hierao, hungaruio, neapolo, sciuro. Note. A useful mnemonic for the Esperanto vowels is pa, pear, peer, poor, poor. But the sounds should not be dragged. It is helpful to note that the English words mate, rain, pain, bend, meet, beat, feel, lady, grow, loan, soft, mute, yes, mule, as pronounced in London and south of England, would be written in Esperanto thus, mate, rain, pain, bend, meet, beat, feel, lady, grow, loan, soft, mute, yes, mule. End of the alphabet. Sounds of the letters. Lesson 1 of the Esperanto Teacher This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater the Esperanto Teacher by Helen Fryer, Lesson 1 In Esperanto, a word generally consists of an unchanging part or root, which expresses the idea, and an ending which shows the use of the word, that is, whether it is a name, a describing word, etc. By changing the ending, the use of the word is changed. Notice carefully the words given below which end in O. It will be seen that they are all names. In Esperanto, every name ends in O. 
In grammar, names are called nouns. Notice further the words which end in as. They all express doing or being, action or state, which is going on at the present time, or which is a custom at the present time. The words a, an, are not expressed. The is translated by la. Vocabulary Patro Father Patro Frato Brother Frato Filo Son Filo Teodoro Theodore Teodoro Tailoro Taylor, Tailoro, Leono, Lion, Leono, Besto, Animal, Besto, Colombo, Pigeon, Colombo, Beardo, Bird, Beardo, Roso, Rose, Rosso Floro Flower Floro Pomo Apple Pomo Suno Sun Suno Terro Earth Ground Terro Stono Stone Stono Chambro, room, chambro. Fenestro, window, fenestro. Libro, book, libro. Crayono, pencil, crayono. Plumo, pen, plumo. Chapelo. Hat, chapelo. Domo, house, domo. Arbo, tree, arbo. Estas, is, are, am, estas. Apartenas, belongs, apartenas. Brilas shines, brilas. Cushas lies, cushas. Staras stands, staras. La, the, la. Kai and kai. Yes. Yes, yes. Ne, no, not, ne. Al, to, towards, al. Sur, on, sur. En, in, en. Apud, by, near, beside. Apud. De, of, from, de. Kie, where, kie. Kio, what thing, kio. Yenestas, here is, yenestas. Chu, whether. Asks a question. Chu? Antau. Before. In front of. Antau. Patro kai frato. Leono estas pesto. Rosso estas floro. Kai colombo estas birdo. La rozo apartenas al 
Teodoro. La suno brilas. La patro estas Tailoro. Kie estas la libro kaj la krajono? Jen estas pomo. Sur la tero kuŝas ŝtono. Sur la fenestro kuŝas krajono kaj plumo. La filo staras apud la patro. Jen kuŝas la ĉapelo de la patro. La patro estas en la ĉambro. Antaŭ la domo staras arbo. Kio estas leono? Kio estas rozo? Kio brilas? Kio estas la patro? Kie estas la patro? Kio estas sur la fenestro? Kie estas la plumo? Ĉu leono estas besto? Jes, leono estas besto. Ĉu rozo estas birdo? Ne. Rozo ne estas birdo, rozo estas floro. Key to exercise A father and a brother A lion is an animal A rose is a flower And a pigeon is a bird The rose belongs to Theodore the sun shines. The father is a tailor. Where are the book and the pencil? Here is an apple. On the ground lies a stone. On the window lie a pencil and a pen. The sun stands by the father. Here lies the hat of the father, the father's hat. The father is in the room. Before the house is a tree, or stands a tree. What is a lion? What is a rose? What shines? What is the father? Where is the father? What is on the window? Where is the pen? Is a lion an animal? Yes, a lion is an animal. Is a rose a bird? No, a rose is not a bird. A rose is a flower. End of Lesson 1 Lesson 2 of the Esperanto Teacher This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians by Helen Fryer Lesson 2 Every describing word, that is, Every word which tells the kind or quality of a person or thing ends in a, ah, as granda, large, bruja, red. A describing word is called an adjective. Vocabulary Bella, beautiful. Bella Blanca White Blanca Blua Blue Blua Bona Good Bona Fidela Faithful Fidela Forta, strong, forta. Fresha, fresh, fresha. Yuna, 
young, yuna, matura, mature, ripe, matura, nova, new, nova, nutra, nutritious, nutra, pura, pure, clean, pura, richa, rich, richa, sana, well, healthy, sana, cielo, sky, heaven, cielo, festo, holiday, festo, Fraulino, maiden lady, miss. Fraulino. Homo, man, human being. Homo. Hundo, dog. Hundo. Infano, child. Infano. Johano. John, Johano, Cairo, exercise book, Cairo, Lacto, milk, Lacto, Mano, hand, Mano, Nejo, snow, Nejo, Pano, Bread, pano, papero, paper, papero, tablo, table, tablo, vino, wine, vino, onclo, uncle, onclo, plea, more. Pli. Ol, than, ol. Said, but, said. Tre, very, tre. La patro estas sana. Infano. Ne estas matura homo. La cielo estas blua. Leono estas forta. La patro estas bona. La mano de Johano estas pura. Papero estas blanca. Blanca papero cuya sur la tablo. Yen estas la cayero de la yuna fraulino. Sur la cielo staras la bella suno. La papero estas tre blanca. Sed la nejo estas Pli blanca. Lacto estas pli nutra ol vino. La pano estas fresha. La onclo estas pli richa ol la frato. Yen cushas ruja roso. La hundo estas tre fidela. La libro estas nova. Key to exercise. The father is well. A child is not a mature man. The sky is blue. A lion is strong. The father is good.
The hand of John, John's hand, is clean. Some, or a, paper is white. White paper lies on the table. Here is the young lady's exercise book. In the sky stands the beautiful sun. The paper is very white, but the snow is more white, whiter. Milk is more nutritious than wine. The bread is fresh. The uncle is richer than the brother. Here lies a red rose. The dog is very faithful. The book is new. End of Lesson 2、Lesson、three of The Esperanto Teacher: A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer, Lesson Three. When the name noun is required to denote more than one of the persons or things for which it stands, the letter J in Esperanto called yo is added to it, as rosoi. Roses, Colomboi, pigeons, and then every describing word, adjective, which belongs to it, must also have yo, as rujai, rosoi, red roses, la colomboi estas belai, the pigeons are beautiful. When the noun stands for more than one, it is said to be plural. Yo is the sign of the plural. Vocabulary. Yaro. Year. Yaro. Canto. Song. Canto. Knabo, boy, knabo. Lilio, lily, lilio. Tranchilo, knife, tranchilo. Dento, tooth, dento. Agrabla, agreeable. Pleasant, agrabla. Acra, sharp, acra. Delicata, delicate, delicata. Flugas, fly, flies, flugas. Diligenta, diligent, diligenta. Lundo, Monday, Lundo. Mardo, Tuesday, Mardo. Mercredo, Wednesday, Mercredo. Jaudo, Thursday, Jaudo. Vendredo, Friday, Vendredo. Sabato, Saturday, Sabato. Dimancho, Sunday, Dimancho. La birdoi, flugas. La canto de la birdoi estas agrabla. Kie estas la knaboi? La patroi estas sanai. 
infanoi ne estas maturai homoi. Leonoi estas fortai. La manoi de Johano estas purai. Yen estas la cayeroi de la junai fraulinoi. La oncloi estas pli richai ol la fratoi. La hundoi estas tre fidelai. Blancai paperoi cusha sur la tablo. En la chambro estas novai chapeloi. Kie estas la acrai tranchiloi? Bonai infanoi estas diligentai. Ien cushas purai blancai delicatai lilioi. La dentoi de leonoi estas acrai. Key to exercise. The birds fly. The song of the birds is pleasant. Where are the boys? The fathers are well. Children are not mature men. Lions are strong. John's hands are clean. Here are the young ladies' exercise books. The uncles are richer than the brothers. The dogs are very faithful. White papers lie on the table. In the room are new hats. Where are the sharp knives? Good children are diligent. Here lie pure white delicate lilies. The teeth of lions are sharp. End of Lesson 3、Lesson、four of the Esperanto Teacher This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non grammarians by Helen Fryer. Lesson four. Me. I. Me. Tsi. Thou. Tsi. Li. He. Li. She. She, she, G, it, G, knee, we, knee, V, you, V, Ely, they, Ely, C, reflexive, C lesson seven. C. Oni, one, they, people, oni. The above words are called pronouns because they are used instead of repeating the noun. By adding a, the pronouns are made to denote a quality. In this case, possession, as. Mia libro, my book. Via pomo, your apple. Ilia infano, their child. Mia, my, mine. Mia. Tia, thy, thine. Tia. Leah, his, Leah.
she her hers she Gia it's Gia Nia R ours Nia Via your yours Via Ilia there theirs Ilia Sia reflexive See Lesson 7. See ya. When the name to which these pronoun adjectives belong is plural, they must of course take yo, as miai libroi, my books, viai pomoi, your apples, iliai infanoi, their children. In speaking of relations and parts of the body, la is often used instead of mia, lia, etc., as la filo staras apud la patro. The son stands by the father or his father. For mine, ours, etc., mia, nia, etc., may be used either with or without la, as la libro estas mia, or la libro estas la mia, the book is mine. Oni is used for one, they, people. When these words are indefinite in meaning, as in the sentences, here one can speak fearlessly. Tie chi oni povas maltime paroli. They say that he is rich. Oni diras ke li estas richa. People often eat too quickly. Oni ofte manjas tro rapide. Vocabulary Avo Grandfather Avo Amico Friend Amico Giardeno Garden Giardeno Knabino Girl Knabino Russo Russian Russo Signoro Gentleman Mr. Sir Signoro Vero Truth Vero Venas Comes Venas Iras Goes Iras Legas, reads, legas. Scribas, writes, scribas. Bloras, cry, cries, bloras. Volas, wills, wishes, volas. Diras, says, diras. Sidas, sits, sidas. Venkas, conquers, venkas. Manji, to eat, manji. Gentila, polite, gentila. Silente, silently, silente. Kiu. Who, which, that, kiu, chiu, each one, every, chiu, chiui, all, all the, chiui, 
la play the most la play tiel as so tiel kiel as kiel nun now nun ankau also ankau chiam always chiam el out of el char because for char mi legas vi scribas li estas knabo kaj ŝi estas knabino ni estas homoj vi estas infanoj ili estas rusoj kie estas la knaboj ili estas en la ĝardeno kie estas la knabinoj ili ankaŭ estas en la ĝardeno kie estas la tranĉiloj ili kuŝas sur la tablo la infano ploras ĉar ĝi volas manĝi sinjoro vi estas negentila sinjoroj vi estas negentilaj oni diras ke la vero ĉiam venkas la domo apartenas al li mi venas de la avo kaj mi iras nun al la onklo mi estas tiel forta kiel vi nun mi legas vi legas kaj li legas ni ĉiuj legas vi skribas kaj la infanoj skribas ili ĉiuj sidas silente kaj skribas mia hundo vi estas tre fidela li estas mia onklo ĉar mia patro estas lia frato el ĉiuj miaj infanoj Ernesto estas la plej juna. Lia patro kaj liaj fratoj estas en la ĝardeno. Ŝia onklo estas en la domo. Kie estas viaj libroj? Niaj libroj kuŝas sur la tablo. Iliaj krajonoj kaj ilia papero ankaŭ kuŝas sur la tablo. Kiu estas en la ĉambro? Kiuj estas en la ĉambro? La sinjoro kiu legas estas mia amiko. La sinjoro al kiu vi skribas estas tajloro. Kio kuŝas sur la tablo? Key to exercise. I read, you write. He is a boy, and she is a girl. We are men. You are children. They are Russians. Where are the boys? They are in the garden. Where are the girls? They also are in the garden. Where are the knives? They lie on the table. The child cries, because it wants to eat. Sir, you are impolite. Gentlemen, you are impolite. They say that the truth always conquers. The house belongs to him. I come from grandfather, and I go now to the uncle. 
I am as strong as you. Now I read, you read, and he reads, we all read. You write, and the children write. They all sit silent and write. My dog, you are very faithful. He is my uncle, for my father is his brother. Of all my children, Ernest is the youngest. His father and his brothers are in the garden. Her uncle is in the house. Where are your books? Our books lie on the table. Their pencils and their paper also lie on the table. Who is in the room? Who are in the room? The gentleman who is reading is my friend. The gentleman to whom you are writing is a tailor. What is lying on the table? End of Lesson 4「Lesson 5 of the Esperanto Teacher – This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher – A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer Lesson 5 – The Use of Final no. In order to understand the meaning of a sentence, it is necessary to be able to recognize clearly and unmistakably what it is that is spoken about, that is, what the subject of the sentence is. In English, this is often to be recognized only by its position in the sentence. For instance, the three words visited, John, George can be arranged to mean two entirely different things, either John visited George or George visited John. In teaching Esperanto to children, it is well to make sure before going further that they thoroughly understand what the subject is. The subject is that which we think or speak about. The word which stands for it is the subject of the sentence. The children may be required to underline the subject of each sentence in a suitable piece of prose or verse. In Esperanto, the sense does not depend on the arrangement. Johanno visitis Georgon, and Georgon visitis Johanno mean exactly the same thing, that John visited George. The N at the end of Georgon, showing that Georgon is not the subject. There is no want of clearness about the following Esperanto sentences absurd as they are in English. La patron mordis la hundo. The father bit the dog, meaning the dog bit the father. La infanon gratis la cato. The child scratched the cat, meaning the cat scratched the child. La birdoin Pafis Johano. The birds shot John, meaning John shot the birds. La musoin captis la knabo. The mice caught the boy, meaning the boy caught the mice. La coquidon mangis la onclo. The chicken ate the uncle, meaning the uncle ate the chicken. La bildon pentris la pentristo. The picture painted the painter, meaning the painter painted the picture. La fishoin vendis la fishisto. The fish sold the fisherman, meaning the fisherman sold the fish. In these sentences, 
the subjects are at once seen to be hundo, gato, johano, knabo, onclo, pentristo, fishisto. For the final n in patron, infanon, birdoin, musoin, coquidon, bildon, fishoin, distinguishes these words from the subject. The use of n renders clear sentences that are not clear in English. John loves Mary more than George may mean more than John loves George or more than George loves Mary. In Esperanto it is quite clear. Johanno amas Marion pli ol Georgo means more than George loves Mary because Georgo is the subject of the second elliptical sentence. But Johanno amas Marion pliol Georgon means more than John loves George because the final N in Georgon shows this to be not the subject. There are cases, however, in which it is not necessary to add N, the noun or pronoun being distinguished from the subject in another way. Examples are found in the first exercise. Sur la terra kushas stono. On the ground lies a stone. Antau la pordo staras arbo. Before the door stands a tree. Notwithstanding their position, ground and door are seen to be not the subject, because before them are the words on, before, which connect them with the rest of the sentence. It is on the ground, before the door, so with other sentences. The words on, before, and others given in Lesson 26 are called prepositions. Pre equals before. The noun or pronoun which follows them can never be the subject of the sentence. Remember then that N is added to every noun and pronoun other than the subject unless it has a preposition before it. The explanation usually given for the use of final N is that N is added to nouns and pronouns a. In the accusative case, the direct object. B. When the preposition is omitted. The explanation given above seems to me, however, to be much simpler. Another use of final N is given later. Lesson 12. Lesson 26. When the noun takes N, any adjective which belongs to it must also take N, as li donas al mi Belan rujan floron. He gives me a beautiful red flower. Li donas al mi belain rujain floroin. He gives me beautiful red flowers. Vocabulary. Letero. Letter. Letero. Litero, letter of alphabet, litero. Festo, festival, holiday, festo. Tago, day, tago. Nocto, night, nocto. Mateno, morning. Mateno. Multai. Many. Multai. Obstina. Obstinate. Obstina. Joya. Joyful. Joyous. Joya. Hela. Bright. Clear. Hela. 
amas, loves, amas, vidas, sees, vidas, gonas, knows, gonas, havas, has, possesses, havas, luno, moon, luno, stelo, star, stelo, vintro, winter, vintro, forno, stove, forno, edzino, wife, edzino, pala, pale, pala, desiras, desires, wishes, desiras, erraras, errs, is wrong, erraras, vocas, calls, vocas, hatas, heats, hatas, hodiao, today, hodiao, Malpli, less, malpli. Kiam, when, kiam. Kia, what kind, kia. Mi vidas leonon. Mi vidas leonoin. Mi legas libron. Mi legas libroin. Mi amas la patron. Mi conas Johanon. La patro ne legas libron, sed li scribas leteron. Mi ne amas obstinain homoin. Mi desiras al vi. Bonan tagon, signoro. Bonan matenon. Joyan feston, mi desiras al vi. Kia joya festo estas hodiao? En la tago ni vidas la helan sunon. Kai en la nocto Ni vidas la palan lunon, kai la belain steloin. Ni havas pli freshan panon ol vi. Ne, vi errara, signoro, via pano estas mal pli fresha ol mia. Ni vocas la knabon, kai li venos. En la vintro, oni hetas la fornoin. Kiam oni estas riccia, oni havas multain amicoin. Li amas min, sed mi lin ne amas. Signoro po, Kai lia edzino tre amas miain infanoin. Mi ankao tre amas iliain infanoin. Mi ne conas la signoron kiu legas. Key to exercise. I see a lion. I see lions. I am reading a book, or I read a book. I am reading books, or I read books. I love the father. I know John. The father is not reading a book, but he is writing a letter. I do not like obstinate people. 
I wish you good day, sir. Good morning. A joyous festival, a pleasant holiday, I wish you. What a joyful festival it is today. In the day we see the bright sun, and at night we see the pale moon and the beautiful stars. We have newer bread than you. No, you are wrong, sir. Your bread is less new than mine. We call the boy, and he comes. In the winter they heap the stoves. When one is rich, one has many friends. He loves me, but I do not love him. Mr. P. and his wife love my children very much. I also love theirs very much. I do not know the gentleman who is reading. End of Lesson 5「Lesson six of the Esperanto Teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians by Helen Fryer. Lesson six. We have seen already that the words which end in us express the idea of doing action or of being state and that they assert that this action or state is going on or is a custom at the present time as mi vidas i see she estas she is ili suferas they suffer they are suffering to say that the action or state took place at some past time is is used as mi vidis i saw she estis she was ili suferis they suffered they were suffering to say that the action or state will take place at some time to come in the future os is used as mi vidos i shall see she estos she will be ili suferos they will suffer they will be suffering words which assert something or which express the idea of doing or of being are called verbs the root only of the verbs will now be given in the vocabulary without the termination vocabulary Historio, history, historio. Cuso, cousin, cuso. Plesuro, pleasure, plesuro. Horlogio, clock, horlogio. Laboro, work, laboro. Popolo, a people, popolo. Virino, woman, virino. Aggio, age, aggio. Yaro, year, yaro. Permesso, permission, permesso. Respond, answer, respond. Far, do, make, far. Forpel, drive away, forpel. Ritsev, receive, get, ritsev. Don, give, don. Trov, find, trov. Rencont, meet. Rencont. Salut. Greet. Salute. Salut. Racont. Relate. Tell. Racont. Visit. 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 Dorm. Sleep. Dorm. 
Vic, wake, Vic. Search, seek, search. Fin, end, fin. Team, fear, team. Ating, reach to, ating. Surda, deaf, surda. Muta, dumb, muta. Dolcha, sweet, dolcha. Three, three, three. Deck queen, fifteen, deck queen. Kial, why, kial. Hierau, yesterday, hierau. Morgau, tomorrow, morgau. Antau, before, antau. Post, after, post. Yam, already, yam. Yamne, no more, yamne. Ankorau, still, yet, ankorau. Kial vi ne respondas al mi? Chu vi estas surda au muta? Kion vi faras? La knabo forpelis la birdoin. De la patro mi ricevis libron, kaj de la frato mi ricevis plumon. La patro donis al mi dolcian pomon. Jen estas la pomo, kiun mi trovis. Hierau mi renkontis vian filon, kaj li gentile salutis min. Antau tri tagoi, Mi visitis vian cuson, kai mia visito faris al li plezuron. Kiam mi venis al li, li dormis, sed milin vecis. Mi racontos al vi historion. Ciu vi diros al mi la veron. Hodiao estas sabato, kai morgao estos dimancho. Hiera estis vendredo. Kai post morgao estos lundo. Chu viam trovis vian horlogion? Mi gin ancora ne sercis. Chiam mi finos mian laboron, mi sercios mian horlogion. Sed mi timas, che mi gin iam ne trovos. Se vinin vencos, la popolo diros, che nur virinoin vi vencis. Chiam vi atingos la agion de decfin iaroi, vi ricevos la permeson. Key to exercise. Why do you not answer me? Are you deaf or dumb? What are you doing? The boy drove away the birds. From the father I received a book, and from the brother I received a pen. The father gave me a sweet apple. Here is the apple which I found. Yesterday I met your son, and he politely greeted me. Three days ago, before three days, I visited your cousin, and my visit gave to him pleasure. When I came to him, he was sleeping, but I woke him. I will relate to you a story. Will you tell me the truth? Today is Saturday, and tomorrow will be Sunday. Yesterday was Friday and the day after tomorrow will be Monday. Have you yet found your watch? I have not yet looked for it. When I have finished my work, I will look for my watch, but I fear that I shall not find it again. If you conquer us, the people will say that only women you conquered. When you attain the age of fifteen years, you will receive the permission. End of Lesson 6 Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater Lesson 7 of The Esperanto Teacher This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians by Helen Fryer. Lesson 7 Confusion is apt to occur in English, in the use of the words him, her, it, them, his, hers, its, their, 
e.g. John loves his brother and his children. Whose children, John's or his brother's? The boys brought to their fathers their hats. Whose hats, the boys or their fathers? She gave her sister her book. Whose book, her own or her sister's? This confusion is avoided in Esperanto by the use of the pronoun si, meaning himself, herself, itself, themselves, and siya, meaning his own, her own, its own, their own. Si, sin, siya, refers to the subject of the sentence in which it occurs. Therefore, in the sentence John loves his brother and his son, it must be Johanno amas sian fraton kai sian filon. If it is his own son, because John is the subject, but we must say lian filon if the brother's son is meant. La knaboj al portis al siaj patroj siajn ĉapelojn means the boys brought to their fathers their own hats, because boys is the subject. But if we mean the father's hats, it must be iliain chapeloin. She gave to her sister her book, must be shidonis al sia fratino sian libron, if it were her own book. But shidonis al sia frato shian libron, if it were her sister's book. Lidiris al si means he said to himself, but li diris al li means that he said it to another person. Si, sia, can only refer to the subject. It cannot be the subject itself or any part of it. Therefore we must say, Signor Ropo, kai lia edzino, tre amas miain infanoin, because the subject is Signor Ropo, kai lia edzino. Mem, self, is only used for emphasis, e.g. mimem, my own self. Vocabulary Gasto, guest, gasto. Vespero, evening, vespero. Manjo, meal, manjo. Pupo, doll, pupo. Aventuro, Adventure, avventuro. Palazzo, palace, palazzo. Zorg, take care of, zorg. Guard, guard, guard. Am, love, am. Accompan, accompany, accompan. Love, wash. Love. Montre, show. Montre. Flag, tend, take care of. Flag. Reven, come back. Reven. Pri, concerning, about. Pri. Gis, until, as far as. Gis. Tutte, quite. Holy, tutte, tutte ne, not at all, tutte ne. Kun, with, kun, el, out of, el. Elir, go out of, elir. Mi amas min mem, vi amas vin mem, li amas sin mem, kai ciu homo amas sin mem. Mizorgas pri shitiel, kiel mizorgas pri mi mem. Sed shi mem tutte ne zorgas pri si, kai tutte sin ne gardas. Miai fratoi havis hodiau gastoin. Post la vesper manjo, niai fratoi eliris kun la gastoi el sia domo, kai accompani silin cisilia domo. Mi lavis min en mia chambro. Kai shi lavis sin en sia chambro.
La infano serchis sian pupon. Mi montris al la infano chi e cushas cia pupo. Si racontis al li sian aventuron. Si revenis al la palazzo de sia patro. Siain floroin si ne flegis. Mie frato diris al Stefano che li amas lin pli ol sin mem. Key to exercise. I love myself, you love yourself, he loves himself, and every man loves himself. I take care of her as I take care of myself, but she takes no care at all of herself, and does not look after herself at all. My brothers had guests today. After supper our brothers went with the guests out of their house, and accompanied them as far as their, the guests, house. I washed myself in my room, and she washed herself in her room. The child was looking for its doll. I showed the child where its doll lay. She related to him her adventure. She returned to her father's palace. Her flowers she tended not. My brother said to Stephen that he loved him more than himself. End of Lesson 7 Recorded by Nicholas James Bridgewater Lesson 8 of the Esperanto Teacher This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians by Helen Fryer. Lesson 8 The cardinal numbers are Uno One Uno do two do three 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 quar four quar queen five queen says six says sep seven Sep Oak eight Oak Now nine Now Deck ten Deck Cent hundred Cent Meal thousand Meal the numbers above ten are written and read exactly as they are set down in figures. Decunu, eleven. Decunu. Decdu, twelve. Decdu. Dectri, thirteen. Dectri. Decnau, nineteen. Decnau. The tens are written as one word. Dudec, twenty. Dudec. Tridec, thirty. Tridec. Naudec, ninety. Naudec. Dudec three, twenty-three. Dudec three. Quardecep, forty-seven. Quardecep. Octequin, eighty five. Octequin. Centridexes, a hundred and thirty six. Centridexes. Ducentoc, two hundred eight. Ducentoc. Tricentquin dec now, three hundred fifty nine. Tricentquin dec now. Mil unu. One thousand one mil unu. 
Dumil Octsen Septek Sep, 2877. Dumil Octsen Septek Sep. Mil Nautsen Sep, 1907. Mil Nautsen Sep. Notice that there is a separate word for each figure except naught or zero. Nulo. Vocabulary. Busho. Mouth. Busho. Orelo. Ear. Orelo. Fingro. Finger. Fingro. Horro. Hour. Horro. Minuto. Minute. Minuto. Secundo, second, secundo. Monato, month, monato. Semaino, week, semaino. Dato, date of month, etc. Dato. Pov, can, be able, pov. Promen, Take a walk, promen, consist, 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 elect, choose, elect, elect, forges, forget, forges, cre, create, cre, estu, should be, estu, Facile, easily, facile. Sancta, holy, sancta. Unui, some, unui. Alia, other, alia. Chio, everything, all, chio. Multe, much, many. Multe. Per. By means of, through, with. Per. Nur. Only. Nur. Malbona. Bad. Malbona. Christnaskatago. Christmas Day. Christnaskatago. Januaro. January, Januaro, Februaro, February, Februaro, Marto, March, Marto, Aprilo, April, Aprilo, Mayo, May, Mayo, Junio, June, Junio, Julio, July, Julio, Augusto, August, Augusto, Septembro, September, Septembro, Octobro, October, Octobro, Novembro, November, Novembro. Decembro, December, Decembro. Du homoi povas pli multe fari ol unu. Mi havas nur unu buŝon, sed mi havas du oreloin. Li promenas kun tri hundoj. Li faris ĉion per la dek fingroj de siaj manoj. El ŝiaj multaj infanoj, unuj estas bonaj kaj aliaj malbonaj. 
kvin kai sep farras dek du. Dek kai dek farras du dek. Kvar kai dek ok farras du dek du. Tri dek kai kvar dek kvin farras sep dek kvin. Mil ok cent nau dek tri. Li havas dek unu infanoin. Ses dek minutoi faras unu horon, kai unu minuto consistas el ses dek secundoi. Two men can do more than one. I have only one mouth, but I have two ears. He walks out with three dogs. He did everything with the ten fingers of his hands. Of her many children, some are good and others bad. Five and seven make twelve. Ten and ten make twenty. Four and eighteen make twenty-two. Thirty and forty-five make seventy-five. One thousand eight hundred and ninety-three. He has eleven children. Sixty minutes makes one hour. And one minute consists of sixty seconds. 8a. The ordinal numbers, first, second, etc., are formed by adding a to the cardinal numbers, as unua, first, unua, dua, second, dua, tria, third, tria, quara, fourth, quara, deca, tenth, deca, centa, hundredth, centa, mila, thousandth, mila. The compound numbers are joined together by hyphens, and a is added to the last, as decunua, eleventh. La tridec naua pagio, the thirty-ninth page. La cent quardec quina psalmo, the hundred forty-fifth psalm. Being adjectives, the ordinal numbers take the plural yo and accusative no when necessary. The ordinals are used to tell the hour, as estas la trio horo. It is three o'clock. The cardinal numbers are used for the minutes, as a quarter past three is la tria horro kai de quin. Ten minutes to five, la quara horro kai quin dec. Januaro estas la unua monato de la yaro. Aprilo estas la quara. Novembro estas la decunua, kai decembro estas la decdua. La dudeca tago de februaro estas la quin decunua tago de la jaro. La sepan tagon de la semaino dio electis que gi estu pli sancta o la sesunua tagoi. Kion dio creis en la sesa tago? Kiun daton ni havas hodiao? Hodiao estas la dudec sepa tago de marto. Crist nasca tago estas la dudec quina tago de decembro. Noviara tago estas la unua de januaro. Oni ne forgesas facile sian unuan amon. Key to exercise. January is the first month of the year. April is the fourth. November is the eleventh. And December is the twelfth. The twentieth day of February is the fifty-first day of the year. The seventh day of the week God chose to be that it should be 
more holy than the six first days. What did God create on the sixth day? What date is it today? Today is the 27th day of March. Christmas Day is the 25th of December. New Year's Day is the 1st of January. One does not easily forget one's first love. End of Lesson 8 Lesson 9 of the Esperanto Teacher This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians by Helen Fryer, Lesson 9 the names of certain quantities are formed from the cardinal numbers by adding o as dekduo a dozen dudeco a score cento a hundred milo a thousand these names as well as names of quantities generally require to be followed by da of as dec duo da birdoi a dozen birds but dec du birdoi twelve birds du deco da pomoi a score of apples cento da shafoi or cent shafoi a hundred sheep Milo da homoi, a thousand people. Miloi da homoi, thousands of people. When these expressions form the object of the verb, it is the name of the number which takes no, not the noun which follows da, as Liacetis tu decon da shafoi. He bought a score of sheep. For firstly, secondly, etc., e is added to the number, as unue, firstly, quine, fifthly, deke, tenthly. See Lesson 12. Vocabulary Urbo, town, urbo. Lojanto, inhabitant, lojanto. Culero, spoon, culero. Forco, fork, forco. Mono, money, mono. Prunto, loan, prunto. Metro, meter, metro. Stoffo, stuff, stoffo. Franco, frank, about ten pence. Franco. Atacanto, assailant, atacanto. Pago, payment. Pago. Miliono, a million, miliono. Prunt, lend, prunt. Achet, buy, achet. Dank, thank, dank. Pet, beg, request, pet. Peson, want, need, peson. Cost, cost, cost. Poste, afterwards, poste. Tiuchi, this, tiuchi. Por, for, por. Re, prefix meaning again or back. Re. 
tial therefore tial au or au da of after a quantity da mi havas cent pomoin mi havas centon da pomoi tiu ci urbo havas milionon da lojantoi mi acetis tek duon da culeroi kai du dek duo in da forcoi miliaroi au milo da iaroi faras miliaron unue mi redonas al vi la monon kiun vi pruntis al mi due mi dankas vin por la prunto trie mi petas vin ankaŭ poste prunti al mi kia mi bezonos monon i have a hundred apples i have a hundred of apples this town has a million of inhabitants i bought a dozen spoons and two dozen forks one thousand years or a thousand of years make a millennium firstly i return to you the money which you lent to me secondly i thank you for the loan thirdly i beg you also afterwards on a future occasion to lend to me when i shall require money nine a to express a certain part or fraction on is added to the number specifying what part as one half uno duono one third uno triono one fourth uno quarono one tenth uno decono one thousandth uno milono one millionth uno milionono these words being nouns take yo and no when required three tenths three deconoi twenty seven two hundredths dudexep du centonoi nineteen one thousandths dec now milonoi mi mangis tri quaronoin de la cuco i ate three quarters of the cake see lesson thirty five to express so many times a number oble is added to the number as duobla double decoble ten times trioble quar estas or farras dec du three times four are twelve sepoble oc farras quindex ses seven times eight make fifty six to express by twos by tens etc op is added to the number as duope by twos or two together decope by tens queen decope by fifties fifty together or fifty at a time three estas duono de ses oc estas quar quinonoi de dec quar metroi da tiuci stofo costas nao francoin tial du metroi costas quar kai duonon francoin au da francoi 
unu tago estas tricent sestek finono au tricent sestek sesono de jaro. Finoble sep estas tridek fin. Por ciu tago mi ricevas fin francoin. Sed por la ho di aua tago mi ricevis duoblan pagon. Tio estas dec francoin. Tio ci du amicoi promenas ciam duope. Quinope ili sin jeti sur min, sed mi venkis ciuin quin atacantoin. Key to exercise. Three is half of six. Eight is four fifths of ten. Four meters of this stuff cost nine francs. Therefore, two meters cost four and a half francs. One day is a three hundred and sixty fifth or a three hundred and sixty sixth of a year. Five times seven are thirty five. For each day I receive five francs. But for today I have received double pay, that is ten francs. These two friends walk always two together. Five together they threw themselves upon me, but I overcame all five assailants. End of Lesson 9「Lesson Ten of the Esperanto Teacher」This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher – A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer Lesson Ten – Verbs Continued – Verbs in E – and u. In the examples already given, the verbs ending in as, is, os express action or being, that is, a state, going on in present, past, or future time, as mi scribas, I am writing, li legis, he read, ni iros, we shall go. If we wish merely to express the idea of action or state indefinitely, without reference to any time or any subject, the verb must end in e, as vivi, to live. Mi desiras lerni, I wish to learn. Ni devas labori, we must work. This is called the indefinite or infinitive mood, manner of expression because not limited by reference to time or subject. To give an order or command, or to express will, desire, purpose, etc., the verb must end in u. Dono al mi panon. Give to me bread. Iru for. Go away. Estu felicia. May you be happy. Vivo la reggio. Long live the king. In such cases as, tell him to come, I want you to sing, allow her to speak, we have to use a second sentence with the verb ending in u and beginning with ke, that is, diru ali keli venu, tell or say to him that he come, mi desiras ke vi cantu, I wish that you sing, permesso al shi ke shi parolu, Allow her that she speak. Sentences like the last are often contracted, only the last subject and verb being used, as Shi parolu, let her speak. Ji kushu, let it lie. Ni iru, let us go. Ili dormu, let them sleep. Chu vivolas ke mi tion faru? Do you wish me to do that? Chu mi tion faru? Shall I do that? Vocabulary Nomo, name Nomo Vesto, coat, clothing Vesto Candelo, candle 
candelo, dometo, cottage, dometo, acvo, water, acvo, spegulo, looking glass, spegulo, est, to be, est, tush, to touch, tush, ausgult, listen, ausgult, pardon, 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 us, use, us, ordon, order, ordon, babil, chatter, babil, send, 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 trink, drink, trink, vol, wish, will, vol, but, beat, but, courage, have courage, courage, ride, 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 las, let, leave, las, cour, run, cour, parole, speak, parole, vive, live, have life, vive, rest, rest, remain, rest, honesta, honest, honesta, inda, worthy, inda, attenta, attentive, attenta, cara, dear, cara, gaia, gay, cheerful, gaia, tia, such, tia, longa, long, longa, sincera, sincere, sincera, for, away, forth, for, forte, strongly, forte, sole, alone, sole. Exercises and key. Dono alla birdoi acvon, charili volas trinki. Give the birds water, for they want to drink. Alexandro ne volas lerni, kai tial mi batas Alexandron. Alexander will not learn, and therefore I beat Alexander. Kiu curajas raidi sur leono? Who has courage to ride on a lion? Mi volis lin bati, sed li forcuris demi. I was going to beat him, but he ran away from me. A leono ne dono la manon. Do not give your hand to a lion. Raconto al mia yuna amico bellan historion. Relate to my young friend a beautiful story. Diru al la patro que mi estas diligenta. Tell father that I am diligent. Diru al mi vian nomon. Tell me your name. Nescribu al mi tiain longain letteroin. Do not write to me such long letters. Montru al mi vian novan veston. Show me your new coat. Infano, ne tushu la spegulon. Child, do not touch the looking glass. Carai infanoi, estu ciam honestai. Dear children, always be honest. Ne auscultulin. Do not listen to him. Li diras que mi estas attenta. He says that I am attentive. Li petas que mi estu attenta. He begs me to be attentive. Ordono alli que li ne babilu. Tell him not to chatter. Petulin que li sendo al mi candelon. Ask him to send me a candle. La dometo estas inda, que vi gin acetu. The cottage is worth your buying. Worthy that you should buy it. Si forte desiris que li restu viva. She strongly desired that he should remain alive. Livenu, kai mi pardonos alli. Let him come and I will forgive him. Ni estu gaiai, ni uzu bone la vivon, cha la vivo ne estas longa. 
Let us be gay, let us use life well, for life is not long. Line venu sole, sed al veno con sia play bona amico. Let him not come alone, but come with his best friend. Mi yam havas mian chapelon, nun sercho vivian. I already have my hat, now look for yours. End of chapter 10「Lesson Eleven of the Esperanto Teacher」This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher – A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer Lesson Eleven Verbs Continued Verbs in us. Sometimes we want to express a supposition, to say that something would take place, supposing that something else, which is not likely to occur, were to do so, or that something would have taken place, if something else, which did not occur, had done so. In this case, the verb must end with us, as, if I were well, which I am not, I should be happy which also I am not. Se mi estus sana, mi estus felicia. If he knew, supposition, that I am here, a fact, he would immediately come to me, supposition. Se li scius, ke mi estas tieci, li tui venus al mi. Compare the two following sentences. 1. Kvankam vi estas richa, mi dubas, ju vi estas felicia. Though you are in fact rich, I doubt whether you are, in fact, happy. 2. Kvan kam vi estus richa, mi dubas, ju vi estus felicia. Though, supposing that you were rich, I doubt whether you would be happy. Vocabulary. Lernanto, pupil, lernanto. Leziono, lesson. Leziono. Instruanto. Teacher. Instruanto. Sti. To know. Sti. Pun. Punish. Pun. Esteem. 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 Lev. Lift. Raise. Lev. Ten. Hold. Keep. Ten. Pen. Endeavor. Pen. Imit. Imitate. Imit. Quasau, as if, quasau. Io, something, io. Effective, really, effective. Supren, upwards, supren. Quancam, though, quancam. Se, if, se. Exercises and key. Se la lernanto stius bone sian lezionon, la instruanto lin nepunus. If the pupil knew his lesson well, the teacher would not punish him. Sevis tius quuli estas, vilin pli estimus. If you knew who he is, you would esteem him more. Ili levis uno manon supren, quasau ili ion tenus. They raised one hand upwards as if they were holding something. Semi effective estus bella, Aliai penus min imiti. If I really were beautiful, others would try to imitate me. Ho, semi yam havus la ajon de dekvin yaroi. Oh, if I were already the age of fifteen years. End of lesson eleven. Lesson 12 of the Esperanto Teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non grammarians by Helen Fryer. Lesson 12. When we tell of someone doing a certain action, we often want to allude to some circumstance concerning that action. 
such as the time or place or manner in which it was done that is when or where or how it was done in the sentences yesterday i met your son hierao mi rencontis vian filon he will go in the evening li iros vespere they sat there ili sidis tie she will remain at home she restos heime good children learn diligently bona infanoi lernas diligente i will do it with pleasure mi faros gin plesure the words hierao vespere show the time tie heime show the place and diligente plesure show the manner of the action because these words relate to the verb they are called adverbs adverbs may be formed from any word whose sense admits of it and especially from adjectives by means of the termination e as bona good bona bone well bone antau before antau antaue previously or formerly antaue mateno morning mateno matene in the morning matene sekvi to follow sekvi sekve consequently sekve when we want the adverb to show direction towards any place time etc either actually or figuratively no is added as li alcuris heimen he ran home ili levis unumanon supren they raised one hand upwards antawen forward no is also added to nouns to show direction towards li eniris en la domon he entered into the house some adverbs are used with adjectives and other adverbs to show the degree of the quality quantity etc as the paper is very white la papero estas tre blanca too much speaking tires him la tro multa parolado la cigaslin i am as strong as you mi estas tiel forta kiel vi estas forta he came very early livenis tre frue the following words are in themselves adverbs and need no special ending vocabulary hodiao today hodiao hierao yesterday hierao morgao tomorrow morgao baldao soon baldao ancorao yet ancorao yam already yam jus just time jus noon now noon tui immediately tui denove again anew denove chi denotes proximity chi yen here 
there, lo, behold, yen. For, away, forth, for. Pli, more, pli. Play, most, play. Plu, further, plu. Tre, very, tre. Thro, two with double O. Thro. Tutte, quite, tutte. Nur, only, nur. Nepre, surely, without fail, nepre. Prescau, nearly, prescau. Apenau, scarcely, apenau. Almenau, at least, almenau. Ambau, both, ambau. Ancau, also, ancau. Ne, not, ne. Yes, yes, yes. Ya, indeed, ya. Etch, even, etch. Chu, whether, asks a question, chu. You, des. The more, the more. You, des. Comparisons are made with pli, all, more than. Lacto estas pli nutra ol vino. Milk is more nutritious than wine. Malpli, all, less than. Vino estas malpli nutra ol lacto. Wine is less nutritious than milk. La play, the most. La mal play, the least. El chiui liai amicoi, Johano estas la play saja. Cae Georgo la mal play saja. Of all his friends, John is the wisest, and George the least wise. Youpli, despli, the more, the more. Youpli li lernas, despli li desiras lerni. The more he learns, the more he wishes to learn. You malpli, desmalpli, the less, the less. You malpli li laboras, des malpli li ricevas. The less he works, the less he gets. You pli, des malpli, the more, the less. You pli li farijas granda, des malpli li estas forta. The taller he becomes, the less strong he is. You malpli, despli, the less, the more. You malpli li pensas, despli li parolas. The less he thinks, the more he talks. For comparisons of equality, as, as, so, as, see Lesson 20. Vocabulary Bordo Door, bordo. Contracto, contract. Contracto. Pastro, pastor, priest. Pastro. Ferro, iron. Ferro. Pastono, stick, rod. Pastono. Stazio, station. Stazio. Stazidomo. Station. Stazidomo. Heimo. Home. Heimo. Furio. 
fury, furio. Shipano, sailor, shipano. Colero, anger, colero. Honesto, honesty, honesto. Dangero, danger, dangero. Coro, heart, coro. Oficisto, an official, oficisto. Regio, king, regio. Palo, ball, dance, palo. Humoro, humor, humoro. Tempo, time, tempo. Signorino, lady, mrs, signorino. Ferm, Shut, ferm, sav, save, sav. Daur, last, continue, daur. Tranch, cut, tranch. Ecrigard, glance, ecrigard. Flu, flow, flu. Ag, act, do, ag. Lodge, live, lodge, lodge. Brule, burn as a fire. Brule. Vetur, ride in a vehicle. Vetur. Aper, appear. Aper. Postul. Require, demand, postul. Pendig, hang something, pendig. Mort, die, mort. Malsana, ill, malsana. Varma, warm, varma. Varmega, hot. Varmega. Frua, early. Frua. Plue, further. Plue. Returne, back. Returne. Char, because, whereas. Char. Resti con leono, estas tangere. La tranchilo tranchas pone, char gi estas acra. Iru pli rapide. Li fermis colere la pordon. Lia parolo fluas dolce cae agrable. Ni faris la contracton ne scribe. Sed parole. Honesta homo agas honeste. La pastro, kiu mortis antau ne longe, antau ne longa tempo, logis longe en nia urbo. Ĉu vi ĝin ne ricevis returne? Li estas morte malsana. La ferra bastono, kiu kusis en la forno, estas brule varmega. Parizo estas tre gaia. Matene frue, si alveturis al la stacidomo. Pardon wal mi, ke mi restis tie longe. Lia colero longe dauris. Li estas hodiao en colera humoro. La regio baldao de nove sendis alian bon coran oficiston. Hodiao vespere 
ni havos balon. Kie vi estas? For de tie ci. Kien li forveturis? Si curris heimen. Ni iris antauen kiel furioi. Cio estas bona, kai ni veturis pluen. La signorino ec rigardis returnen. La scipanoi postulis che oni iru returnen. Mi gin pendigis tien ci, giargi savis mian vivon. Mi ne niam sendis tien ci. Chi to exercise. To remain with a lion is dangerous. The knife cuts well, for it is sharp. Go more quickly. He shut the door angrily. His speech flows softly and pleasantly. We made the contract not in writing, but by word of mouth. An honest man acts honestly. The pastor who died a short time ago lived long in our city. Did you not get it back? He is sick unto death. The iron rod which was in the stove is burning hot. Paris is very gay. Early in the morning she drove to the station. Forgive me that I stayed so long. His anger lasted long. He is today in an angry temper. The king soon sent again another good-hearted official. This evening we shall have a ball. Where are you? Away from here. Get away. Where did he drive away to? She ran home. We went forward like furies. Everything was right, and we went on further. The lady glanced back. The sailors demanded to go back, required that one should go back. I hung it here, for it saved my life. I never sent here. End of Lesson 12「Lesson 13 of The Esperanto Teacher – This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher – A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer Lesson 13 The Prefix Mal and the Suffix In In Esperanto, certain syllables which have a definite meaning are placed at the beginning as prefixes or end, as suffixes, of words to alter in some way the meaning of those words. The prefix mal gives an exactly opposite meaning to the word to which it is prefixed, as dextra, right or right hand, maldextra, left, left hand, nova, new, malnova, old, helpy, to help, malhelpy, to hinder. Fermi, to shut. Malfermi, to open. The suffix in denotes the female sex. From viro, footnote, the word homo, previously given in lesson two, signifies a human being, a person, without reference to sex. Viro means a man, as distinguished from a woman. So, from viro, a man, we get Virino, a woman. Filo, son. Filino, daughter. Cevalo, a horse. Cevalino, a mare. Coco, a cock. Cochino, a hen. Vocabulary. Cresco, growth. Cresco. Haro, hair, i.e. substance. Haro. Haroi, hair of the head. Haroi. Naso, nose. Naso. 
vojo, road, vojo, viro, man, viro, edzo, husband, edzo, nepo, grandson, nepo, nevo, nephew, nevo, bovo, ox, bovo, vidvo, widower, vidvo, fiancho, fiancé, fiancho, nenio, nothing, nenio, turment, torment, turment, sent, to feel, sent, ben, to bless, ben, esteem, have esteem for, esteem, ferm, to shut, ferm, help, to help, help, farige, become, farige, dextra, right or right hand, dextra, mesa, middle, medium, dica, thick, stout, dica, mola, soft, mola, luma, light, luminous, luma, nobla, noble, as in character, nobla, recta, straight, recta, curva, curved, curva, felicia, happy, felicia, nascita, born, nascita, fermita, shut, fermita, etch, even, etch, longe, for a long time, longe, de nove, anew, again, de nove. Exercises and key. Mi frato ne estas granda, sed li ne estas malgranda. Li estas de mesa cresco. My brother is not big, but he is not little. He is of medium growth. Haro estas tre maldica. A hair is very thin. La nocto estas tiel maluma que ni nenion povas vidi ech antau ni naso. The night is so dark that we can see nothing even before our nose. Tiuci mal fresha pano estas mal mola, kil stono. This stale bread is as hard as a stone. Mal bonai infanoi amas tormenti bestoin. Naughty children love to torment animals. Vicentis sin tiel mal felicia que li mal penis la tagon en quio li estis nascita. He felt so miserable that he cursed the day on which he was born. Ni forte mal estimas tiun ci mal noblan homon. We greatly despise this base man. La fenestro longe estis ne fermita. Mi gin fermis, sed mia frato tui gin de nove mal fermis. The window was long unclosed. I closed it, but my brother immediately opened it again. Recta voyo estas plima longa ol curba. A straight road is shorter than a curved one. Ne estu mal danka. Don't be ungrateful. La edzino de mia patro estas mia patrino, kai la avino de mia infanoi. The wife of my father is my mother and the grandmother of my children. Mia fratino estas tre bella knabino. My sister is a very beautiful girl. Mia onclino estas tre bona virino. My aunt is a very good woman. Mi vidis via navinon kun shiai kvar nepinoi kai kun mia nevino. I saw your grandmother with her four granddaughters and with my niece. Mi havas bovon kai bovinon. I have an ox and a cow. La yuna vidvino farigis de nove fiancino. The young widow became again a fiancé. End of Lesson 13 Lesson 14 of The Esperanto Teacher
This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher A Simple Course for Non Grammarians by Helen Fryer. Lesson 14. The prefix re, the suffix ad, and the prefix ek. The prefixes re and ek and the suffix ad are attached to verbs. Re has nearly the same meaning as in English, back or again, as in repagi, to pay back, reporti, to carry back, regetti, to throw back. Resalti, to rebound, recanti, to sing again, releggi, to read over again. Ad denotes the continuance or continued repetition of an action. It means goes on doing, or keeps on doing, or is in the habit of, or in the past used to, as in spiri, to breathe, spirado, respiration, movi, to move, movado, continued movement, fumi, to smoke, fumado, the habit of smoking, audi, to hear, audado, the sense of hearing. Ek has the opposite meaning to ad. It signifies the beginning of an action, or a short or sudden action, as kanti, to sing, ek kanti, to begin to sing, ridi, to laugh, ek ridi, to burst out laughing. Crii, to cry or call. Ek crii, to cry out. Iri, to go. Ek iri, to set out. Dormi, to sleep. Ek dormi, to fall asleep. Vocabulary. Rivero, river. Rivero. Lando, land. Lando. Seggio, seat. Seggio. Dauro, duration. Dauro, occupo, occupation, occupo, pluvo, rain, pluvo, vagonaro, train, vagonaro, sorpriso, surprise, sorpriso, diamanto, diamond, diamanto, fulmo, lightning, fulmo, lumo, a light, lumo, puff, shoot, puff. Jet, throw, jet. Aud, hear, aud. Fal, fall, fal. Attend, wait for, expect, attend. Latzig, make tired, latzig. Frot, rub, frot. Regard, look, regard. El regard, look out of, el regard. Salt, jump, salt. Rapida, quick, rapida. Clara, clear, clara. Lerte, cleverly, lerte. Energie, energetically, energie. Kelke, some, kelke. Ciu minute, every minute, ciu minute. Tra, through, tra. Sentences. Lidones al mimonon, sed mi gintui ridonis al li. He gave me money, but I immediately returned it to him. Mi foriras, sed attendo min, char mi baldau revenos. I'm going away, but wait for me, for I shall soon return. La suno rebrilas en la clara acvo de la rivero. The sun is reflected in the clear water of the river. Li iris al sia lando. He returned to his own country. She rejetis sin sulla sejon. She threw herself again upon the seat. En la dauro de kelke da minutoi mi audis du pafoin. In the course of a few minutes I heard two shots. La pafado dauris tre longe. The firing continued for a very long time. Lia hiarawa parolo estis trebella, 
sed la tro multa parolado la tzigas lin. His speech of yesterday was very fine, but too much speaking tires him. Licantas tribalan canton. He is singing a very beautiful song. La cantado estas agrabla ocupo. Singing is an agreeable occupation. Per mia mano mi energia lin frotadis. With my hand I kept on briskly rubbing him. La pluvo faladis per riveroi. The rain kept on falling in rivers. Ciu minute si el rigardadis tra la finestro, cae malbenadis la malrapidan iradon de la vagonaro. Every minute she kept looking out through the window and cursing the slow motion of the train. Mi saltas tre lerte. I leap very cleverly. Mi exaltis de surpriso. I jump with surprise. Mi saltadis la tutan tagon de loco a loco. I used to jump all day long from place to place. Kiam vi ek parolis, mi attendis audi ion novan. When you began to speak, I expected to hear something new. La diamanto havas belan brilun. The diamond has a beautiful sparkle. Si lasis la diamanton ek brili. She let the diamond flash. Tu ek briloi do fulmu tracuris tra la maluma cielo. Two flashes of lightning passed across the dark sky. End of lesson 14. Lesson 15 of the Esperanto Teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians by Helen Fryer. Lesson 15. Verbs Continued. In all the examples already given, the subject of the sentence is the doer of the action but often it is the one to whom the action is done who occupies our thoughts, and of whom we wish to speak. This one then becomes the subject, and the form of the verb is changed. Instead of saying, the police are searching for the thief, someone has broken the window, someone is going to finish the work tomorrow, we say, the thief is being sought for by the police. The window has been broken. The work is going to be finished tomorrow. Note the convenience of this form when we do not know or do not wish to mention the doer. In Esperanto, the terminations ata, being, denoting incompleteness or present time, ita, having been, denoting completeness or pastime, and oda, about to be, going to be, denoting action not yet begun, or future time, are added to the root of the verb as ami, to love, amata, being loved, amita, having been loved, amota, going to be loved, La stelisto esta serciata de la polizanoi. De is used after these participles to denote the doer of the action. The thief is being searched for by the police. La fenestro estas rompita. The window has been broken. La laboro estas finota morgao. The work is going to be finished tomorrow. It will be seen that these words ending in ata, ita, ota describe the subject or show the condition or state in which the subject is. Therefore, they are adjectival. The thief is a searched for thief. The window was a broken window. The work is a going to be finished work. 
Compare the work will be ready tomorrow. They are called participles, and being adjectival, take yo when the noun to which they belong is plural. Mi estas tenata. I am being held. Li estas tenata. He was being held. Ni estos tenatai. We shall be held. Vi estus tenatai. You would be held. Que ili estu tenatai. That they may be held. Estu tenata. Be held. Esti tenata. To be held. Mi estas vidita. I am in the state of having been seen, or I have been seen. Li estis vidita. He was in the state of having been seen, or he had been seen. Ni estos viditai. We shall be in the state of having been seen, or we shall have been seen. Vi estus viditai. You would be in the state of having been seen, or you would have been seen. Ke ili estu viditai. That they may be in the state of having been seen, or that they may have been seen. Esti vidita. To be in the state of having been seen, or to have been seen. Mi estas laudota. I am about or going to be praised. She estis laudota. She was about or going to be praised. Ni estos laudotai. We shall be about or going to be praised. Vi estus laudotai. You would be about or going to be praised. Ke ili estu laudotai. That they should be about to or going to be praised. Esti laudota. To be about or going to be praised. Vocabulary Comerzajo Commodity Comerzajo Surtuto Overcoat Surtuto Shuldo Debt Shuldo Ringo Ring Ringo Proyecto Project Proyecto. Ingeniero. Civil engineer. Ingeniero. Fervoyo. Railroad. Fervoyo. Pregio. Prayer. Pregio. Pasero. Sparrow. Pasero. Aglo. Eagle. Aglo. Invit. Invite. Invit. Constru. Construct. Constru. Stzieg. Inform. Stzieg. Gash. Hide. Cash. Pence. Think. Pence. Capt. Capture, cupped. Tranquila, quiet, tranquila. Tutta, all, whole, tutta. Grava, important, grava. Ora, golden, ora. Volonte, willingly, volonte. Sekve, consequently, sekve. Lau, according to, lau. Mi estas amata. Mi estis amata. Mi estos amata. Mi estus amata. 
Estu amata. Esti amata. Vi estas la vita. Vi estis la vita. Vi estos la vita. Vi estus la vita. Estu la vita. Esti la vita. Li estas invitota. Li estis invitota. Li estos invitota. Li estus invitota. Estu invitota. Esti invitota. Tiuci commerzajo estas ciam volonte acetata de mi. La surtuto estas acetita de mi. Sekve gi apartenas al mi. Ciam via domo estis construata, mia domo estis jam longe construita. Mi sciigas che de nun la schuldoi de mia filo ne estos pagatai de mi. Estu tranquilla, mia tutta schuldo estos pagita al vi baldau. Mia ora ringo ne estus tiel longe sergiata, se gi ne estus tiel lerte cascita de vi. Lau la projecto de la ingenieroi, tiu gi fervoio estas construota en la dauro de du iaroi, sed mi pensas che gi estos construata pli ol tri iaroin. Ciam la pregio estis finita, li sin levis. Augusto estas mia plei amata filo. Mono havata estas pli grava ol havita. Pasero captita estas pli bona ol aglo captota. Key to exercise. I am loved. I was loved. I shall be loved. I should be loved. Be loved. To be loved. You have been washed. You had been washed. You will have been washed. You would have been washed. Be washed. To have been washed. He is to be invited. He was going to be invited. He will be invited. He would be invited. Be about to be invited. To be about to be invited. This commodity is always willingly bought by me. The overcoat was bought by me. Consequently, it belongs to me. When your house was being built, my house had already been built a long time. I give notice that from now, my son's debts will not be paid by me. Be easy. My whole debt will soon have been paid to you. My gold ring would not be so long sought for if it had not been so cleverly hidden by you. According to the plan of the engineers, this railway is going to be constructed in the space of two years, but I think it will be being constructed, in construction, more than three years. When the prayer was finished, he rose. Augustus is my best beloved son. Money in hand is more important than money had. A sparrow caught is better than an eagle going to be caught. End of Lesson 15、lesson、sixteen of the Esperanto Teacher This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater. 
The Esperanto Teacher, A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer. Lesson 16. Another set of participles is used to describe or show the condition or state of the doer of the action, namely, anta, denoting incompleteness or present time, inta, denoting completeness or past time, and onta, denoting action not yet begun or future time, as sur la arbo staras cantanta birdo au birdo cantanta on the tree is a singing bird or a bird singing en la venonta somero mi visitos vin in the coming summer i shall visit you la pasinta nocto estis tre pluva the past night was very wet rainy mi estas manjanta i am in the act of eating li estis manjanta he was eating ni estos manjantai we shall be eating vi estus manjantai you would be eating ke ili estu manjantai that they may be eating. Esti manjanta, to be eating. Estu manjanta, be in the act of eating. Mi estas teninta, I am in the state of having held, or I have held. Li estis teninta, he was in the state of having held, or he had held. Ni estos tenintai, we shall be in the state of having held, or we shall have held. Vi estus tenintai, you would be in the state of having held, or you would have held. Que ili estu tenintai, that they may be in the state of having held, or that they may have held. Esti teninta to be in the state of having held, or to have held. Mi estas dironta. I am about going to say. Li estis dironta. He was about, or going to say. Ni estos dirontai. We shall be about, or going to say. Vi estus dirontai. You would be about going to say, Que ili estu dirontai, That they may be about or going to say, Esti dironta, To be about or going to say. The participles are made into nouns by ending them with O instead of A, as Kiam Nicodemo batas Josephon, tiam Nicodemo estas la batanto, ca Josefo estas la batato. When Nicodemus beats Joseph, then Nicodemus is the beater, and Joseph is the one being beaten. La batanto, the one who is beating. La batanto. La batinto, the one who was beating. La batinto. La batonto, the one who is about or going to beat. La batonto. La batato, the one who is being beaten. La batato. La batito, the one who has been beaten. La batito. La batoto, the one who is about to be beaten. La batoto. Note that the participles which have N in the termination refer to the doer. They are called active participles. Those without N refer to the one to whom the action is done. They are passive participles. Vocabulary. Tempo. Time. Tempo. Mondo. World, mondo. Lingvo, language, 
lingvo nombro number nombro legendo legend legendo loco place loco salono drawing room salono erraro mistake erraro soldato soldier soldato strato street strato peck sin peck fall 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 mensog tell a lie mensog pass pass as time passes pass attend wait expect attend save save rescue save dance 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 cred believe cred repeat 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 arrest 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 huge judge huge conduc lead conduct conduc voyage travel journey voyage stell steal stell repose rest repose repose diradis used to say tell diradis estonta future about to be estonta vera true vera intense intentionally intense facile easily facile antaue formerly previously antaue doom while whilst during doom neniam never neniam neniu nobody neniu sen without sen sen move motionless sen move fluanta acvo estas pli pura ol acvo staranta sen move la falinta homo ne povas sin levi la tempo pasinta iam neniam revenos la tempon venontan neniu ancora conas venu ni attendas vin savonto della mondo en la lingua esperanto ni vidas la estontan lingvon de la tutta mondo la nombro de la danzantoi estis granda gi estas la legendo chi un la vera i credantoi ci am ripetas li conducis la voyaggianton alla loco chi e la stelintoi riposis al homo pequinta sen intense dio facile pardonas la soldatoi conducis la arrestitoin tra la stratoi homo ciun oni devas iugi estas iugioto flowing water is purer than water standing still the fallen man cannot raise himself the time past will never more return the time to come no one yet knows come we await you saviour of the world in the language esperanto we see the future language of the whole world the number of the dancers was great it is the legend which true believers always repeat he led the traveller to the place where the thieves were resting to a man who has sinned unintentionally god easily pardons the soldiers led the prisoners through the streets a man whom one has to judge is one to be judged prisoner at the bar 16a 
Nun li diras al mi la veron. Hierau li diris al mi la veron. Li ciam diradis al mi la veron. Ciam vi vidis nin en la salono, li jam antaue diris al mi la veron. Au li estis dirinta al mi la veron. Li diros al mi la veron. Ciam vi venos al mi, li jam antaue diros al mi la veron. Au li estos dirinta al mi la veron. Au antau ol vi venos al mi, li diros al mi la veron. Se mi petus lin, li dirus al mi la veron. Mi ne farus la eraron, se li antaue dirus al mi la veron. Au, se li estus dirint al mi la veron. Ciam mi venus, diru al mi la veron. Ciam mia patro venus, diru al mi antaue la veron, au estu dirint al mi la veron. Mi volas diri al vi la veron. Mi volas che tio, chi on mi diris, estu vera, au mi volas esti dirinta la veron. Key to exercise. Now he tells me the truth. Yesterday he told me the truth. He always told me the truth. When you saw us in the drawing room, he had already previously told me the truth. He will tell me the truth. When you shall come to me, he will previously tell me the truth, or he will have told me the truth, or before you will come to me, he will tell me the truth. If I were to ask him, he would tell me the truth. I should not have made the mistake if he had previously told me the truth. When I shall come, tell me the truth. When my father shall come, tell me beforehand the truth. I wish to tell you the truth. I wish that which I said should be true, or I wish to have told the truth. End of Lesson 16。Lesson 17 of The Esperanto Teacher。This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher, A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians, by Helen Fryer. Lesson 17. Participles can be used as adverbs, when they refer to the subject, and tell some circumstance about the action, as, Walking along the street, John saw your friend. Walking along the street tells the circumstance under which the subject, John, saw your friend. Therefore, walking is adverbial. Promenante sulla strato, Johanno vidis vian amicon. If it were the friend who was walking, it must be Johanno vidis vian amicon, promenantan sulla strato. Examine in this way the sentences in the following exercise. Vocabulary. Brazileto, bracelet. Brazileto. Stelisto, thief, stelisto. Vorto, word, vorto. Duco, duke, duco. Juvelo, jewel, juvelo. Juveluyo, jewel case, juveluyo. Dolaro, dollar, dolaro. Instruo, instruction, instruo. Planco, floor, planco. Imperiestro, emperor, imperiestro. Medit, meditate, medit. Port, carry, port. Demand, ask, demand. Spar, save, spar. Edzige, marry, edzige. Haunt, to be ashamed, haunt. Ir, go. Ir, profunda, deep, profunda. Kelka, some, kelka. Ia, some kind, any kind. Ia. Ocaso, opportunity, occurrence, chance. Ocaso. Serv, serve, serv. Credible, probably, credible. Trans, across, trans. Tio chi, this thing, T 
tio ci. Sentences Promenante sulla strato mi falis. Walking in the street, I fell. Trovinte pomon mi gin mangis. Having found an apple, I ate it. Li venis al mi tutte ne attendite. He came to me quite unexpected. Li iris tre meditante kai tre malrapide. He went meditating and very slowly. Ni hontis ricevinte instruon de la knabo. We were ashamed having received instruction from the boy. La imperiestra servanto eliris portante kunsi la braceletton. The imperial servant went out taking with him the bracelet. Profunde salutante li racontis che oni captis la steliston. Profoundly saluting, he related that the thief had been caught. Nedirante vorton la duchino malfermis sian nuvaluion. Without saying a word, the duchess opened her jewel case. Laborinte uno jaron, cae sparinte celcain dolaroin, mi exigis cun mia mario. Having worked a year, and having saved a few dollars, I married my Mary. Transirinte la riveron li trovis la steliston. Having crossed the river, he found the thief. Rigardinte occasi la plancon, si vidis ian libron, forgesitan credeble de elirinta veturanto. Having looked by chance on the floor, she saw some book forgotten probably by a departed traveller. End of Lesson 17 Lesson 18 of The Esperanto Teacher This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org the Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians, by Helen Fryer. Lesson 18. The suffix ist. The suffix ist denotes one who occupies himself with, or devotes himself to, any special thing, as a business or a hobby, as yuji, to judge, yujisto, a judge, servi, to serve, servisto, a servant, curazzi, to treat, as a doctor, curazzisto, a doctor, lavi, to wash, lavisto, a laundryman, vocabulary, boto, boot, boto, shuo, shoe, shuo, maro, sea, maro, mechanico, Mechanics, mechanico, chemio, chemistry, chemio, diplomato, diplomatist, diplomato, fisico, physics, fisico, stienzo, science, stienzo, dron, to be drowned, to sink, dron, verac, work mentally, write, compose, verac, transcribe, transcribe, copy, Transcribe. Cuir. Cook. Cuir. Vetorig. Drive. A carriage, etc. Vetorig. Tromp. Deceive. Tromp. Ocoup. Occupy. Employ. Ocoup. Tex. Weave. Tex. Diversi. Various. Diversi. Simple. Simple. Simple, ye, as an indefinite meaning, ye. Sentences. La botisto faras botoin kai shuoin. The bootmaker makes boots and shoes. Stelistoin nenu lasas en sian domon. Nobody lets thieves into his house. La curaja maristo dronis en la maro. The brave sailor was drowned in the sea. 
verkisto verkas libroin, kai scribisto simple transcribas paperoin. An author writes books, and a writer simply copies papers. Ni havas diversain servantoin, cuiriston, chambristinon, infanistinon, kai veturigiston. We have various servants, a cook, a housemaid, a nurse, and a coachman. Kiu ocupasin ye mechanico, estas mechanicisto, kai kiu ocupasin ye chemio, estas chemiisto. He who occupies himself with mechanics is a mechanic, and he who occupies himself with chemistry is a chemist. Diplomati iston oni povas ankau nomi diplomato, sed fizikiston oni ne povas nomi fiziko, char fiziko estas la nomo de la scienzo mem. A diplomatist we can also call a diplomat, but a physicist we cannot call a physic, for physics is the name of the science itself. Uno tagon venis du tropantoi, cui diris che ili estas texistoi. One day there came two cheats, who said that they were weavers. End of Lesson 18「Lesson 19 of the Esperanto Teacher – This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher – Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer Lesson 19 – Suffixes – Eeg – Eeg Eeg – means to make or cause someone or something to be or to do that which the word denotes, while ej means to become so or such oneself. Thus from ruja, red, we get rujigi, to make something or someone red. Rujigi, to become red oneself, to blush. Clara, clear. Clarigi, to make clear, to explain. Clarigi, to become clear. Sidi, to sit, to be sitting. Sidigi, to cause someone to sit. Sidigi, to become seated, to sit down. Kun, with. Kunigi, to connect, kuniji, to become connected with, devi, to have, must, devigi, to compel, fari, to do or make, fariji, to become, for, away, forigi, make go away. Vocabulary Prin tempo, spring. Prin tempo. Glazio. Ice. Glazio. Vetero. Weather. Vetero. Broso. Brush. Broso. Relo. Rail. Relo. Rado. Wheel. Rado. Chapo, bonnet, cap, chapo. Arbeto, little tree, arbeto. Vento, wind, vento. Brancho, branch, brancho. Visaggio, face, visaggio. Cuvo, tub, cuvo. Collego, companion, colleague, collego. Hebreo, Hebrew, Hebreo. Cristano, Christian, Cristano. Capo, head, capo. Botello, bottle, botello. Dev, have to, must, 
dev. Kuratz, treat as a doctor. Kuratz. Bren, take. Bren. Bend, hang. Bend. Blov, blow. Blov. Ek brul, begin to burn. Ek brul. Read, laugh. Read. Romp, break. Romp. Fluida, fluid. Fluida. Gota, dirty, muddy. Gota. Natura, natural. Natura. Seca, dry. Seca. Damen, however, nevertheless, yet. Damen. Oni tiel mal helpis al mi, que mi mal bonigis mi antutan laboron. Forigi vien fraton, charli mal helpas al ni. Venigu la curatsiston, char mi estas mal sana. Li venigis al si el Berlino, multain libroin, multe da libroi. Li paligis de timo, cae poste li rugigis de honto. En la printempo la glacio cae la neggio fluidigias. En la cota vetero mie vesto forte mal purigis, tial mi prenis broson cae purigis la veston. Mia onclo ne mortis per natura morto, se li tamen ne mortigis sin mem, cae ancao estis mortigita de neniu. Unu tagon, promenante apud la reloi de fervoio, li fali sub la radoin de veturanta vagonaro, cae mortigis. Mi ne pendigis mian chapon sur tiu ci arbeto, sed la vento forblovis de mie capo la chapon, cae gi flugante pendigis sur la branchoi de la arbeto. Si digu vin, au si digu, signoro. Lia malgaia visagio ridigis lian amicon. La tuta nocton ili passigis mal dorme, cae ec pruligis pli ol dexes candeloin. Mi sen vestigis la infanon de liae noctae vestoi, cae starigis lin en la cuvon, poste mi secigis lin. Li amicigis cun mal bonae collegoi. Mal riccia hebreo volis cristanigi. La botelo falis cae rompigis. Shifarigis lia et zino. Iom post iom si tutte tranquilligis. Notes 1. In pluvas it rains, tondras it thunders, estas bella tago it is a fine day, estas belle it is fine, estas vere che, it is true that, etc., it is left out, because it does not stand for any thing. The verbs bele, vere, are used because no thing is mentioned. 2. Ni havas freshain lacton kai panon, means ni havas freshain lacton kai freshain panon. We have new milk and new bread. Ni havas freshan lacton kai panon means we have bread and new milk. 3. La angla, franza kai germana lingvoi estas malfacilai. The English, French and German languages are difficult. Angla, franza, germana do not take io because each refers to only one language while malfacilai refers to all those mentioned. Key to exercise. They so hindered me that I spoiled the whole of my work. Send away your brother, for he hinders us. Fetch the doctor, for I am ill. 
he procured for himself many books from Berlin. He grew pale with fear, and afterwards he blushed from shame. In the spring the ice and snow melt. In the muddy weather my coat became very dirty. Therefore I took a brush and cleaned the coat. My uncle did not die by a natural death, but nevertheless he did not kill himself, and also was killed by nobody. One day, walking near the railway lines, he fell under the wheels of a moving train, and was killed. I did not hang my cap on this little tree, but the wind blew away the cap from my head, and it, flying, became hung, got caught, on the branches of the little tree. Seat yourself, or sit down, sir. His gloomy face made his friend laugh. The whole night they passed awake, and lighted more than sixteen candles. I divested the child of his night-clothes, and stood him in the tub. Afterwards I dried him. He made friends with evil companions. A poor Hebrew wished to become a Christian. The bottle fell and broke. She became his wife. Little by little she became quite calm. End of Lesson 19《Lesson Twenty of the Esperanto Teacher》This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recorded by Nicholas James Bridgewater《The Esperanto Teacher — A Simple Course for Nungrammarians by Helen Fryer — Lesson Twenty the words ia, tia, kial, tial, kiam, chiam, neniam, kie, kiel, tiel, io, kio, tio, chio, nenio, kiu, Chiu, neniu, have already been met with. They belong to a series whose use will best be seen from the following examples. Ia denotes kind or quality. Kia floro estas la plei bella? Ia kai chia floro estas bella? Nenia estas malbela. Mi admiras la rozon. Tia floro la plei plachas al mi. What kind of flower is the most beautiful? Any kind and every kind of flower is beautiful. No kind is ugly. I admire the rose. That kind of flower pleases me the most. Ial motive reason kial li iros en parizon mi ne scias ial li foriros sed cial estus pli bone resti en londono li desiras foriri tial li foriros why is he going will he go to paris i know not for some reason he is going but for every reason on every account it would be better to remain in London. He wishes to go, therefore, for that reason, he will go. Iam. Time. Kiam vi venos min visiti? Iam mi venos, kiam mi havos libertempon. Vi ciam havas libertempon. Mi neniam. Post morgao estos festo. Tiam mi venos. When will you come to visit me? Some time I will come. When, at what time, I shall have a holiday. You always, at all times, have a holiday. I never, at no time. The day after tomorrow will be a festival, a general holiday. I will come then, at that time. Ie, place. Kie estas mia chapelo? 
ci devas esti ie, sed mi sercis gin cie, cae nenie mi povis trovi gin. Ha! Nun mi ecvidas gin tie. Where is my hat? It must be somewhere, but I have looked for it everywhere, and nowhere can I find it. Ha! Now I see it there. Iel. Manner. Kiel vi faros dionci? Minestias. Mi ciel provis gin fari, sed mine nio succesis. Johanno succesis iel, eble li faris gin tiel. How will you do this? I do not know. I have tried in every way to do it, but I have in no way, not at all, succeeded. John succeeded in some way, somehow. Perhaps he did it so, in such a way. Ies. Possession. Kies devo estas tioci? Eble gi estas ties. Sendube gi estas ies. Cies devo estas nenies. Whose duty is this? Perhaps it is that one's, that person's. Doubtless it is somebody's. Everybody's duty is nobody's. Io, thing. Kio mal placias al vi? Nun nenio mal placias al mi. Cio estas bona. Antao tri tagoi io tre mal placis al mi. Se mi ne parolas pri tio nun. What displeases you? Now nothing displeases me. All is well. Three days ago something greatly displeased me. But I am not speaking about that now. Iom, quantity. Kiom da mono vi bezonas? Mi havas tiom, mi povas prunti al vi iom, se ne ciom. Se mi pruntas al vi ciom, mi mem havus neniom. How much money do you need? I have so much, that quantity. I can lend you some, but not all. If I were to lend you all, I myself should have none. Iu denotes individuality, person or thing specified. Kiu estas celabalo. Ciu kiu estis invitita estis tie, neniu forestis. Iu kiu mi mem ne conas, venis kun tiu kiu visitis vin hierau. Who was at the ball? Everybody who had been invited was there. Nobody was absent. Somebody whom I myself do not know came with that person who visited you yesterday. It will be seen from these examples that the words beginning with K, ko, either ask questions or refer to some person or thing before mentioned. Those beginning with T, to, point to a definite time, place, etc., those with C with a circumflex, cho, signify each or every, and in a plural, all. Those without a letter prefixed are indefinite, meaning some or any, and those with nen are negative, meaning no, none. The words ending in ia and those in eu can take the plural yo and accusative no. The words in io take no, but the sense does not permit of their taking yo. The words in ie take the no denoting direction. The word chi signifying nearness is used with the to series, words meaning that, to denote the one near i.e. this, as dio chi, this thing, tiu chi, this person, tie chi, or chi tie, here, etc. The word ein, ever, is used with the ko series, 
to give a more inclusive and wider meaning, as ki o ein, whatever, ki u ein, whoever, ki am ein, whenever, ki om ein, however much. Comparisons of equality are made with the words tiel, kiel, as vi estas tiel forta kiel mi. You are as strong as I. Tia, kia, as tia domo kia tiu estas malofta. Such a house as that is rare. Sama kia, as mia bastono estas tia sama kia la via. My stick is the same as yours. Sama kiel, as gia usado estas tia sama kiel en la aliai lingvoi. Its use is the same as in the other languages. Viciam laboradas al tiu sama celo kiel mi. You are always working towards the same end as I. Any of the above series of words whose sense admits of it can be used as adjectives, adverbs, etc., and in combination with prefixes, suffixes, or other words as chiama, continual, eternal, tiea, of that place. Kioma is used for asking the time as kioma horoestas. What time is it? Correlative words. Quality, kind of. Indefinite. Ia, some kind, any kind. Ia. Questioning relative. Kia, what kind? Kia. Definite. Tia that kind such tia inclusive chia each kind every kind chia negative nenia no kind nenia motive reason purpose indefinite ial for some reason for any reason Ial, questioning, relative. Kial, for what reason, why? Kial, definite. Tial, for that reason, therefore. Tial, inclusive. Chial, for each reason, for every reason. Chial, negative. Nenial. For no reason, nenial. Time, indefinite. Iam, sometime, any time. Iam, questioning relative. Kiam, at what time, when. Kiam, definite. Tiam, at that time, then. Tiam, inclusive. Chiam, each time, every time, always, chiam. Negative, neniam, at no time, never, neniam. Place, indefinite. Ie, in some place, somewhere, anywhere. Ie, questioning, relative. Kie, at what place, where, kie, definite, tie, at that place, there, tie, inclusive, chie, at each place, at every place, everywhere, chie, negative, nenie, at no place, nowhere, Nenie.
manner indefinite iel in some way in any way somehow anyhow iel questioning relative kiel in what way how as like kiel definite tiel in that way so tiel inclusive chiel in each way in every way chiel negative neniel in no way no how neniel possession indefinite es someone's anyone's es questioning relative ki yes what persons whose ki yes definite ts that ones ts inclusive chi yes each ones every ones chi yes negative neni yes no ones neni yes thing indefinite e or something anything e or questioning relative ki or what thing what ki or definite t or that thing t or inclusive chi or everything chi or negative neni or nothing neni or quantity indefinite eom sum of the quantity eom questioning relative kiom what quantity how much kiom definite tiom that quantity so much tiom inclusive chiom every quantity all of the quantity chiom negative neniom none of the quantity neniom individuality indefinite eu someone anyone eu questioning relative kiu what person which thing who which kiu definite tiu that person that specified thing tiu inclusive chiu each person everyone chiu chiui means all all the negative neniu no one nobody neniu vocabulary ankro anchor ankro maniero manner way maniero riprocho reproach riprocho conscienzo conscience conscienzo propono proposal offer propono rando edge rando sheepo ship sheepo dubo doubt dubo demando question demando 
admir admire admir blach be pleasing blach suppose 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 prov attempt try prov success succeed success perd lose perd merit deserve merit compren understand compren libera free libera certa certain sure certa utila useful utila fremda strange fremda necesa necessary necesa exter beyond outside exter ia la maro estas tie pli profunda ol povas atingi ia ancro en ia maniero sen ia riprocho de conscienzo miscias en kia loco mi certe lin trovos kia estas la vetero Kian mal bonon mi al vi faris? Tia maniere li faris cion. Li invitis lin veni en tian kai tian locon. Ne cia birdo cantas. Exter cia dubo. Nenia homo meritas tian punon. Tiai libroi estas malutilai. Ia foie li visitis nin. Ial. Ial li ne povis dormi. Kial vi ne respondas al mi? Mi ne comprenis vian demandon, tial mi ne respondis. La homoi ne comprenas unu la alian, kai tial ili tenas sin fremde. Ci al tio estas la plej bona. Iam, mi iam vin amis. Kio vivas necese devas iam morti. Kiam vi foriros? En la luna nocto, kiam ciui dormis, tiam si sidis sur la rando de la ŝipo. Estu por ciam penata. Shiantawen and Niam vidis hundon. The sea is deeper there than any anchor can reach. In some way, in any way, without any reproach of conscience. I know in what sort of place I shall certainly find him. What kind of weather is it? What harm have I done to you? In that way he did everything. He invited him to come into such and such a place. Not every sort of bird sings. Beyond all doubt, no kind of man deserves such a punishment. Such books are harmful. At times he visits us. For some reason he could not sleep. Why do you not answer me? I did not understand your question, therefore I did not answer. People do not understand one another and therefore they hold themselves aloof. For every reason that is the best. I once loved you. What lives must of necessity sometime die. When shall you go away? In the moonlight night, when all were asleep, then she sat on the edge of the ship. Be forever blessed. She had never seen a dog before. Vocabulary 20. A. Mono. Money. Mono. Monuyo. Purse. Monuyo. Unezzo. Youth. 
juneco reto net reto ideo idea ideo gaino gain gaino taug be fit suitable taug fart be fair as to health fart monto mountain monto ganto glove ganto opinio opinion opinio vocio voice vocio preside 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 alpren adopt alpren stranga strange curious stranga comprenebla understandable comprenebla subita sudden subita ie kie estas la knaboj kien vi iris mi restas tie ĉi li perdis sian monujon ie en la urbo sed kie li perdis ĝin li ne scias mi volonte el tie venis tien ĉi li petis ŝin ke ŝi diru al li de kie si venas por la juneco ĉie staras retoj ĉie estas floroj kaj nenie oni povas trovi pli belajn iel kiel bela ĉu mi taŭgas kiel reĝo tiel finiĝis la feliĉa tago ili brilis kiel diamantoj kiel vi fartas iel li malkomprenis min mia edzino pensis tiel same kiel mi mi neniel povas kompreni kion vi diras tre stranga kaj neniel komprenebla mi elektis lin kiel prezidanto mi elektis lin kiel prezidanton ies kies kanto tiu ĉi estas mi nenia malprenas ties opinion Subite ŝi ekaŭdis ies fortan malagrablan voĉon. Ĉies ideo estas diversa. Bona amiko, sen kies helpo li neniam ekvidus tiun ĉi landon. Ies perdo ne estas ĉiam ies gajno. Ies perdo estas ofte nenies gajno. Where? are the boys where did you go i am staying here he lost his purse somewhere in the town but where he lost it he does not know i willingly came from there here he begged her to tell him whence he came when she comes for youth there are snares everywhere everywhere are flowers and nowhere can one find more beautiful ones how beautiful am i fit for a king so finished the happy day they shone like diamonds how are you somehow he misunderstood me my wife thought the same as i i cannot understand at all what you say very strange and quite incomprehensible i as president elected him i chose him as president whose glove is this i never take that one's opinion suddenly she heard somebody's loud disagreeable voice everybody's idea is different a good friend without whose help he would never have seen this land somebody's loss is not always somebody's gain somebody's loss is often no one's gain vocabulary 20b ornamo ornament 
ornamo pupilo pupil of eye pupilo centimo centim centimo forto strength power forto nesto nest nesto fortuno fortune fortuno funto pound weight or money funto lango tongue lango gusto taste gusto oculo eye oculo chino chinese chino decido decision decido said give up yield seed said for las forsake leave for las prudenta reasonable prudent prudenta firma firm stable firma sterlinga sterling sterlinga contrao against opposite contrao pro for owing to pro io mi sentas che io o casas nenia mi ion al vi donis mi volas fari al vi ion bonan chio tio ci estas chia ornamo tio ci estas chion mi vidas tio ci estas cio pri chio mi parolis mi nenion cedos al vi nenion faru contra la patrino antau cio estu fidela al vi mem si exentis ion tian chion si mem comence ne povis compreni iom si parolis iom colere la pupiloi del oculoi iom post iom malgrandigis chiu estas tiom sen prudenta che li povas cin credi chiom da mono vi havas mi havas neniom donu al mi tiom da acvo chiom da vino iu iu venas chiu ci estas ciu iu curagius tion fari ciu penis sin savi chie li povis lingvo en ciu neniu nin comprenos neniu el ili povis savi ladronanton li al neniu helpis iam ec per uno centimo ni iros ciu i cune mi conas neniu nen tiu urbo tio ci esta super ciu i homai fortoi i feel that something is happening never did i give you anything i wish to do something good for you what is this what kind of ornament is this what do i see this is all i spoke of i will give up nothing to you do nothing against your mother before all be faithful to yourself she began to feel something such as she herself in the beginning could not understand she spoke a little angrily the pupils of the eyes little by little contracted who is so unreasonable or senseless that he can believe it how much money have you i have none give me as much water as wine somebody comes who is it would anybody have the courage to do that everybody tried to save himself as he could a language in which nobody will understand us none of them could save the drowning person he helped nobody ever never helped anybody even with one centime 
We shall go all together. I know nobody in that town. This is beyond all human strength. 20C De kie mi veturas, kien kai pro kio mi nur povas respondi, mi ne scias. Oni petis lin attendi iom kun lia forveturo. Tiu ci nestoi ofte estas pli grandai o la dometoi de la tieai homoi. Li forveturis kun firma decido for lasi por ciam tiun ci sen dankan landon. Se iu tion vidus, li malpenus la fortunon. Mi donus cent funtoin sterlingain. Se bova lango povus havi por mi tian bonan guston kiel por vi. Kio ma horo estas? Baldau la dectua horo. Key to exercise. Where I am travelling from, whither and why, I can only answer, I know not. They begged him to delay a little with his departure. These nests are often larger than the huts of the people of that place. He departed with a firm resolve to leave forever this ungrateful land. If any one were to see that, he would curse fortune. I would give a hundred pounds sterling if ox tongue could have for me such a good taste as for you. What time is it? Nearly twelve o'clock. End of Lesson 20「The Esperanto Teacher」This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer Lesson 21 The Suffixes Egg and et. The suffixes egg and et are opposites. Egg denotes a great size or degree, and et a small size or degree, of that which the word signifies, as domo, a house, domego, a mansion, dometo, a cottage, schnuro, a cord, schnurego, a rope, schnureto, a string, monto, a mountain, montego, a huge mountain, monteto, a hill, ami, to love, amegi, to idolize, ameti, to have a liking for, ridi, to laugh, ridegi, to shout with laughter, to guffaw, rideti, to smile. Egg and et denote a greater or smaller size or degree than is expressed by very large or very small. The adjective ega means enormous, huge, and eta means tiny. Vocabulary Arbaro, a wood. Arbaro. Bruo, a noise. Bruo. Calesho, carriage. Calesho. Corto, courtyard. Corto. Piedo, foot. Piedo. Teruro. Terra, teruro. Militistaro, army, militistaro. Serio, series, serio. Somero, summer, somero. Campo, field, campo. Piedego, poor, piedego. Forir, go away, forir. Murmur, murmur, murmur. Varma, warm, varma, densa, dense, densa. In Varmega Tago mi amas promeni en arbaro. On a hot day I like to walk in a wood. Con bruo 
oni malfermis la pordegon, kai la kalesho en veturis en la corton. They opened the gate noisily, and the carriage drove into the courtyard. Tioci estas jam ne simpla pluvo, sed pluvego. This is no longer simple rain, but a downpour. Grandega hundo metis sur mincian an tawan piadegon, kai mi de teruro nest siis kion fari. A huge dog put its forepaw on me, and from terror I did not know what to do. Antau nia militistaro staris granda serio da pafilegoi. Before our army stood a great series of cannon. Entiu nocto blovis terura ventego. In that night a terrible gale blew. Cun plesurego, with delight. Li desiregis de nove foriri. He longed to go away again. Tui post la heito, la forno estis varmega, post unu horo, gi estis nur varma, post du horoi, gi estis nur iam varmeta, kai post tri horoi, gi estis iam tute mal varma. Immediately after heating, the stove was hot. In an hour it was only warm. In two hours it was only just warm, and after three hours it was already quite cold. Mi acetis por la infanoi tableton, kai kelke da sagetoi. I bought for the children a little table and some little seats. En nielando sin ne trovas montoi, sed nur montetoi. In our country there are no mountains, but only hills. En somero ni trovas malvarmeton en densai arbaroi. In summer we find coolness in thick woods. Lisidas apud la tablo kai dormitas. He sits near the table and dozes. Malarja voyeto conducas tra tioci campo al niadomo. A narrow path leads through this field to our house. Sur lio visaggio mi vidis gioian rideton. On his face I saw a joyful smile. Antau la virino aperis malgranda baleta hundo. Before the woman appeared a pretty little dog. Pardonu li murmuretis. Pardon, he whispered. End of Lesson 21「Lesson 22 of The Esperanto Teacher – This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. – The Esperanto Teacher – A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer – Lesson 22 – The Suffix – Il – the suffix il denotes the instrument by means of which something is done, as razi, to shave, razillo, a razor, rigli, to bolt, riglillo, a bolt, butero, butter, buterillo, a churn, curazzi, to treat, as a doctor, curazzillo, a medicine. Vocabulary Viando meat or flesh, viando, poscio, pocket, poscio, corco, cork, the substance, corco, argento, silver, argento, telero, plate, telero, sano, health, sano, butero, butter, butero, Huck, chop or hew, huck. Seg, saw, seg. Foss, dig, foss. Kudr, so, kudr. Tond, clip or shear, tond. Comb, comb, comb. Stop, 
stop up, stop, schloss, lock, schloss, glit, to glide or slide, glit, direct, direct, steer, defect, damage, defect, montre, show, montre, pes, to weigh something, pes, tir, draw, pull, tir, vetur, drive in a vehicle, vetur, frosta, frosty, frosta, magneta, magnetic, magneta, Perhakillo nihakas. With or by means of an axe, we chop. Perhakillo nihakas. Persegillo nisegas. With a saw, we saw. Persegillo nisegas. Perfosillo nifosas. With a spade, we dig. Perfosillo nifosas. Percudrillo nicudras. With a needle, we sew. Per cudrillo ni cudras. Per tondillo ni tondas. With scissors, we clip. Per tondillo ni tondas. La tranchilo estis tiel malacra que mi ne povis tranchi pergi la viandon, que mi devis usi mi en poshan tranchilon. The knife was so blunt that I could not cut the meat with it, and I had to use my pocket knife. Chu vi havas coctirillon por mal stopi la botellon? Have you a corkscrew to uncork the bottle? Mi volis schlossi la porton, sed mi perdis la schlossilon. I wished to unlock the door, but I had lost the key. Si combas al si la haroin per argenta combilo. She combs her hair with a silver comb. En somero ni veturas per diversai vetoriloi. Cae en vintro per glit vetorillo. In summer we travel by various vehicles, and in winter by a sledge. Hodiao estas bella frosta vetero. Tial mi prenos miain glitilloin kai iros gliti. Today it is beautiful frosty weather, therefore I shall take my skates and go skating. La directilisto de pinta defectis la directillon. The steersman of the pinta injured the rudder. La magneta montrilo, the magnetic needle. La unua montrilo en la play multi malsanoi estas la lango. The first indicator in most illnesses is the tongue. Limetis gin sulla teleron de pesillo. He put it on the plate of a pair of scales. End of lesson 22. Lesson 23 of The Esperanto Teacher This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer Lesson 23 The Suffixes An- and est. The suffix an signifies a member or an inhabitant of a country, town, etc., or a member of a party, society, religion, etc. Europano, a European. Londanano, a Londoner. Urbo, a town or city. Urbano, a citizen. Clubo, a club. Clubano, a member of a club. Ano, a member. Est denotes the head of a state, town, society, etc. Regno, a state. Regnestro, a ruler of a state. Urbestro, the head of a town, a mayor. Lerneo, a school. Lerneestro, the principal or headmaster of a school. Imperio, an empire. Imperiestro, an emperor. 
vocabulary. Parizo, Paris, Parizo. Regno, State, Regno. Imperio, Empire, Imperio. Polizzo, Police, Polizzo. Cristo, Christ, Cristo. Lutero, Luther, Lutero. Calvino, Calvin, Calvino. Germano, German, Germano. Franzo, Frenchman, Franzo. Russuyo, Russia, Russuyo. Provinzo, Province, Provinzo. Religio, Religion, Religio. Regimento, Regiment, Regimento. Locomotivo, Engine, Locomotivo. Logio, Box, at the opera, or lodge, for a Freemason, etc. Villaggio, Village, Villaggio. Obe, to obey, Obe. Confess, Confess, avow, acknowledge, profess, confess. Enir, to enter, Enir. Rusa, sharp or cunning, Rusa. Sufficia, sufficient, Sufficia. Ordinara, ordinary, ordinara. Naiva, simple, naiva. Saja, wise, saja. Severa, strict or severe, severa. Justa, just, righteous, justa. Egala, equal, egala. Fiera, proud, fiera. Energia, energetic, energia. La Shipanoi devas obey la Shipestron. The sailors must obey the captain. Chioi logiantoi de regno estas regnanoi. All the inhabitants of a state are citizens of the state. Urbanoi estas ordinare plirusai ol villagianoi. Townsfolk are usually sharper than villagers. La Parisanoi estas gaiai homoi. The Parisians are gay folk. Nia urbo havas bonain polizanoin, sed ne suffice energian polizestron. Our town has good policemen, but not a sufficiently energetic chief constable. Luteranoi, kai calvinanoi, estas cristanoi. Lutherans and Calvinists are Christians. Germanoi kai Francoi, kioi logias en Rusuyo, estas Rusuyanoi, quancam ili ne estas Rusoi. Germans and Frenchmen who live in Russia are Russian subjects, although they are not Russians. Li estas nelerta kai naiva provinzano. He is an awkward and simple provincial. La logiantoi de unu regno. Estas sam regnanoi, la logiantoi de unu urbo, estas sam urbanoi, la confesantoi de unu religio, estas sam religianoi. The inhabitants of one state are fellow countrymen, the inhabitants of one town are fellow citizens, the professors of one religion are co-religionists. Tiui, kiui havas la samain ideoin, Estas samidianoi. Those who have the same ideas are fellow thinkers. La regnestro de nia lando estas bona kai saja regio. The ruler of our country is a good and wise king. Nia provincestro estas severa sed justa. The governor of our province is strict but just. Nia regimentestro estas por siai soldatoi kiel bona patro. Our regimental chief, colonel, is like a good father to his soldiers. Ili estas egale fierai kiel domestrino prisia domo. They are as proud as a housewife of her house. Sur la locomotivo, la locomotivestro sidis sola. On the engine, the engine driver sat alone. La imperiestro, accompanata de la imperiestrino, 
Jus eniris en sian logion. The emperor, accompanied by the empress, had just entered his box. End of lesson 23. Lesson 24 of The Esperanto Teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non grammarians by Helen Fryer. Lesson 24 Suffixes are and air. The suffix ar signifies a collection of the persons or things named, as arbo, a tree, arbaro, a wood, homo, a human being, homaro, mankind, militisto, a soldier, from milito, war, militistaro, an army, vorto, a word, vortaro, a dictionary, Vortareto, a vocabulary. Aro, a flock. Anaro, a company or troop. Er signifies a particle or one of things of which the name denotes a mass, as greno, corn, grenero, a grain of corn, polvo, dust, polvero, a speck of dust, pulvo, gunpowder, pulvero, a grain of gunpowder. Hailo, hail, hailero, a hailstone. Nejo, snow, negero, a snowflake. Coto, mud, cotero, a speck of mud or dirt. Vocabulary. Pulvo, gunpowder, pulvo. Stupo, step, stair, stupo. Tegmento, roof, tegmento. Herbo, Grass, herbo, bruto, brute, beast, head of cattle, bruto, lano, wool, lano, persono, person, persono, floreno, florin, floreno, shilingo, shilling, shilingo, penso, penny, penso, glasso, a glass or tumbler, glasso, brando, brandy, Brando. Tuco, a cloth. Tuco. Teller tuceto, a serviette. Teller tuceto. Schnuro, a cord. Schnuro. Sablo, sand. Sablo. Schafo, a sheep. Schafo. Fairo, a fire. Fairo. Met, to put or set. Met. Pasht. To feed or cause to feed, to pasture, pasht, sekf, to follow, sekf, bar, obstruct, bar, batal, battle, fight, batal, explod, explode, explode, brava, brave, brava, cruta, steep, cruta, hispana, Spanish, hispana, vasta, vast, spacious, vasta, precipe, chiefly, particularly, precipe, preskau, almost, preskau, inter, between, among, inter. Nia lando vencos, char nia militistaro estas granda cae brava. Our country will conquer, for our army is large and brave. Sur cruta stuparo li levisen a la tegmento de la domo. On a steep ladder he raised himself to the roof of the house. Minestias la lingvon hispanan, sed per helpo de votaro hispana germana, mitamen comprenisium vian leteron. I do not know the Spanish language, but by help of a Spanish-German dictionary, I nevertheless understood your letter a little. Sur tiuici vastai cae heboricae campoi, pastasin grandai brutaroi, precipe aroi da belanae shafoi. On these vast and grassy fields, 
feed great herds of beasts, especially flocks of fine-wooled sheep. La vagonaro consistis prescau nur el person vagonoi. The train consisted almost entirely of passenger coaches. Onimetis antaumi mangilaron, quio consistis el telero, culero, tranchilo, forco, glaseto por brando, glaso por vino, cae teler tuqueto. They put before me a cover, table requisites, which consisted of a plate, spoon, knife, fork, a small glass for brandy, a glass for wine, and a serviette. Sur la maro staris granda scipo, cae inter la schnuregaro sidis cia scipanoi. On the sea was a great ship, and among the rigging everywhere sat sailors. Lia sequantaro staris en la posto de la logio. His escort stood at the back of the box. Malumai montegaroi paras la voyon. Dark ranges of mountains bar the way. Floreno, shilingo, caipenso, estas moneroi. A florin, a shilling, and a penny are coins. Sablero en falis en mian oculon. A grain of sand fell into my eye. Unu fairero esta sufficia por explodigi pulvon. One spark is enough to explode a gunpowder. End of lesson twenty four. Lesson twenty five of The Esperanto Teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians, by Helen Fryer. Lesson 25. The Suffix Ul. The suffix ul denotes a person characterized by the quality, etc., which the word expresses, as justa, just, righteous, justulo, one who is just, babili, to chatter, babilulo, one who chatters, a babbler, avara, avaricious, avarulo, a miser, kun, with, kunulo, a companion. Vocabulary Legendo, legend, legendo. Ombro, shadow, ombro. Raito, right, authority, raito. Profeto, prophet, profeto. Mensogo, a lie, mensogo. Tagmanj, to dine, tagmanj. Entrepren, to undertake, entrepren. Propra, own, propra. Avara, avaricious, avara. Potenza, powerful, potenza. Infecta, infectious, infecta. Che, at or with, che. Malricia sagiulo, tagmangis che avara ricciulo. A poor wise man dined with a miserly rich man. Malsajulon chiubatas. A fool everyone beats. Liestas mensogisto kai malnoblulo. He is a liar and a despicable man. Timulo timas ech sian propran ombron. A coward fears even his own shadow. Tiuchi malunulo tute malsajigis kai infanigis. This old man has become quite silly and childish. Uno instruitulo entreprenis gravan sciensan laboron. A learned man undertook an important scientific work. Nur sanctuloi havas la raiton en vene tienci. Only saints have the right to enter here. Li solo estas la grandulo, la potenzulo. He only is the great, the powerful. 
Ĝi ne estas la legendo pri la belulino Zobaido. It isn't the legend about the beautiful Zobaida. Post infecta malsano, oni ofte bruligas la vestoin de la malsanulo. After an infectious disease, the clothes of the patient are often burnt. La malbeno de la profeto staras super la capo de maldanculo. The curse of the prophet is over the head of an ungrateful one. Post kelkai minutoi la curajulo eliris. After a few minutes, the brave man went out. Ciui sanctuloi, helpu! All the saints, help! End of Lesson 25レッスン26 the following words, which have already been used in the previous lessons, are always placed before nouns or pronouns to show the relation of position, etc., between the thing for which the noun stands and another thing or an action. Al, to, towards. Apud, beside, near, by. Da, of, indefinite quantity. De, of, from, by. L, out of, N, in, into, within, exter, outside, gis, until, till, as far as, inter, between, among, contrao, against, opposite, kun, in company with, lau, according to, per, by means of, with, post, after, behind, pri, concerning, about, por, for, for the sake of, sen, without, super, above or over, sur, on or upon, tra, through, trans, across, on the other side, ye, has no definite meaning. These words are called prepositions, which means placed before. The other simple prepositions are anstatau, instead of, antau, before, che, at or with, circau, about or around, crom, besides, except, malgrau, notwithstanding, in spite of, po, at the rate of, pro, for, as in a cause, or owing to, preter, past, beyond, by, spite, in despite of, sub, under. The prepositions anstatau, antau, all, and por, are also used before infinitive verbs, as anstatau diri, instead of saying, antau ol paroli, before speaking, por lerni, in order to learn. In Esperanto, all the prepositions except ye have a definite meaning, and care must be taken to use the one which conveys the exact sense. The same word cannot be used for with in the two sentences, he went with his father, and he cut it with a knife, or for about in he spoke about his child, and they stood about the stove. In the first example, with, as in with his father, is kun, in company with, li iris kun sia patro, and with, a knife, is per, by means of, li tranchis gin per tranchilo. About, in, about his child, is pri, concerning, li parolis pri sia infano, but about, in, about the stove, is circao, around. Ilistaris circao la forno. When we cannot decide which is the correct preposition to use in any case, we may use ye 
the only preposition which has no special meaning of its own, or the preposition may be left out altogether, and n added to the noun or pronoun, provided that no want of clearness ensues. See Lesson 27. As Mi ridas pro lia naivezzo, or Mi ridas je lia naivezzo, or Mi ridas lian naivezzon. I laugh at his simplicity. When we wish to express motion towards something, and the preposition does not of itself express it, n is added to the noun or pronoun, as in the case of adverbs. See or listen to lesson 12. Li estas en la domo. He is in the house. But li iras en la domon. He is going into the house. Note. There are three cases in which the noun or pronoun takes n. One, when it is the direct object of the verb, as mi vidis lin, I saw him. Two, to show direction, as li iris en la jardenon, he went into the garden. Three, when the preposition is left out. This is usually done in the case of dates and expressions signifying duration of time, as Georgo Washington estis nascita la dudec duan de februaro de la jaro mil sepsent tridec du. George Washington was born the 22nd of February, 1732. Vi restos tie ci la tutan vivon, dum la tuta vivo. You will remain here the whole of your life. All the prepositions whose meaning allows of it can be used as adjectives, adverbs, etc., by adding the proper endings, as from antau, before, we get antawa, former, antawe, formerly or previously, and antawen, forward. Prepositions are also joined to other words and to prefixes or suffixes, as antaudiri, to foretell, Apudmara urbo, a seaside town, senigi, to deprive of. Sometimes the preposition is both prefixed to the verb and used after it before the noun, as li eliris el la domo kai eniris en la jardenon. He went out of the house and entered into the garden. End of lesson 26. Lesson 27 of The Esperanto Teacher This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org The Esperanto Teacher A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer Lesson 27 Al Al signifies to or towards a person or place. It is also used before the noun or pronoun which signifies person, after such verbs as give, tell, etc., which take two objects in different relations to the verb, as give him or give to him the book, dono ali la libron, tell him or tell to him the truth, diru ali la veron, write or write to him, a letter, scribo ali letteron. In such cases we can say, pardonulin, pardon him, if the thing or the object is not mentioned, but we cannot say, pardonulin la culpon, forgive him his fault. It must be, pardonu ali la culpon. The pronoun with al is sometimes used instead of the possessive pronoun adjective mia, etc., as mi tranchis al mi la fingron, for mi tranchis mi an fingron, I cut my finger. She combis al si la haroin, instead of she combis si ein haroin, she combed her hair. Al is frequently used as a prefix as well as after the verb, as al doni, to add, al preni, adopt, aligi, to adhere, al yugi, to award. Vocabulary. Sorcisto, sorcerer. Sorcisto. De tranche, cut off. De tranche. Promes, promise. Promes. Ambao, both. Ambao. She revenis alla palazzo de sia patro. 
she returned to her father's palace. Ili ambau iris alla urbestro. They both went to the mayor. Chumi ne faris al vi bonon? Did I not do you good? She nenion al ili racontis. She told them nothing. She scribis al li letteron. She wrote him a letter. Ciutage li instruas al la homoi ion kion illi ne scias. Every day he teaches the people something which they do not know. Illi flugis al la suno. They flew towards the sun. Uno fratino promesis al la alia raconti al si kion si vidis kai kio la play multe placis al si en la unua tago. One sister promised the other to tell her what she saw and what most pleased her the first day. Ebleli al vi pardonos. Perhaps he will forgive you. She ne credis al siai proprai orelloi. She did not believe her own ears. Li ne sciis ke al si li devas danki la vivon. He did not know that he had to thank her for his life. Si savis al li la vivon. She saved his life. La sorcistino de tranchis al la virinetto de maro la langon. The witch cut off the tongue of the mermaid. End of lesson 27Che indicates a certain place, time, or point of thought, discourse, etc., as li estis che mia patro, he was with my father, or at my father's house, che la momento, at the moment, li estis che la pordo, he was at the door, che esti, to be present. Apud means close by or beside, it applies to place only, as la knabo staris apud la patro, the boy stood by or beside the father. Vocabulary. Fundo, bottom, fundo. Braco, arm, braco. Torcio, torch, torcio. Serpento, serpent, serpento. Statuo, statue, statuo. Salico, willow. Salico. Halt. Stop. Halt. Halt. Ramp. Creep. Crawl. Ramp. Plant. To plant. Plant. Multecosta. Precious. Valuable. Multecosta. Ow. Ow. Either. Or. Ow. Ow. Milogis che shia patro. I lived with her father. Chifalis su la fundon de la maro che la rompigio de la shippo. It fell to the bottom of the sea on the breaking up of the ship. Che lumo de torcioi. By the light of torches. Braco che braco. Arm in arm. Captis lin timo che la penso. There seized him some fear at the thought. Nenio helpas, oni devas nur curage resti che sia opinio. Nothing helps, one must only bravely remain of one's own opinion. Shiridis che lia racontado. She laughed at his recital. Che ciu vorto ciun vidiros, el via buscio eliros au floro au multe costa stono. At every word which you speak, out of your mouth will come either a flower or a precious stone. Li haltis apud la porto. He stopped near the door. 
la serpento rampis apod shiai piedoi. The serpent crawled about her feet. Ciam li estis ciemi, li staris tutan horon apod la fenestro. When he was with me, he stood a whole hour by the window. Mi logis en arbo apud via domo. I lived in a tree near your house. Si plantis apud la statuo rosa rujan salicon. She planted near the statue a rose-red willow. La apud voyai arboi. The wayside trees. End of lesson 28. Lesson 29 of The Esperanto Teacher This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians, by Helen Fryer. Lesson 29. N. N means in, inside. When, however, the letter N is added to the noun which it precedes, it means into, as, Kia vi estas? Mi estas en la domo. Kien vi iras? Mi iras en la jardenon. Where are you? I'm in the house. Where are you going? I'm going into the garden. Malamico venis en nian landon. An enemy came into our country. Vocabulary Hispanuyo, Spain, Hispanuyo Humoro, humor, temper, humoro Pazzo, peace, pazzo Pinglo, pinglo, pin, pinglo Nascotago, birthday, nascotago Faruno, flower, faruno Parto, part, parto Muel, to grind, muel Turn, to turn, turn, divide, divide, divide. Do, then, do. Juste, exactly, just, juste. Quasau, as if, quasau. La birdo flugas en la chambro. Ci estas en la chambro, cae flugas en gi. The bird flies in the room. The bird is in the room, and it flies about in it. La birdo flugas en la chambron. Ci estas exter la chambro, cae flugas nun en gin. The bird flies into the room. It is outside the room, and now flies into it. Mi voyajas en hispanuyo. I'm travelling in Spain. Mi voyajas en hispanuyon. I am travelling to Spain. Qui on do fari en tia ocaso? What is there to do in such a case? Mi estas en bono humoro. I'm in good humor. Li murmuretis a la regino en la orelon. He whispered to the queen in the ear. En sequo de tiuci ocaso. In consequence of this occurrence. Mi preferus resti en pacho tiaci. I would prefer to stay here in peace. She and Ascotago estis justi en la mezo de vintro. Her birthday was exactly in the middle of winter. Li ecrigardis en la oculoin de la infano. He glanced into the child's eyes. Li estis bella granda viro en la agio de quardec jaroi. He was a tall, handsome man of the age of forty years. In la dauro de mia tuta vivo. In the whole of my life. In la fino de la yaro. At the end of the year. Mano en mano. Hand in hand. En irinte en la vagonon. She sidis quasau sur pingloi. Entering the carriage. She sat as if on pins. La greno muelijas en farunon. Corn is ground into flour. Alexandro turnigis en polvon. Alexander turned into dust. Li dividis la pomon en du partoin. 
he divided the apple into two parts. End of Lesson 29Lesson 30 of The Esperanto Teacher This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer Lesson 30 Inter, Exter and El Inter means between, among, or amongst. It is largely used as a prefix, as inter paroli, to converse, inter nazia, international, inter consento, agreement, sin intermeti, to interfere. Exter means out of, outside, as exter dangero, out of danger. It is used as a prefix, as exter ordinara, extraordinary. L means out of. It applies one to place, signifying motion from, as mi eliris el la domo, I went out of the house. Two, chosen from among, as uno el miai infanoi, one of, from among my children. Three, made out of, as in tiuci stofo estas farita el lano. This cloth is made out of wool. L is used as a prefix, and means out, outright, or thoroughly, as el fossi, to dig out, el lerni, to learn thoroughly. Vocabulary. Colono, column, pillar, colono. Marmoro, marble, marmoro. Figuro, figure, figuro. Muro, wall, muro. Canapo, sofa, canapo. Arto, art, arto. Vivezzo, liveliness, vivezzo. Crono, crown, crono. Uso, use, uso. Ocaso, occasion, ocaso. Alfabeto, alphabet, alfabeto. Divid, to divide something, divid. Product, to produce, product. Interne, inside, interne. Inter rosuyo kai franzuyo estas germanuyo between russia and france is germany ili dividis intersi dectu pomoin they divided among them twelve apples inter la deca kai deconua horo matene between ten and eleven o'clock in the morning inter la colonoi staris marmorai figuroi between the pillars stood marble figures. Apud la muro, inter la fenestroi, staris canapo. Near the wall between the windows stood a sofa. Longe eli parolis intersi. They talked long among themselves. Cietiuci malsano, unu horo, povas decidi inter vivo cae morto. In this disease, an hour may decide between life and death. En la intertempo inter la paroloi, ani productas artain fairoin. In the interval between the speeches, they set off fireworks. Mistaras exter la domo, kai li estas interne. I am standing outside the house, and he is inside. Li estas exter la porto. He is outside the door. Nun ni estas exter dangero. Now we are out of danger. Li logas exter la urbo. He lives outside town. Starante exterre li povis vidi nur la exteran flancon de nia domo. Standing outside, he could only see the outer side of our house. Li montris exteren en la malumon. He pointed outside into the darkness. Milasis len exterre. I left him outside. La extero de tiuci homo estas pli bona o lia interno. This man is better outwardly than within. 
li eliris el la urbo. He went out of the town. Li estas jus reveninta el la exterlando. He has just returned from foreign parts. Con exterordinara vivezzo, she el saltis el la vagono. With extraordinary vivacity, she jumped out of the carriage. She metis al she cronon el blanca lilioi sur la haroin. She put a crown of white lilies on her head. Li faris uzon el la ocaso. He made use of the opportunity. Tiucinestoi estas faratai tute el tero. These nests are made wholly of earth. She estis la plei curaja el ciui. She was the bravest of all. Yen viel crescis. Now you have grown up. Li eliris el la dormo chambro, kai eniris en la manjo chambron. He went out of the bedroom and entered the dining room. La esperanta alfabeto consistas el dudec oc literoi. The Esperanto alphabet consists of twenty-eight letters. End of Lesson 30Lesson 31 of The Esperanto Teacher This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer Lesson 31 Sur, Super and sub. Sur means on, upon, touching. Li sidas sur la canapo. He is sitting on the sofa. Followed by the accusative with n, it means onto, as sidiju sur la canapon, sit down on the sofa. Influi sur la caracteron means to have influence on the character. Super means over, above not touching. Super la maro flugis la nuboi. Over the sea floated the clouds. Followed by the accusative, it shows motion over and above a thing, as ligetis stonon super la muron. He threw a stone over the wall. Sub means under, underneath. La hundo cushis sub la tablo. The dog lay under the table. With the accusative, Sub shows motion to and beneath, as La hundo curis sub la tablon. The dog ran under the table. Vocabulary Aero, air, aero. Sono, sound, sono. Benco, bench, benco. Cato, cat, cato. Lito, bed, lito. Fructo, fruit, fructo. Genuo, knee, genuo. Muso, mouse, muso. Musico, music, musico. Ponto, bridge, ponto. Sofo, sofa, sofo. Suprajo, surface, suprajo. Shultro, shoulder, shultro. Ferdeco, deck, ferdeco. Balance. To swing something, balance. Frap, to strike, to slap. Frap, influ, to have influence on, influ. Prem, to press, prem. Nudge, swim, nudge. Forestanta, absent, forestanta. Nobla, noble, as in quality. Nobla, alta, high, alta. Misidas sur sejo, caetenas la piedoin sur benqueto. I'm sitting on a seat and have my feet on a little bench. Li revenis con cato sur la braco. He came back with a cat on his arm. Mi metis la manon sur la tablon. I put my hand on the table. 
Li falis sur la genuoin. He fell on his knees. Ne iru sur la ponton. Do not go on the bridge. Li jetis sin malespere sur sejon. He threw himself in despair on a seat. Li frapis lin sur la shultron, kai premis lin mal supren sur la sofon. He slapped him on the shoulder and pressed him down onto the sofa. Mi sedigis min sur la locon de la forestanta haitisto. I seated myself in the place of the absent stoker. La fructo plantado devas influin oblige sur tiuin kiui sin occupas yegi. Fruit culture must influence for good those who are occupied with it. Super la terra sin trovas a ero. Over the earth is air. Liai pensoi al televigis super la nuboin. His thoughts rose high above the clouds. She recevis la permeson sin leve super la suprajon de la maru. She received permission to rise above the surface of the sea. Ilipovis sin levi sur la altain montoin, alte super la nuboin. They could rise on the high mountains, high above the clouds. Listaras supre sur la monto, cae regardas mal supren sur la campon. He stands above on the mountain and looks down onto the field. She sidis sur la aquo, cae balancigis supren cae mal supren. She sat on the water and swung up and down. El sub la canapo, la muso, curis sub la liton, cae nun gi cura sub la dito. From under the sofa the mouse ran under the bed, and now it runs about under the bed. She ofte devis nagi sub la aquon. She often had to dive under the water. Sub la sonoi de musico, ili dances sur la ferdeco. To the sound of music they danced on the deck. Ec floris sub shia rigardo la blanca lilioi. Under her gaze blossomed the white lilies. She subigis sub la aquon. She sank under the water. She suprenagis cela subiro de la suno. She swam up at sunset. End of Lesson 31「Section 33, that is Lesson 32 of The Esperanto Teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians, by Helen Fryer. Lesson 32. Tra, trans, and preter. Tra means through, as tra la truo, through the whole, tra la mondo, through the world. Trans means at the other side, across, as in li logias trans la rivero. He lives on the other side of the river. With the accusative it means to the other side, as Linagis trans la riveron. He swam to the other side of, or across, the river. Preter means past, by, or beyond. It conveys the idea of coming up from behind and passing on in front, as mi passis preter via frato, or mi preter passis vian fraton. I passed your brother. The difference between tra, trans, and preter is clearly shown by the sentence Trapasinte la arbaron, li preterpasis la pregeion, cae tiam transpasis la riveron per la ponto. Having passed through the wood, he passed by the church, and then passed over the river by the bridge. Vocabulary Cameno, half, fireside, cameno, poto, pot, Porto, caldrono, cauldron, kettle, 
caldrono. Vaporo, steam, vapor, vaporo. Hirundo, swallow, hirundo. Tunelo, tunnel, tunelo. Oceano, ocean, oceano. Momento, moment, momento. Abato, abbot, abato. Penetre, penetrate. Penetre. Bol, boil, bol. Turn, turn, a thing or oneself. Turn. Larja, wide or broad. Larja. Sentences. Li estas tiel dica che li ni povas trairi tra nia malarja pordo. He is so stout that he cannot go through our narrow door. She regardis supren tra la malume blua acvo. She looked up through the dark blue water. Tra la paluruja aero lumis la stelo de la vespero. Through the roseate air shone the evening star. La sonado de la sonoriloe tra penetras mal supren al she. The sound of the bells penetrates down to her. Ili traglitas inter la branzoi. They glide among the branches. Sur la cameno inter du potoi staras fera caldrono. El la caldrono en quiu sin trovas o trovijas volanta acvo eliras vaporo tra la fenestro quiu sin trovas o trovijas apud la pordo la vaporo iras sur la corton. On the fireplace between two pots stands an iron kettle. Out of the kettle, in which is boiling water, goes steam. Through the window, which is near the door, the vapour goes out into the court. La hirundo flugis trans la riveron, char trans la rivero sin trovis o trovigis aliai hirundoi. The swallow flew across the river, for across, on the other side of, the river, were other swallows. Ili povas flugi sur shipoi trans la maron. They can fly on ships across the sea. Qui al Hannibalo iris trans la alpoin? Why did Hannibal go across the Alps? Jartiem la tunelo ne estis ancora au preter. Because then the tunnel was not yet ready. Estas neeble que ili estu transirinta trans la oceanon. It is impossible that they should have gone across the ocean. Chio transturnigis la fundo supren. Everything was turned upside down. Nipasis preter la stazio. We passed by the station. En ciuci momento preteriras la abato. At this moment the abbot passes by. Preterirante mi demandis lin ciu jam estas la dek dua horo. In passing, I asked him if it were yet twelve o'clock. La muelilo ne povas mueli per acvo preter fluinta. The mill cannot grind with water that is past. End of lesson thirty two. Section thirty four, that is, lesson thirty three of the Esperanto teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher The Simple Course for Non Grammarians by Helen Fryer. Lesson 33 Antau and Post Antau, in relation to time, means before. Ni revenos antau mardo. We shall return before Tuesday. In relation to place, 
It means in front of. Antaŭ la domo. Before the house. Before verbs, antaŭ ol is used, as lavu vin antaŭ ol manji. Wash yourself before eating. Post, in relation to time, means after. In relation to place, it means behind. Care must be taken in using antau and post to arrange the sentence so that there can be no doubt as to whether time or place is referred to. He came before his father, in place or position, i.e. in front of his father, is Livenis antau sia patro. But if before in time is meant, it must be Livenis antau ol lia patro, or Livenis antau ol lia patro venis. Livenis post sia patro means he came behind his father. If we mean after his father came, we may use kiam and say Livenis post kiam lia patro venis. To express time past or ago, antau is used as antau tritagoi, three days ago, antau longe, a long time ago, antau ne longe, not long ago. To express in a time to come, post is used as I will come in three days, mi venos post tritagoi, post ne longe, in a short time. Vocabulary. Pregeo. Church, place of prayer. Pregeo. Ordo. Order. Ordo. Ricezzo. Wealth. Ricezzo. Pascio. Step. Pascio. Paggio. Page. Paggio. Vec. To waken, i.e. waken someone. Vec. Bala. Sweep, bala, rauka, horse, rauka, avida, eager, greedy, avida, ofte, often, ofte, publique, publicly, publique. Sentences. Antaoili staris pregeio. Before them stood a church. Antau tiui homoi estas inde paroli. Before such men it is worth while to speak. Ofte en la nocto she staris antau la fenestro. Often in the night she stood before the window. Mi estas peca antau vi. I am guilty before you. Antau uno horo. An hour ago. Antau malonge li vekigis tre rauka. A short time ago he woke up very hoarse. Antau ne longe oni vendis la domon publike. Not long ago the house was sold publicly. Ne iru antau al viscias que ciu estas en ordo. Do not go before you know that everything is in order. Mi devos la sielen el balai la chambron anta ol ni comenzo stanzi. I must let them sweep out the room before we begin to dance. Mi estis tie en la antaua yaro. I was there the previous year. Antaue mi neniam pensis pri ricezzo. Formerly I never thought about wealth. Estis alci kiel la sorcistino antaudiris. It was with her as the witch prophesied. Li restis post a pordo. He remained behind the door. Iom post iom. Little by little. She commences a vide legi pagion post pagio. She began eagerly to read page after page. She regardis postlin con rideto. She looked after him with a smile. Post kelkai minutoi levigis la suno. After some minutes the sun rose. 
ŝi ĵetis siajn brakojn posten kaj antaŭen. She threw her arms backwards and forwards. Ni restos kelkajn semajnojn en Parizo. Poste ni voyajos en Germanujon. We shall stay some weeks in Paris. Afterwards we shall travel into Germany. End of Lesson 33 of The Esperanto Teacher Section 35, that is, Lesson 34 of The Esperanto Teacher This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians, by Helen Fryer. Lesson 34. Dum, Gis, and Chircau. Dum means during, as Dum mia tuta vivo, during my whole life. It is not much used as a preposition, that is, before a noun. En la dauro de, being better, as in, En la dauro de mia tuta vivo, in the duration of my whole life. Or the preposition is omitted altogether, as, La tutan tagon mi laboradis. I used to work all day long. Dum, meaning while or whilst, is often used at the beginning of a sentence. Dume means meanwhile or in the meantime. Gis means till, until, up to, as far as. Attendo gis sabato. Wait until Saturday. Iru gis la rivero. Go as far as the river. Circao means about or around, somewhere near or more or less. Ili ludis circao la arbo. They played around the tree. Circao mayo ni foriros. About May we shall go away. Vocabulary. Concerto. Concert. Concerto. Flanco. Side. Flanco. Sorto. Fate. Sorto. Radio. Ray. Radio. Cupolo. Cupola, dome, cupolo. Rublo, ruble, rublo. Etaggio, story of a building, etaggio. Doloro, pain, ache, doloro. Vitro, glass, the material, vitro. Globo, globe, globo. Collect, to collect, collect. Prepar, to prepare. Prepar. Pes. To weigh something. Pes. Exist. 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 Pere. Perish. Pere. Proxime. Near to. Proxime. Sentences. Dum la tuta tago, au la tutan tagon, li restis sola. During the whole day, or simply the whole day, he remained alone. Dum, au en la dauro de, kelkai monatoi, si ne eliradis el sia chambro. During, or for, some months, she did not leave her room. Li dormis dum la tuta concerto, au la tutan concerton. He slept during the whole concert, or for the whole concert. Dum dauris la preparoi, li estis gasto ce la regio. While the preparations lasted, he was a guest of the king. Dum li veturas sur la voyo al Grenada, en Santa Fe estas decidata li asorto. While he is journeying on the road to Grenada, in Santa Fe his fate is being decided. Ili laboradis gis profunda nocto. They used to work until late at night. La telero de la pesilo mal levigis gis latero. 
the plate of the scales sank to the ground. Giai radioi sin levadis gis la cupolo. Its rays crept up to the dome. Pronto al mi dec rubloin gis morgao. Lend me ten roubles until tomorrow. Li laboradis de frua mateno gis mal frua nocto. He worked on from early morning till late at night. Li batalos gis la fino mem. He will fight to the very end. Ni levadis nin ciam pli kai pli alte gis la quara etajo. We kept going up, always higher and higher, to the fourth story. Gi existos gis la mondo pereos. It will exist until the world shall perish. La regio venis circa tagmezo en la villagion Reading. The king came about midday into the village of Reading. Circa la mateno la ventego finigis. About morning the gale ended. Esto suffice circa dec metroi. About ten metres will be sufficient. Ciui collectigis circa la vitra globo. All gathered around the glass globe. Oni povas rigardi tre mal proxime circaue. One can look very far round about. Circaue nagis grandai montoi declatioi. Great mountains of ice floated around. Li regardis circauen sur ciui flancoi. He looked around on all sides. End of Lesson 34 of The Esperanto Teacher Section 36 being Lesson 35 of The Esperanto Teacher This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer Lesson 35 De and Da De means of, from, or by. It denotes 1. Possession, as La Chapello de la Patro, the father's hat, Two, the agent of an action, as La lettero estis scribata de Johanno. The letter was written by John. Three, cause. Li mortis de febro. He died of fever. Four, starting point, from or since, as De tiu tempo neniu linvidis. Since that time, nobody has seen him. Li venis de Pariso. He came from Paris. Da means of. It is used after words signifying quantity, when the noun following has a general, not a particular sense, as dec duo da culeroi, a dozen spoons. Funto da teo, a pound of tea. Pezzo da pano, a piece of bread. But if some particular tea, bread, etc., is specified, de must be used, as funto de la teo, pound of the tea, pezzo de la pano, a piece of the bread. La cannot be used after da. Vocabulary. Plazzo, place or square, plazzo. Velo, sail, velo. Drapo, cloth, drapo. Ovo, egg, ovo. Kilometro, kilometer. Kilometro. Bordo, shore. Bordo. Amaso, crowd. Amaso. Autuno, autumn. Autuno. Turo, tower. Turo. Cevalo, horse. Cevalo. Pezzo, piece. Pezzo. Sumo, some. Sumo. Inco, ink. 
inko. Naibaro, neighbor, naibaro. Mezuro, measure, mezuro. Sufer, to suffer, sufer. Signif, mean, to signify, signif. Nigra, black, nigra. Plena, full, plena. Sentences. La lumo de la luno, the light of the moon. En la mezo de la plazo staris domo. In the middle of the square stood a house. Li povis havi la ajon de dexes yaroi. He might be of the age of sixteen years. La tempo de elia vivo estas ancora pli malonga ol de nia. Their lifetime is still shorter than ours. Ili sin levis de apud la tablo. They rose from beside the table. Mi pensis que vi de tie jam ne revenus. I thought that you would never return from thence. La shipanoi demetis la veloin. The sailors took down the sails. Li de iris de la cevalo. He dismounted from the horse. Glaso de vino estas glaso en kiu antaue sin trovis vino au kiun oni usas por vino. Glaso da vino estas glaso plena ye vino. A wine glass is a glass in which there was wine previously or which is used for wine. A glass of wine is a glass full of wine. Al porto al mi metron da nigra drapo. Bring me a metre of black cloth. Metro de drapo signifus metron kiu kushis sur drapo, au kiu estas usata por drapo. Metro de drapo would mean a yard measure which was lying on cloth, or which is used for cloth. Mi acetis deconda ovoi. I bought a half score of eggs. Tilci rivero havas ducent kilometro in dalongo. This river has a length of two hundred kilometers. Sulla bordo de la maro staris amaso da homoi. On the seashore stood a crowd of people. Multai birdoi flugas en la autuno en pli varmain landoin. Many birds fly in the autumn into warmer lands. Sur la arbo sin trovis multe, au multo, da birdoi. On the tree were many birds. Kelkai homoi sentas sin la play feliciai, kiam ilividas la suferoin de siai naibaroi. Some people feel happiest when they see the sufferings of their neighbours. En la chambro sidis nur kelke da homoi. In the room were only a few people. Da post ia vorto montras ke tiuci vorto havas signifon de mesuro. Da after any word shows that this word signifies measure. Ci estas bella pezzo da stoffo. It is a beautiful piece of stuff. Sur la teleron limetis miloin da pezzoi da argento. On the plate he put thousands of pieces of silver. La lumoi brillas ciel centoi da steloi. The lights glitter like hundreds of stars. Knabo ecetis boteleton da inco. A boy bought a little bottle of ink. Ili construas turetoin en havantain multe da chambretoi. They construct little towers containing many little chambers. Lidonis al ili grandan sumon da mono. He gave them a great sum of money. End of Lesson 35 of The Esperanto Teacher Lesson 36 of The Esperanto Teacher This is a LibriVox recording. 
All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Paradise Camouflage. The Esperanto Teacher A Simple Course for Non Grammarians by Helen Fryer. Lesson 36. Per Kun Sen. Per and Kun represent different uses of our word with, so care must be taken to use the correct word. Per signifies by means of. It donates the instrument by means of which something is done, as per aquilo niacas, by means of an axe we chop. up. Kun means in company with, accompanying. Li iros kun mi. He will go with me. Sen means without, as teo sen sucero, tea without sugar. It is used as a prefix to no absence of something, as sen utila, without use, useless. Compare with mal, which denotes the exact opposite. Mal utila means harmful, noxious. Vocabulary Envio, envy. Folio, leaf. Shalmo, foam, froth. Fadeno, thread. Fisho, fish. Lud, play. Posto, tail. Pentr, paint. Pentrajo, painting. Flar, smell something. Regido, Prince, King's son. Pel, drive. Prince, Prince, cover. Cover, ondo, wave. Chess, cis. Membro, member. Mol, move something. Tataro, tartar. Cune, together. Mi mangias per la buscio, cai flares per la naso. Ci surpasis per piedo sur la serpenton. Ci encovres la belega lilion per blanca shauma. La corpo finigis per fiscia vosto. Ciui muro estas ornimitai per grandi pedrajoi. Per dieci, cai ne per alia voio, la stelisto forcuris. Per chia maniero, oni povas veni in alandon de oro, per dia maniero, per uno vorto. La stelo venus, ec prules per envio. Scivolis, ludi cun ili. Sen cun teroro ille furcuris. Cun chia attento, si auscultis tiu, ci raccontum. La plei bella ed ili estes la iuna regido, cun la granda e nigra e oculi. Tienci al nagis la virinetto di mano, con la bella prinzo, con plesuro, con cio iaro la nombro della membro in rapide crescis. La tataro resti sen bona cevalo, gai sen mangio. I prescau sen vivo esti spelata della ondo. I li texis per cio furto, sen sen fade. I sen forte obeis. La fulio i sin movis, or movigis sen cesi. Li crees sen nombra in berdoin. Key to exercise. I eat with my mouth and smell with my nose. She trod with her foot on the serpent. It covered the lovely lily with white foam. The body ended in a fish's tail. All the walls are decorated with great paintings. By here and by no other way the thief escaped. 
In what way can one come into the land of gold? In such a way. In one word, the star Venus began to burn with envy. She wished to play with them, but they ran away in terror. With what attention she listened to these tales. The most beautiful of them was with the young prince with the great black eyes. Hither swam the sea maiden with the beautiful prince, with pleasure. With every year the number of members rapidly increased. The Tartar remained without a good horse and without food. Almost without life he was driven about by the waves. They wove with all their might, but without thread, threads. Without a word he obeyed. The leaves moved ceaselessly. He created numberless birds. End of Lesson 36 Section 37 Recording by Andy from Inverarnum M-E-L-Y-S dot W-S Lesson 37 of the Esperanto Teacher This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Paradise Camouflage The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians by Helen Fryer. Lesson 37 Por Pro Por means for, in order to, for the purpose of, for the benefit of, as we acetis ink on por scribi. He bought ink in order to write. Por is one of the three prepositions used before verbs in the infinitive. Pro means for, because of, on account of, for the sake of, as li demandi sin procio si ploras. He asked her for what reason or cause she weeps. Por looks forward to the aim or purpose of the action, to that which comes after the action, while Pro looks back to what came before the action and caused it to be done. As in, mi manges pro malsato por vivi. I eat because of hunger in order to live. Vocabulary. Ofizio. Office. Vend. Sell. Mastro. Master. Convinc. Convince. Cafo. Coffee. Contenta. Content. Pleased. Bieno. Property. Sata. Satiated. Causo. Cause. Li sincoratis poris anici. She havis multegi por raconti. Lire se na pregeion por fare la confesson. Por iel pasigi la tempon. Nenio pli boni taugas por sia ufizo, oli. Li uses chain chain por toin por contentigi sian mastron. Por mi estas tute egale, kia ein mi logas. Preno, la pagon, por la cafo. Li mortis pro, au, de, malsato. Mi havis tre bonan bienon, giu estis vendita por schuldoi. Pro la cielo, ne fara ti onci. Gli estis convincita che libro si ne devas timi. Pro tio ci venus lumas pli forte ol multai aliai steloi. Ciu pro tio, au ciu pro ia alia causo. Minescias. Key to exercise. He treated himself in order to regain his health. She had a great deal to tell. He went into the church to make his confession. 
in order to pass the time somehow. Nobody is more fit for the post than he. He used all his might to please his master. For me it is all one wherever I live. Take the pay for the coffee. He died of hunger. I had a very good estate which was sold on account of debts. For heaven's sake do not do this. He was convinced that on his own account he need not fear. On this account Venus gives more light than many other stars. Whether for that or for some other reason I know not. End of Lesson 37 Recording by Andy from Inverarnon M-E-L-Y-S Lesson 38 of the Esperanto Teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Paradise Camouflage. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non grammarians by Helen Fryer. Lesson 38. Bri, Lao. Bri means concerning in regard to, about, as ni parolis brinia amigo. We spoke about, or concerning, our friend. Bri pensi, to think about, to consider. Bri paroli, to speak about. Bri scribi, to describe. Lao means according to, in accordance with, as lao mia opinio, according to, or, in my opinion, la longe, lengthways. Vocabulary. Congo, shell. Affero, affair, matter. Comando, command. Onestezzo, honesty. Exterajo, exterior. Convena, suitable, proper, respectable. Portreto, portrait. Psange, dream. Bonezzo, goodness. Shine, seem, appear. Foglio, time. Si volis credi che la ebreo parola spri più alia. Non la virino havas cion, si pri nenio povas peti. Pri tio ci ne penso. Tion oni veri ne povas diri pri vi. Estis ancorau multai aferoi pri ciu ili volis scii. Line povis ec songi pri si. Si demandadis pri tio la maliunan avinan. Mi restas tie ci lau l'ordeno de mia estro. Li ekiris lau ciu ci rivero. Ili havis la permeson suprenire ciu foie lau sia volo. Si povis lau sia placio fosi cae planti. La concoi sin fermas cae malfermas lau la fluo de l'acvo. Lau sia exterajo li shainis con vena omo. Lau la comanda tri vi ec palfos Sur la arbon. La pli una filino istis la plena portreto de sia patro, la usia bonezzo cae onestezzo. Key to exercise. She wished to believe that the Hebrew spoke of someone else. Now the woman has everything, she can ask for nothing.
Do not think about this. One cannot truly say that about you. There were still many things about which they wanted to know. He could not even dream about her. She used to ask the old grandmother about that. I remain here by order of my chief. He began to go along this river. They had permission to go up, always according to their own will. She could dig and plant as she pleased, according to her liking. The shells closed and opened, according to the flow of the river. From his outward appearance he seemed a respectable man. At the command three, he will shoot at the tree. The younger daughter was the very picture of a father in her goodness and honesty. End of Lesson 38 Section 39 Recorded by Andy from Infarnet M-E-L-I-S dot W-S Lesson 39 of the Esperanto Teacher This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox. L-I-B-R-I-V-O-X dot org Recording by Paradise Camouflage The Esperanto Teacher A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer Lesson 39 Contrao Anstato Krom Contrao means against, opposite, or in opposition to, as Licorage batelis cune he courageously fought with us against our enemies. It is also used in the sense of overlooking, as la fenestra contra la strato, the window overlooking the street, and of facing, as visaggio contra visaggio, face to face, contra diri, to contradict. And stato means instead of, in the place of, as mi iris Londonon, and stato Parison. I went to London instead of to Paris. Mi iris ierau, and stato Morgau. I went yesterday instead of tomorrow. And stato piediri liveturis. Instead of going on foot, he drove. And statawi, to take or be in the place of. And statawi, to put in the place of, to replace by. Krom means not including, in addition to, besides, as in la chambro estis nenio kromli. In the room there was nobody except him. La knabo estas granda, kai krom tio li estas bona. The boy is tall, and besides that he is good. Vocabulary. Rimedo, a means, a remedy. Sucero, sugar. Cutimo, custom. Cremo, cream. Professoro, professor. Proposizio, preposition. Reflectoro, reflector. Vocalo, vowel. Fiancio, betrothed. Abomeno, disgust. Flanco, side. Ordinara, ordinary. Teo, tea. Vi havis rimedo in contra ucio malsanoi. Kion povas fari li sola contra cent homoi? Contra ucia cultimo, la professoro nenion diris. G. Flugis contra la reflectoron. 
contrao sia propra volo, si tion ci confessis. Li exentis ian abomenon contrao si. La contrao a flanco. Ili si digis una contrao la aria. Si estis maliusta contrauli. Contrau la ordinaro, la nombro de la danzanto estis granda. Anstatauli oni sendes lian fraton. Anstatauli liri li restes en la domo. Oculo anstatau oculo. Cai dento, anstata o dento. Anstato cafu, li dones al mi teon, cun soquero, sed sen cremo. Anstata o la, oni poves ancao, diri l, sed nur post preposizio, quiu finigias per vocalo. En la salono, Staris neniu, crom li cae lia fiancino. Crom la malplena de exilio neniu estis. Crom ni mem ni avis tre mal multe por en porti. Si volis avi, crom la rugei floroi, nur uno belan statuoen. Ciu dormis, crom la direc tilisto, apud sia direc tilo. Crom la membroi alveturas multe da gastoi. Key to exercise. You have remedies against all diseases. What can he alone do against a hundred men? Contrary to his custom, the professor said nothing. It flew against the reflector. Against her own will, she confessed this. He began to feel a certain disgust against himself. The opposite side. They sat down one opposite the other. She was unjust towards him. Contrary to usual, the number of dancers was great. Instead of him, his brother was sent. Instead of going out, he remained in the house. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Instead of coffee, he gave me tea with sugar, but no cream. Instead of la, one can say la, but only after a preposition which ends in a vowel. In the drawing room, there was nobody except him and his fiancée. Besides the empty room, there was nothing. Besides ourselves, we had very little to bring in. She wished to have, beside the red flowers, only one beautiful statue. All slept, save the steersman beside his tiller. In addition to the members, many guests journey there. End of Lesson 39 Recorded by Andy from Invernon MELYS.WS Lesson 40 of the Esperanto Teacher this is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians by Helen Fryer. Lesson 40. Malgrau spite po ye. Malgrau means in spite of, notwithstanding, as li successis malgrau cio, he succeeded in spite of everything. Spite is a stronger expression than malgrau. It means in defiance of all opposition, despite, as li faris tion spite la mal permesso, he did that in spite of being forbidden. Bo means at the rate of, as 
Mi acetis dek duon da ovoi po unu penso. I bought a dozen eggs at the rate of a penny each. Po duone by halves. Po grande wholesale. Po malgrande retail. As already said, see lesson 26, ye yeah is the only preposition which has no meaning of its own. It is used when a preposition is needed and none of the others properly express the idea, as la crucio estas plena ye acvo, or la crucio estas plena de acvo. The jug is full of water. Mi enuas ye la heimo. I am tired of home. Vocabulary. Mastrumajo. Household affairs. Mastrumajo. Fungo. Mushroom. Fungo. Senso. Sense. Meaning. Senso. Regulo. Rule. Regulo. Clarezzo, clearness, clarezzo. Accusativo, accusative, accusativo. Nobelezzo, nobility of birth, nobelezzo. Honoro, honor, honoro. Liberezzo, freedom, liberty, liberezzo. Culpo, fault, culpo. Simila, similar, like, simila. Comuna, common to, comuna. Cri, cry, cri. Sopir, sigh for, long for, sopir. Exemple, for example, exemple. Li multe laboris, sed malgrau cio li ne sukcesis. Estis ancora sufficie varme, malgrau che la suno staris malalte. Ili esto severe punatae, se ili, malgrau la malpermesso, pecos contra le liberezzo de levoio. Spite ciui miae penoi por mal helpilin, li foriris. Por miae quarin fanoi, mi acetis dec du pomoin. Cae al ciu el la infanoi, mi donis po tri pomoi. Iri povas costi po tri cis quin shilingoi. Tiu ci libro havas sestec pagioin. Tial se mi legos en ciu tago po dec quin pagioi, mi finos la tutan libron en quar tagoi. Mi ecetis quar libroin po ses pensoi. Ni estis nur occupita ye kelkai mastrumajoi. La construo estas simila ye fungo. Ili forcuris kiam la virino e cris ye ili. Ye la vespero la cielo covrigis ye nuboi. El timo ye caragara mi forcuris. Si estis tre fiera ye sia nobelezzo, la hundo sincere mal joyis ye li. Ne niu el ili estis tiel plene ye desiroi, ki la plei una knabino. Ye vorto de honoro. He worked hard, but in spite of everything he did not succeed. It was still fairly warm, notwithstanding that the sun was low. They will be severely punished if, notwithstanding the prohibition, they shall offend against the freedom of the road. Despite all my endeavours to prevent him, he went away. For my four children I bought twelve apples, and to each of the children I gave at the rate of three apples. They may cost three to five shillings each. This book has sixty pages, therefore if I shall read every day at the rate of fifteen pages, I shall finish the whole book in four days. I bought four books at sixpence each. We were only engaged about some household affairs. The structure is similar to a mushroom. They ran away when the woman cried out at them. 
In the evening the sky became covered with clouds. For fear of Karagara, I ran away. She was very proud of her high rank. The dog sincerely mourned for him. None of them was so full of desires as the youngest girl. On word of honour. 40a. Seni bezonas uzi preposition, kai la senso ne montras al ni, kian preposition uzi, tiam ni povas uzi la komunan preposition je. Sed estas bone uzadi la vorton je kiel eble pli malofte. Anstataŭ la vorto je, ni povas ankaŭ uzi akuzativon sen prepozicio. Mi ridas je lia naiveco, aŭ mi ridas pro lia naiveco, aŭ mi ridas lia naivecon. Je la lasta fojo mi vidis lin ĉe vi, aŭ la lastan fojon. Mi veturis du tagojn kaj unu nokton. Mi sopiras je mia perdita feliĉo aŭ mian perditan feliĉon. El la dirita regulo sekvas, ke se ni pri ia verbo ne scias, ĉu ĝi postulas post si la akuzativon, tio estas ĉu ĝi estas aktiva aŭ ne, ni povas ĉiam uzi la akuzativon. Ekzemple, ni povas diri obei al la patro kaj obei la patron, anstataŭ obei je la patro. Se ni ne uzas la akuzativon tiam, kiam la klareco de la senso tion ĉi malpermesas. Ekzemple, ni povas diri pardoni al la malamiko kaj pardoni la malamikon, se ni devas diri ĉiam pardoni al la malamiko lian kulpon. Key to exercise. If we need to use a preposition and the sense does not show us what preposition to use, then we can use the general preposition ye. Yeah. But it is well to use the word ye yeah as seldom as possible. Instead of the word ye, yeah, we can also use the accusative without a preposition. I laugh at his simplicity, or I laugh on account of his simplicity, or I ridicule his simplicity. The last time I saw him with you, I travelled two days and one night. I sigh for my lost happiness. From the said rule it follows that if we do not know, as to any verb, whether it requires the accusative case after it, that is, whether it is active or not, we can always use the accusative. For example, we can say, obey alla patro, and obey la patron, instead of obey je la patro. But we do not use the accusative when the clearness of the sense forbids it. For example, we can say, pardoni alla malamico, and pardoni la malamicon, but we must always say, pardoni alla malamico lian culpon. End of Lesson 40「Section 42 of Being Lesson 41 of The Esperanto Teacher. « This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. « The Esperanto Teacher. A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians. » by Helen Fryer. Lesson 41. Suffixes age and ets. Age denotes a thing, one made from or of the substance named, or two having the quality or character named, or three resulting from the action expressed by the word to which it is added, as ovo, an egg, ovajo, something made of eggs, an omelette, mirinda, wonderful. Mirindajo, a wonderful thing, a wonder. Trovi, to find. Trovajo, or trovitajo, a thing found. Etz, denotes quality, 
it forms the name of a quality, as bona, good, bonezzo, goodness, riccia, rich, ricezzo, richness, accurata, accurate, prompt, accuratezzo, accuracy, mola, soft, molaggio, a soft thing, molezzo, softness, amico, a friend, amicaggio, a friendly act, amichezzo, friendliness, friendship, ezzo, quality. Vocabulary. Cuco, cake, cuco. Ligno, wood, i.e. the substance. Ligno. Alcoholo, alcohol, alcoholo. Araneo, spider, araneo. Ceremonio, ceremony, ceremonio. Heroo, hero, heroo. Frandajo, a dainty, frandajo. Acido, acid, acido. Vinagro, vinegar, vinagro. Sulfuro, sulfur, sulfuro. Azotacido, nitric acid, azotacido. Lago, lake, lago. Objecto, object, thing, objecto. Tren, to drag, tren. Photograph, photograph, photograph. Confit, to preserve with sugar, confit. Pack, to pack, pack. La ceterai, the rest, the remainder, la ceterai. Mirinda, wonderful, mirinda. Pesa, heavy, pesa. Opportuna, convenient, opportuna. Sentences. La fotografisto fotografis min, kai mi sendis mian fotografajon al mia patro. The photographer photographed me, and I sent my photograph to my father. Vi parolas sensensajon, mia amico. You talk nonsense, my friend. Mi trinkis teon con cuco kai confitajo. I drank tea with cake and jam. Aquo estas fluidajo. Water is a fluid. Mi ne volis trinki la vinon, chargi en havis ensi ian malclarajon. I did not wish to drink the wine, for it had in it a certain muddiness. Sur la tablo staris diversai succerajoi. On the table were various sweetmeats. Mi mangis bon gustan ovajon. I ate a tasty omelette. Kiam mi ien venturas, mi neniam prenas con mi multon da pacajo. When I travel anywhere, I never take with me much luggage. Glaciajo estas dolcia glaciigita frandajo. An ice is a sweet frozen dainty. La tuta suprajo de la lago estis covrita per najantai folioi cae diversai aliai crescajoi. The whole surface of the lake was covered with floating leaves and various other plants. La lignisto vendas lignon, kai la lignagisto faras tabloin, sejoin, kai aliain lignain objectoin. The timber merchant sells wood, and the joiner makes tables, chairs, and other wooden objects. Mi usas nenian alcoholajon. I use no sort of alcoholics. Lia maluna patrino conducis la mastrajon de la domo. His old mother carried on the management of the house. Malbonan exterajon li havis, respondis la hebreo. An evil appearance he had, answered the Jew. She prepensis la faritajoin de la tago pasinta. She thought over the doings of the past day. Giestas til malpesa kiel araniajo. It is as light as a cobweb. 
la trenaggio de la vesto estis longa. The train of the dress was long. Ili sin movas kiel vivai estajoi. They move like living beings. Li amas tiun cicna binon pro sia bellezzo kai bonezzo. He loves this girl on account of her beauty and goodness. Lia heroezzo tre placi salmi. His heroism greatly pleased me. Mi vivas con eli en granda amichezzo. I live with them in great friendship. Ni estas ya en la proximezzo de la rivero. We are, in fact, close to the river. Tioci estas la plei grava ezzo. This is the most important quality. Cortega ceremonio postulas mal opportunetzon. Court ceremony necessitates inconvenience. La ricezzo de Tioci homo estas granda, sed lia mal sagezzo estas ancora pli granda. The wealth of this man is great, but his foolishness is still greater. En tiui ci botelletoe sin trovas, au trovigas, diversai acidoi, vinagro, sulfur acido, azot acido, cae aliae. In these little bottles are various acids, vinegar, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, and others. La acidezzo de tiuci vinagro estas tre mal forta. The acidity of this vinegar is very weak. Via vino estas nur ia abomena acidajo. Your wine is only some abominable acid thing. Tiuci granda altajo ne estas natura monto. This great eminence is not a natural mountain. La altezzo de tiu monto ne estas tre granda. The height of that mountain is not very great. End of Lesson 41「forty three being lesson forty two of the Esperanto teacher this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for further information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org the Esperanto teacher a simple course for non grammarians by Helen Fryer lesson forty two the suffixes a, ui, and ing. The suffix a denotes a place specially used for a certain purpose, as tombo, a tomb, tombeo, a cemetery, chivalo, a horse, chivaleo, a stable, mallibera, a captive, mallibereo, a prison. Ui denotes that which contains, or produces, or bears, as countries, fruit trees, receptacles, etc., as Anglo, an Englishman, Angluyo, England, Hispano, a Spaniard, Hispanuyo, Spain. Lando is also used, as Scotlando, Scotland. Pomo, an apple, Pomuyo, an apple tree. Arbo is also used, as Pomarbo, abelo, a bee, abeluyo, a beehive, sukeruyo, a sugar basin, uyo, a receptacle. Ing signifies a holder, a case or sheath for one thing, as fingro, a finger, fingringo, a thimble, piedo, a foot, piedingo, a stirrup, glavo, a sword, glavingo, a sword sheath, ingo, a sheath. Vocabulary Scatolo, a box, scatolo. Hufo, hoof, hufo. Pantalono, trousers, pantalono. Cigaro, cigar, cigaro. Tubo, a tube, tubo. Monaco, monk, monaco. 
Magazino, magazine, warehouse. Magazino. Objecto, object, thing. Objecto. Glavo, sword. Glavo. Consil, to counsel, to advise. Schwit, to sweat, to perspire. Schwit. Sorb, to absorb. Sorb. Bun, to bathe, oneself or another. Bun. Sentences. La domo en kiu oni lernas estas lerneo, kai la domo en kiu oni prejas estas prejeo. The house in which one learns is a school, and the house in which one prays is a church. La cuiristo sidas en la cuireo. The cook sits in the kitchen. La curatsisto consilas al mi iri en schwitbaneion. The doctor advises me to go into a vapour bath. La chivalo metis uno hufon sur serpenteion. The horse put one hoof on a serpent's nest. La virino promenadis tra belegai arbaroi kai herbeioi. The woman used to walk through lovely woods and meadows. Li venis en sian logeion. He came into his lodging. Li haltis apud la pordego de la monacheo. He stopped by the gate of the monastery. La rusoi lojas en rusuyo, kai la germanoi en germanuyo. The Russians live in Russia, and Germans in Germany. Mia scribilaro consistas el incuyo, sabluyo, kelke da plumoi, crayono, kai ink sorbilo. My writing materials consist of an inkstand, a sandbox, a few pens, a pencil, and a blotter. En la pocho de mia pantalono mi portas monuyon, kai en la pocho de mia surtuto mi portas paperuyon. Pli grandan paperuyon mi portas sub la braco. In my trousers pocket I carry a purse, and in my overcoat pocket I carry a pocket book. A larger portfolio I carry under my arm. Metu sul la tablon la sukeruyon, la teuyon, kai la tecruchon. Put on the table the sugar basin, the tea caddy, and the teapot. Magazino, en kiu oni vendas cigaroin, au chambro, en kiu oni tenas cigaroin, estas cigareo. Scatoleto, au alia objecto, en kiu oni tenas cigaroin, estas cigaruyo. Tubeto, en kiu oni metas cigaron, kiam oni gin fumas, estas cigaringo. A shop in which one sells cigars, or a room in which one keeps cigars, is a cigar store. A box or other object in which one keeps cigars is a cigar case. A little tube in which one puts a cigar when one smokes it is a cigar holder. Scatoleto, en kiu oni tenas plumoin, estas plumuyo. Kai bastoneto, sur kiu oni tenas plumon, pur scribadi, estas plumingo. A little box in which one keeps pens is a pen box, and a little stick on which one holds a pen to write is a pen holder. En la candelingo sidis brulanta candelo. In the candlestick was a burning candle. End of Lesson 42 of The Esperanto Teacher Section 44 being Lesson 43 of The Esperanto Teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher. A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer. Lesson 43. The prefix ge, the prefix bo, the suffix id, the prefix pra, and the suffixes ch, 
and ny. The prefix ge signifies both sexes taken together, as gepatroi, parents, gefratoi, brothers and sisters, gerejoi, king and queen. The word formed is, of course, always plural. The prefix bo denotes relationship by marriage, as bo patro, father-in-law, bo filo, son-in-law. The suffix id signifies the offspring or descendant, as regio, a king, regido, a king's son, a prince, cato, a cat, cartido, a kitten, shafo, a sheep, shafido, a lamb. The prefix pra means of generations ago, great, grand, as avo, grandfather, pra avo, great grandfather. It is also used for descendants as pra nepo, great grandson, pra a, primitive or primeval. The suffix chia is added to men's names and ny to women's names to form pet names part of the name being left out, as Petro, Peter, Pecio, Pete, Claro, Clara, Clario, Clary, Pacio, from Patro, Papa, Pagno, Mamma. Vocabulary Altaro, Altar, Altaro, Parenzo, Relation, Parenzo, Doctoro, Doctor, as in Doctor of Law, etc. Doctoro. Stato, state or condition. Stato. Coco, cock. Coco. Gratul, to congratulate. Gratul. Deven, to originate, to descend from. Deven. Address, to address, as in a letter. Address. Telegraph, to telegraph, telegraph. Sentences Patro cae patrino cune estas nomatoi gepatroi. A father and a mother together are named parents. Petro, anno cae Elisabeto estas miai gefratoi. Peter, Anne and Elizabeth are my brother and sisters. Que signoro en hodiao vespere venos al ni. Mr. and Mrs. N will come to us this evening. La gefianchoi staris apud la altaro. The engaged couple stood by the altar. Mi gratulis telegrafe la junain geedzoin. I congratulated the young married pair by telegraph. La Gerejoi Forveturis Cordovon. The King and Queen left Cordova. Si Edzinigis kun si accuso, quan cam si ai gepatroi volis sin Edzinigi con alia persono. She married her cousin, although her parents wished to marry her to another person. La patro de mia Edzino estas mia bopatro. Mi estas lia bofilo, cae mia patro estas la bo patro de mia edzino. My wife's father is my father-in-law, I am his son-in-law, and my father is the father-in-law of my wife. Ciui parentsoi de mia edzino estas miai bo parentsoi, secve sia frato estas mia bo frato, sia fratino Estas mia bo fratino, mia frato cae fratino, ge fratoi, estas la bo ge fratoi de mia edzino. All my wife's relations are my relations by marriage, consequently her brother is my brother-in-law, her sister is my sister-in-law, my brother and sister are the brother-in-law and sister-in-law of my wife. La edzino de mia nevo, Cae la nevino de mia edzino estas miai bonevinoi. The wife of my nephew and the niece of my wife are my nieces by marriage. Virino 
kiu curazas estas curacistino. Edzino de curacisto estas curaciste zino. A woman who treats the sick is a lady doctor. The wife of a doctor is a doctor's wife. La doctor edzino a visitis hodiau la gedoctoroin p. Mrs. Dr. A visited Dr. and Mrs. P. today. Li ne estas la visto, li estas la vistinezzo. He is not a laundryman, he is a washerwoman's husband. La filoi nepoi kai pranepoi de regio estas regidoi. The sons, grandsons and great-grandsons of a king are princes. La hebreoi estas Israelidoi, char ili devenas de Israelo. The Hebrews are Israelites, for they are descended from Israel. Chevalido estas nematura chevalo, coquido nematura coco, bovido nematura bovo, birdido nematura birdo. A foal is an immature horse, a chicken an immature fowl, a calf an immature ox. A fledgling, an immature bird. Tiu bela tero trovisin en tre pra astato. That beautiful land was in a very primeval state. Johannon, Nicolaon, Erneston, Wilhelmon, Marion, Claron, Kai Sophion, Iliai, Gepatroi, Nomas, Johancho, au Iocio, Nicolcio, au Nicocio, au Nicio, Ernecio, au Ercio. Vilhelcio, au Vilhecio, au Vilcio, au Vicio, Magno, au Marigno, Clagno, Caesonio, au Sofigno. John, Nicholas, Ernest, William, Mary, Clara and Sophia are called by their parents Johnny or Jack, Nick, Ernie, Will or Willie or Bill or Billy, Polly or Molly, Clary and Sophie. End of Lesson 43。Section 45 being Lesson 44 of The Esperanto Teacher。This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher a Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer Lesson 44 The Suffixes Ebl, Ind, and M These three suffixes are used to form adjectives. Ebl means possible to be what the word to which it is added signifies as vidi, to see, videbla, able to be seen, Audi, to hear, audebla, able to be heard, or audible, morvi, to move, movebla, movable, ebla, possible, eble, possibly. Ind means worthy of what the word denotes, as honoro, honor, honorinda, honorable, worthy of honor, honti, to be ashamed, hontinda, shameful indo worth inda worthy of m means having an inclination towards or propensity for or being disposed towards something as forgesi to forget forgesema forgetful servi to serve servema willing to serve obliging emma fond of the difference between the three suffixes is shown by the following words. Credebla, possible of belief. Credinda, worthy of belief. Credema, having a tendency to believe readily. Credulous. Legebla, able to be read. Leginda, worthy of being read. Legema, fond of reading, inclined to read. Vocabulary Stalo Steel Stalo Spirito Spirit Spirito Bagatello Trifle Bagatello 
flex to bend flex loud to praise loud renverse to turn over renverse memor to remember memor excit to excite excit venge to revenge venge credible probably credible compreneble of course compreneble sentences stalo estas flexebla sed ferro ne estas flexebla steel is flexible but iron is not flexible ne ciu crescajo estas mangebla not every plant is edible vitro estas rompebla kai travidebla glass is breakable and transparent via parolo estas tute ne comprenebla kai via letteroi estas ciam scribitai tute nelegeble your speech is quite incomprehensible and your letters are always written quite illegibly la malumo estas ne tra penetrebla the darkness is impenetrable li racontis al mi historion tute ne credeblan he related to me a story altogether incredible eble mi povos helpi al vi perhaps i will be able to help you ciu vi amas vian patron do you love your father kia demando compreneble che mi lin amas what a question of course i love him mi credeble ne povos veni al vi hodiau char mi pensas che mi mem havos hodiau gastoin probably i shall not be able to come to you today for i think that i myself shall have guests today la tablo staras mal recte kai credeble baldau renversigius the table stands askew and will probably soon fall over li faris sian eblon he did his best li estas homo ne credinda he is a man unworthy of belief via ago estas tre laudinda your action is very praiseworthy tiu ci grava tago restos por mi ciam memorinda this important day will remain for me for ever memorable ci estas vesto de granda indo it is a coat of great worth ci ne estas inda yedanko it is not worthy of thanks la shipanaro montrijas ne inda yesia estro the crew show themselves unworthy of their leader lia edzino estas tre laborema kai sparema se ci estas ankau tre babilema kai kriema his wife is very hard working and economical but she is also very fond of talking and noisy li estas tre ecolorema kai excitijas ofte ce la plei mal granda bagatelo tamen li estas tre pardonema li ne portas longe la coleron kai li tute ne estas vengema he is very irascible and often becomes excited at the merest trifle nevertheless he is very forgiving he does not bear anger long and he is not at all revengeful li estas tre credema ech la plei necredeblain aferoin kiuin racontas al li la plei necredindai homoi li tui credas he is very credulous even the most incredible things which the most untrustworthy people relate to him he immediately believes li estas tre purema kai ech uno polveron vine trovos sur lia vesto he is very cleanly and you will not find even one speck of dust on his coat li estas bonega knavo se tre ema credi spiritoin he is an excellent boy but very apt to believe in spirits end of lesson 44
This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater. The Esperanto Teacher, a Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer. Lesson 45. Dis um. The prefix dis denotes separation or scattering, as jeti to throw, disjeti to scatter, shiri to tear, disshiri to tear into bits, doni to give, distoni to distribute. The suffix um has no definite meaning. It is used in only a few words, of which the most important are aerumi, from aero, air, to expose to the air, aerumi, ventumi, from vento, wind, to fan, ventumi, columo, from colo, neck, color, Columo. Manumo, from mano, hand. Cuff. Manumo. Butonumi, from butono, button, to button. Butonumi. Gustumi, from gusto, taste, to taste something. Gustumi. Comunumo. From comuna, common, a community, comunumo. Cruzumi, from cruzo, cross, crucify, cruzumi. Malvarmumi, from malvarma, cold, take cold, malvarmumi. Mastrumi, from mastro, master, keep house, mastrumi. Plenumi, from plena, full, fulfill, plenumi. Brulumo, from bruli, burn, inflammation, brulumo. Calcanumo, from calcano, heel, heel of boot, calcanumo. Vocabulary, resultato, result. Resultato. Angulo, angle, corner, angulo. Tolo, linen, tolo. Chemizo, shirt, chemizo. Ating, attain, reach to, ating. Shir, tear, shir. Quancam, although, quancam. Simila, similar, simila. Grava, important, grava. Niciui convenis por pri paroli tre gravan afferon. Se ni ne povis atingi ian resultaton, kai ni disiris. Mal felicio ofte cunigas la homoin, kai felicio ofte desigas ilin. Mi disciris la letteron, kai disjetis gia in pezzetto in encio in angulo in della chambro. Post tio ci, oni disiris heimen. La voio disiris en kelkai directoi. Mi volonte plenumis lian desiron. En mal bone vetero oni povas facile malvarmumi. Li dis butonumis la superveston. Si ludis kun sia ventumilo, cemizoin, columoin, manumoin, ca etc. in simila in objecto in oninomas, tolajo, quancam ilineciam estas faritae el tolo. We all came together to talk over very important business, but we could not reach any result, and we parted. Misery often unites people, and happiness often separates them. I tore up the letter and threw its bits into every corner, all corners of the room. After this they separated for home. The road branched in several directions. 
I willingly fulfilled his desire. In bad weather one may easily take cold. He unbuttoned his overcoat. She played with her fan. Shirts, collars, cuffs, and other similar things we call linen, although they are not always made of linen. The suffixes on, oble, op have already been explained in Lesson 9. Arch. A new suffix, arch, has gradually come into use during the past few years. Its meaning is well shown in the following examples. Domo, house. Domacho, hovel, domacho. Virino, woman. Virinacho, hag, virinacho. Ridi, to laugh. Ridaci, to grin maliciously, ridaci. Cevalo, horse. Cevalacho, a sorry nag, a screw, cevalacho. Obstina, persistent, stubborn. Obstinacha, pig-headed, obstinacha. Popolo, a people. Popolacho, populous, popolacho. Morti, to die. Mortaci, to die the death, mortaci. Linguo, language. Linguacho, a jargon, linguacho. This suffix should only be used sparingly. End of Lesson 45「The Esperanto Teacher – Joining Words, Conjunctions, Exclamations, Interjections, and Compound Words – This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians, by Helen Fryer. Joining words, conjunctions, exclamations, interjections, and compound words. Certain words are used merely to join words or sentences. Those already learnt are Kai, and, Kai, said, but, said, char, because, for, char, ankau, also, ankau, all, than, all, se, if, se, au, or, au, chu, whether, chu, ke, that, ke, kvazau, as if, kvazau, kvankam, although, Kvankam, almenau, at least, almenau. Tamen, however, tamen. Do, then, therefore, do. The following are also useful. Kai, kai, both, and. Au, au, either, or. Chu, au, whether or neck neck neither nor etch se even if same kiel the same as same kiel chu chu weather weather exclamations interjections the following are simply exclamations of joy grief surprise etc Ah, aha, ah, ha, ah, he, hello, hey, hmm, hmm, ho, oh, oh, ho, 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 ve, alas, for, away, fi, for shame, nu, well, now, nu, do, well now then ya ja, indeed yen there look behold bis 
again encore kia what bone good all right brave bravo hurra hurray vere truly effective really adiao goodbye bonvenu welcome compreneble of course vivo long live and tawen forward chu vere is it true chune is it not compound words it is often convenient to form compound words as postcarto for peli ciu minute stazidomo senmove teller tuketo when this is done the word expressing the principal idea is placed last generally it is sufficient to use the root of the qualifying word but if the sound or sense requires it the whole word is taken as unutaga means of one day unuataga of the first day end of lesson the esperanto teacher section 48 arrangement of words in the sentence this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for further information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org the esperanto teacher a simple course for non grammarians by helen fryer arrangement of words in the sentence in english the sense often depends entirely on the order of words e g the sentence john saw george would mean something quite different if reversed george saw john but in esperanto thanks to the accusative n the endings r and e for participles and the pronoun c si, the order of words may be varied without altering the sense georgon vidis johanno means exactly the same as johanno vidis georgon but though the meaning can in most cases be understood whatever the order of the words it is best to adopt the simplest arrangement and to follow the natural course of thought which is first that about which we think then that which we think about it english students may frame their sentences exactly as they would in their own language in esperanto as in english the arrangement is sometimes altered either for emphasis as laudata estu dio praised be god or to please the ear as oni min admiras instead of oni admiras min people admire me note care must be taken in placing the word ne its usual place is before the verb when it negatives the whole sentence study the effect of placing ne in different positions in the sentence mi desiras vidi johanon kailian fraton i wish to see john and his brother one mi ne desiras vidi johanon kailian fraton i do not wish to see john and his brother two mi desiras ne vidi johanon kailian fraton i wish not to see john and his brother i e i wish to avoid seeing them three mi desiras vidi ne johanon sed lian fraton i wish to see not john but his brother four mi desiras vidi johanon kai ne lian fraton i wish to see john and not his brother ne tute means not quite while tute ne means not at all Yam ne means no longer not yet is ancora ne words which are already international such as microscope telephone automobile etc are adopted unchanged except as to the spelling and termination as microscopo telefono automobilo end of lesson section 48 The Esperanto Teacher Section 49 Words Used with the Object This is a LibriVox recording. 
All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer Words Used with the Object As already said, when an adjective or participle or a noun is added to the object simply as a describing word, it takes n like the object, as li perdis sian novan libron, au sian libron novan, he lost his new book. Si tranquilligis la criegantan infanon, au la infanon criegantan, she pacified the screaming child. Li visitis sian fraton Johannon. He visited his brother John. John shows which brother. But if the adjective, participle or noun is used not merely to describe, but indirectly to tell something about the object, it does not take n. A comparison of the following sentences will make this clear. 1. Li trovis la pomoin maturain. He found the ripe apples. Li trovis la pomoin maturai. He found that the apples were ripe. 2. Li trovis la crucion rompitan. He found the broken jug. Li trovis la crucion rompita. He found that the jug was broken. 3. Li colorigis la drapon rujan. He dyed the red cloth. Li colorigis la drapon ruja. He dyed the cloth red. 4. Li tranchis, au faris, la veston tro malongan. He cut or made the too short coat, the coat that was too short. Li tranchis la veston tro malonga. He cut the coat so that it was too short. 5. Li nomis la knabon mensogisto. He called the boy a liar. Compare this use of words with the following. He made his father angry, or be angered. Li colorigis sian patron, or li igis sian patron colera. The loss drove him mad. La perdo frenesigis lin, or igis lin freneza. It rendered the gun useless. G. senutiligis la pafilon, or igis la pafilon senutila. End of lesson. Section 49. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recorded by Nicholas James Bridgewater The Esperanto Teacher, A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer Complete Grammar of Esperanto by Dr. Zamenhof A. Alphabet A, Bo, Tso, Cho, Do, E, Fo, Go, Jo, Ho, Ho, i, yo, jo, ko, lo, mo, no, o, bo, ro, so, sho, to, u, wo, vo, zo. Remark. Presses which do not possess the accented letters can use instead of them C H G H H H J H S H U B Rules 1. There is no indefinite article. There is only a definite article, la, alike for all sexes, cases, and numbers. Remark The use of the article is the same as in the other languages. People who find a difficulty in the use of the article need not at first use it at all. 2. Substantives have the termination O. To form the plural, the termination 
yo is added. There are only two cases, nominative and accusative. The latter is obtained from the nominative by the addition of the termination no. Other cases are expressed by the aid of prepositions, the genitive by de, the dative by al, the ablative by per, or other prepositions according to sense. 3. The adjective ends in a. Case and number, as with the substantive. The comparative is made by means of the word pli, the superlative by play. With the comparative, the conjunction ol is used. 4. The fundamental numerals, they are not declined, are uno, do, tri, kvar, kvin, ses, sep, ok, nau, dek, cent, mil. The tens and hundreds are formed by simple junction of the numerals. To mark the ordinal numbers, the termination of the adjective is added. For the multiple, the suffix obl, for the fractional, on, for the collective, op, for the distributive, the word po. Substantival and adverbial numerals can also be used. 5. Personal pronouns. Mi, vi, li, she, ji, referring to thing or animal. Si, ni, vi, ili, oni. The possessive pronouns are formed by the addition of the adjectival termination. Declension is as with the substantives. 6. The verb undergoes no change with regard to person or number. Forms of the verb, time, being, present, takes the termination as. Time, been, past, is. Time, about to be, future, os. The conditional mood, us. The ordering mood, u. The infinitive, e. Participles with an adjectival or adverbial sense, active present, ant, active past, int, active future, ont, passive present, at, passive past, eat, passive future, ot. All forms of the passive are formed by the aid of a corresponding form of the verb esti and a passive participle of the required verb. The preposition with the passive is de. 7. Adverbs end in e. Degrees of comparison as with the adjectives. 8. All the prepositions require the nominative. 9. Every word is read as it is written. 10. The accent is always on the penultimate syllable. 11. Compound words are formed by simple junction of the words. The chief word stands at the end. The grammatical terminations are also regarded as independent words. 12. When another negative word is present, the word ne is left out. 13. In order to show direction, Words take the termination of the accusative. 14. Each preposition has a definite and constant meaning, but if we have to use some preposition, and the direct sense does not indicate to us what special preposition we are to take, then we use the preposition ye, which has no meaning of its own. Instead of the preposition ye, we can also use the accusative without a preposition. 15. The so-called foreign words, that is, those which the majority of languages have taken from one source, are used in the Esperanto language without change, merely obtaining the spelling of the latter. But with different words from one root, it is better to use unchanged only the fundamental word and to form the rest from the latter in accordance with the rules of the Esperanto language. 16. The final vowel of the substantive and of the article can be dropped and replaced by an apostrophe. End of the Complete Grammar of Esperanto by Dr. Zamenhof
This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater. The Esperanto Teacher, a Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer. Common Useful Expressions. Tio estas, i.e., that is. Tio estas. Caicetere, etc. Caicetere. Caitiel plu, and so on. Caitiel plu. Kiel exemple, as for example. Kiel exemple. Kiel eble play baldau, as soon as possible. Kiel eble play baldau. Kio aino casos, whatever happens shall happen. Kio aino casos. Condice que, on the condition that, condice que, kun la condicio que, on the condition that, kun la condicio que. Bonan tagon, signoro. Good day, sir. Bonantagon, signoro. Kiel vi fartas? How do you do? Kiel vi fartas? Tre bone mi dankas. Very well, I thank you. Tre bone mi dankas. Mi dankas vin. I thank you. Mi dankas vin. Dankon. Thanks. Dankon. Multida dankoi. Many thanks. Multida dankoi. Vi estas tre gentila. You are very kind. Vi estas tre gentila. Or, vi estas tre afabla. Vi estas tre compleza. You are very obliging. Vi estas tre compleza. Mi malsatas. I am hungry. Mi malsatas. Mi soifas. I am thirsty. Mi soifas. Al mi estas varme. I am warm. Al mi estas varme. Al mi estas malvarme. I am cold. Al mi estas malvarme. Kiu estas tie? Estas mi. Who is there? It is I. Kiu estas tie? Estas mi. Sidiju mi petas. Be seated, I beg you. Sidiju mi petas. Kun plezuro. With pleasure. Kun plezuro. Kion vi bezonas? What do you want? Kion vi bezonas? Chu vi min comprenas? Do you understand me? Chu vi min comprenas? Vi estas brava. You are right. Vi estas brava. Vi estas mal brava. You are wrong. Vi estas mal brava. Tio estas vera. That is true. Tio estas vera. Estas vera que. It is true that. Estas vera que. Ye kioma horo vi foriros. At what time are you going? Ye kioma horo vi foriros. Kioma horo estas. What time is it? Kioma horo estas. Kiom costas tio chi? How much does this cost? Kiom costas tio chi? Gi costas tri shilingoin. It costs three shillings. Gi costas tri shilingoin. Kie vi estas? Where are you? Kie vi estas? Kien vi iras? Where are you going? Kien vi iras? Kian John li havas? How old is he? Kian John li havas? Antal unu semaino. A week ago. Antal unu semaino. Post du tagoi. In two days. 
post du tagoi. Li venos jaudon. He will come on Thursday. Li venos jaudon. Pasiguar mi la panon mi petas fin. Pass me the bread, I beg you, please. Pasiguar mi la panon mi petas fin. Estas li mem. It is himself. Estas li mem. Tiom pli bone. So much the better. Tiom pli bone. Oni diras que, they say that, oni diras que, neniu tion diras, nobody says that, neniu tion diras. Kio okazis? What has happened? Kio okazis? Chuvikona signoron A? Do you know Mr. A? Chuvikona signoron A? Mist sias kiuli estas, sed mi ne konas lin. I know who he is, but I do not know him. Mist sias kiuli estas, sed mi ne konas lin. Chu estas leteroi por mi? Are there letters for me? Chu estas leteroi por mi? Rapidu, be quick, rapidu. Ne dirution. do not say that. Ne dirution. Ne farution. Do not do that. Ne farution. Kia estas la vetero? Kian veteron ni havas? What kind of weather is it? Kia estas la vetero? Kian veteron ni havas? Pluvas. Nejas. It rains. It snows. Pluvas, nejas. Pluvis la tuta nocton. It rained all night long. Pluvis la tuta nocton. Estas bele, varmege. It is fine, hot. Estas bele, varmege. Chumition faru? Shall I do that? Chumition faru? Letters. A. Beginnings. Cara. Dear. Cara. Mia cara. My dear. Mia cara. Estimata. Esteemed. Estimata. Estiminda. Estimable. Estiminda. Respectinda. Respectworthy, respectinda. Honorinda, honorable, honorinda. Patro, amico, father, friend. Samideano, fellow thinker, samideano. Cun laboranto, fellow worker, cun laboranto. Signoro, sir. Signoro, signoroi, gentlemen, sirs, signoroi, signorino, madam, mrs, signorino, fraulino, miss, fraulino. B. Endings. Kun, corai, amicai, salutoi, with hearty, friendly, greetings. Kun korai, amicai, salutoi. Kun alta, granda, estimo. With high, great, esteem. Kun alta, granda, estimo. Kun miai, ciui, bondesiroi. With my, all, good wishes. Kun multe de amo. With much love, cun multe da amo. Via, la via, yours. Via tre vin amanta, your very loving. Via tre vin amanta, your very loving. Via tre sincere, fidele, 
yours very, sincerely, faithfully, Chiam via. Yours always, Chiam via, tre sincere via, very sincerely yours, tre sincere via. End of Common Useful Expressions Section 52. Translations from Various Languages. Pardonata Foresto, Correcto, Naivezzo, and Hawk. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher. A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer. Translations from various languages, and some hilarious anecdotes. Pardonata foresto. Oni invitis junulon al festeno. Respondante alla invito, li diris, Mi venos plesure, se mi estos viva. Ho, oh, diris la invitanta signorino, se vi estos sen viva, ni vin ne attendos. Festeno, banquet, dinner party, festeno. El tutmonda anecdotaro. Correcto, uno fraulino, ho oh, signoro professoro, chi on povus racconti tiuci maluna querco, segi povus paroli. Professoro, ci dirus, pardonu min mia fraulino, mina estas querco, Said Tilio. Tilio, lime tree. Tilio, el tutmonda anecdotaro. Naivezzo. Knabino sesiara havis katon kai pupon. Iu demandis shin, kiun el la du si preferas. Si ne volis respondi. Fine, si diris alli en la orelon, mi preferas mian katon, sed ne diru mi petas vin. Tion al mia pupo. El unua lego libro de Cabe. Hawk. Chiam la fama angla admiralo Hawk estis ancora o knabo, cae la patro unu o foie prenis lin suo shippon, le admonis lin bone conduti, cae aldonis, tiam mi esperas vidi vin capitano. Capitano? E criis la knabo. Cara patro, se mi ne esperus farigi admiralo, mi ne consentus esti maristo. Admoni, to admonish, admoni. Conduti, to behave oneself, conduti. El unua lego libro de cabe. End of lesson. Efica Ruso, from... The Esperanto Teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher. A Simple Course for Non Grammarians by Helen Fryer. Efica Ruso. Io Velagiano. Petis sian tre avara naibaron, kelimetu sulla limon inter la du giardenoi, palisan barilon, char la naibara coquinaro, vagadis dum la tuta tago en lia giardeno. Tamen la avorulo refusis, kayam la naibaro intensis al voci la helpon de la giugistoi, kiam li shine contenta quietigis. Subite, ye cies miro, Oni equiris la malamatan avorulon starigi tre fortan lignan parilon. Sed amico demandis la villagianoi, racconto chi a maniere vi attingis tion. No, tre simple, li diris. Iun matenon mi sendis alla naibaro tre auquar ovoi, dirante che li ai cochinoi demetis ilin en mia giardeno. Iam la sequintan tagon li comensis construi la barilon. Tio estas ciam pli malcara, 
ol doni occupadon alla advocatoi. El tutmonda anecdotaro. Vocabulary. Peti, to beg. Peti. Limo, boundary. Limo. Paliso, palings. Paliso. Vagi, to wander. Vagi. Alvoki, to invoke. Alvoki. Shine, apparently. Shine. Subite, suddenly. Subite. Quieta, quiet. Quieta. Advocato, lawyer. Advocato. End of Efica Ruso. Jupitero Cae Civalo from The Esperanto Teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer Jupitero Cae Civalo Patro del besto e cae del homoi, diris Civalo, proximigiante alla trono de Jupitero. Oni diras che mi estas unu el la plei bellai bestoi. Mi mem credas tion, tamen shainas al mi che multon en mi oni devus plibonigi. Kion lau via opinio oni povus plibonigi en vi? Parolo mi estas preta lerni de vi, diris Jupitero ridetante. Eble me curos ancora un pli rapide, se miai piedoi estus pli longai, cae pli maldicai, longa cigna colo unamus miri, pli larga brusto, pli grandigus miain fortoin, cae charvi destinis min por porti vian favoratan, homon, vi povus sur mian dorson meti pretan celon. Pone, diris Jupitero, attendo momenton, Cae li creis camelon. Equidinte la novan beston, la cevalo extremis del timo cae abomeno. Ien la altai piedoi, qui ain vi desiris, diris Jupitero, ien la longa cigna colo, larga brusto, cae preta selo. Ciu vi desiras, che mi tiel al formigo vin? El unua lego libro, de cabe. Vocabulary. Trono, throne, trono. Shiny, to seem, shiny. Preta, ready, preta. Signo, swan, signo. Ornami, to ornament, ornami. Brusto, chest, brusto. Destini, to destin, a point, destini. Sailo, saddle, sailo. Tremi. To tremble, tremi. Abomeno, disgust. Abomeno. End of Jupitero Cae Cevalo. La Homa Corpo Cae La Sentoi. From the Esperanto Teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians by Helen Fryer. La Homa Corpo Cae La Sentoi. El Serba Esperantisto. Peto Johanon, que li aproximiju, que li al vi, porque vi observo la traitoin de lia visagio. Lia frunto estas alta con brune blondai haroi, liai vangoi estas rondai, lian mentonon covras dicca barbo, que ucasias la gorgion. Johannino jam faris longan marchon, si ius haltis, si spiras forte, si a colo sin strechas, si a brusto sin entendas, cae scuigas si ai flancoi. Si a coro forte batas. Si a sango rapide curas en la arterioi cae vainoi. Si a hauto farigis brula. Si shainas latza ne nur muscule, sed nerve cae serbe. 
diru al ŝi, ke ŝi repozu kaj ne restu stare, ke ŝi sidigu ŝin. Nun ŝi sidas, ŝi pene klinas siajn krurojn, ŝi povas movi nek la genuojn, nek la piedojn, eĉ la brakoj rigide pendas de la ŝutroj, ŝi ne plu turnas la kapon, ŝi tuj ekdormos. Mi kuŝis sur la tero mem, tiam la dorso, la ventro, la membroj, eĉ la ostoj iom suferis. Okulo blinda ne vidas lumon, orelo surda ne audas sonojn, buŝo muta ne diras vortojn, koro fermita ne ĝuas amon. Tiu ĉi frukto, antaŭe acida, estas nun matura, la nazo flaras gian odoron agrablan, la mano esploras gian glatan ŝelon, baldaŭ la dentoj mordos gian molan karnon, kaj la lango gustumos gian dolcan sukon. Momenta silentu, vi faros plezuron al mi, kaj mia capdoloro malaperos. Vocabulary Traito Feature, trito, frunto, forehead, frunto, bruna, brown, bruna, vango, cheek, vango, mentono, chin, mentono, barbo, beard, barbo, gorgio, throat, gorgio, etendi, to extend, stretch out, etendi, scui, to shake, scui, sango, blood, Sango, arterio, artery, arterio, veno, vein, veno, hauto, skin, hauto, muscolo, muscle, muscolo, nervo, nerve, nervo, cerbo, brain, cerbo, cruro, leg, cruro, ventro, belly, ventro, membro, limb, member, membro, osto, bone, Osto, joy to enjoy, joy, esplori to examine, esplori, glata smooth, glata, shello rind bark, shello, carno flesh, carno, suco juice, suco. End of la homa corpo calasentoi. Antau fabelo from the Esperanto teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians by Helen Fryer. Antau fabelo, el fabeloi al helenio, el Rusai racontoi. Bayu, bayu, bayu. Unu oculeto de Helenio dormas, alia rigardas. Unu oraleto de Helenio dormas, alia auscultas. Dormu, Helenio, dormu, belulino. Cae paciu racontos fabeloin. Credeble, ciui estas tieci. Cato, cae villaggia hundo, grisa museto, cae grilleto sub la forno, macul colora sturno en cagio, cae malpazema coco. Dormu helenio, tui la fabelo comencidios, yen la alta luno yam rigardas en la fenestron, yen strabale poro, ciu lame for curas, yen lupae oculoi, Cui eclumijas per flavae fairetoi. Al flugas maliuna pasero alla fenestro. Prapas per la beco sur vitron, cae demandas, Ciu baldau! Ciu estas ci tie, ciui collectiges, cae ciui attendas la fabelon al helenio. Unu oculeto de helenio dormas, alia rigardas. Unu oreleto de Helenio dormas, alia auscultas. Bayu, bayu, bayu. Mamen Sibiriak. 
Note. Bayou. Russa interjectio. Recantajo por domigi infanoin. Vocabulary. Ausculti. To listen. Ausculti. Fabelo. Story. Fabelo. Grisa. Grey. Grisa. Muso. Mouse. Muso. Grillo. Cricket. Grillo. Forno. Stove. Forno. Maculo. Spot. Maculo. Sturno. Starling. Sturno. Straba. Squinting. Straba. Leporo. Hair. Leporo. Lupo. Wolf. Lupo. Flava. Yellow. Flava. Beco. Beak. Beco. Pacio. Daddy. Pacio. End of Antalfabelo. Section 57 of the Esperanto Teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sonia Ellen Kisa. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non grammarians by Helen Fryer. Section 57. Et sinigio de ratino. El japanai racontoi. Mal yuna rato havis filinon. Ci volis et sinigi tiun ci, kun iu play forta en la mondo. Ci unue iris alla luno. Pensante che la luno estas la play forta en la mondo. Sed, la luno diris, Min tre ofte mal helpas la nubo, Cae min niel povas forpeli gin. Tiam ci sin turnis al la nubo, Pensante che la nubo estas pli forta o la luno. Sed, la nubo diris, Min ciam dispelas la vento, Cae mine niam povas algi contraustari. Trie ci iris al vento, pensante che la vento estas pli forta o la nubo. Sed la vento diris, la muro staras contra mi, ca mi tutte ne povas trapasi gin. Fine ci iris al la muro, pensante che la muro estas pli forta o la vento. Sed, la muro ancao diris, via familio ciam min mordadas, cae mi ne povas tion haltigi. Ien ci comprenis, che ratino nur devas etzinigi con rato, cae reveninte heimen, ci etzinigis sien filinon con iuna rato de sien aibarezzo. Co Kajiwara Nubo Cloud End of section fifty seven Recording by Sonia Ellen Kisa WWW dot KISA dot CA Chapter fifty eight of the Esperanto Teacher this is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Mike Conway. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non grammarians by Helen Fryer. Chapter 58. Infana Versaggio. Etamagno Frindre. Sidis inter Sindre. Etain Piet Fingroin Shivarmigis. Shin vidis patrineto punigis filineto, charsila novain vestoin malpurgis. John Ellis, L. The British Esperantist. Sindro, cinder, ash. Fingro, finger. End of chapter 58. Recording by Mike Conway, Denver, Colorado. www.dsemedia.com La Domo de Jacques, from the Esperanto Teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. 
All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Mike Conway. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians by Helen Fryer. La Domo de Jacques. Yen estas la domo construita de Jacques. Yen estas la greno kiu restis in la domo construita de Jacques. Yen estas la rato kiu manjis la greno kiu restis in la domo construita de Jacques. Yen estas la kato kiu mortigis la raton kiu manjis la greno kiu restis in la domo construita de Jacques. Yen estas la hundo, kiu tormentis la caton, kiu mortigis la raton, kiu mangis la grenon, kiu restis in le domo construita de Jacques. Yen estas la bovino, kun curba corno, kiu jetis la hundon, kiu tormentis la caton, kiu mortigis la raton, kiu mangis la grenon, kiu restis in le domo construita de Jacques. Yen estas tut sola, la virgulino, kiu melkis la bovinon, kiu jetis la hundon, Kiu tormentis la caton, kiu mortigis la raton, kiu mangis la grenon, kiu restis en la domo construita de Jack. Yen estas la viro, chifone vestita, kiu kisis la virgulinon tut solan, kiu melkis la bovinon, kiu jetis la hundon, kiu tormentis la caton, kiu mortigis la raton, kiu mangis la grenon, kiu restis en la domo construita de Jack. Yen estas la pragisto, tute razita, kiu edzigis la viron chifone vestitan, kiu kisis la virgulinon tut solan, kiu melkis la bovinon, kiu jetis la hundon, kiu turmentis la caton, kiu mortigis la raton, kiu mangis la grenon, kiu restis en la domo construita de Jacques. Yen estas la coco, matene criinta, kiu vekis la pragiston, tute razitan, kiu edzigis la viron. Chifone vestitan, kiu kisis la virgulinan tut solan, kiu melkis la bovinon, kiu jetis la hundon, kiu tormentis la caton, kiu mortigis la raton, kiu mangis la grenon, kiu restis en le domo construita de Jacques. Yen estas la farmomastro grensemanta, kiu posedis la cocon, matene criintan, kiu vekis la pregiston, tute razitan, kiu edzigis la viron. Chifone vestitan, kiu kisis la virgulinon tut solan, kiu melkis la bovinon, kiu jetis la hundon, kiu turmentis la caton, kiu mortigis la raton, kiu mangis la grenon, kiu restis en le domo construita de Jacques. Rato, rat. Cato, cat. Curba, curved. Corno, horn. Sola, alone, solitary. Milky, to milk. Milk is lacto. Chifono, rag. Farmi, to farm or take on lease. Semi, to sow, seed. Posedi, to possess. End of La Domo de Jacques. Recording by Mike Conway, Denver, Colorado. www.dsemedia.com Section 60 of The Esperanto Teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sonia Allen Kisa. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non grammarians, by Helen Fryer. Section 60. Ezopa Fabelo. Unu azeno trovis leon and felon. Gi ricevis la ideon vesti sur sin la felon, kai, shainigante sin leono, terurigi la homo in kai bestoin. Pensite, farite. La azeno shainis esti potenza leono. La unua viva estajo, kiun gi rencontis, estis malricha sed talenta comercisto, portanta kelkain comerzajoin sur sia dorso. Li terurigis vidante la leonon, kio tre amusis la azenon. Nun la azeno, intensante pli grandiki la efikon, ek blekis. Ia, ia, ia. 
sed jen nia komercisto rekonis la azenon per gia voĉo, kaptis ĝin kaj devigis ĝin vendi malkarege la leonan felon. El lingvo internacia. Azeno, as. Fellow, hide. Shiny, to seem to be. Comerci, to trade. Dorso, back. Intensi, to intend. Blecki, to cry like an animal. Cara, dear. Potenza, powerful. End of section 60. Recording by Sonia Allen Kisa. www.kisa.ca Section 61 of the Esperanto Teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sonia Allen Kisa. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians by Helen Fryer. Section 61. Proverboi. Etzo homara estas eraro. Nur tiu ne eraras kiuneniam ion faras. Por ricciulo fasto, por mal ricciulo festo. Mesuri lausia metro. Chia la semo, tia la ricolto. Ricigas ne en speso, sed prudenta el speso. Cun chia vi festas, tia vi estas. Ju plida juroi, des plida suspecto. Corvo al corvo oculo ne picas. En infano vidigas quia homo farigios. Unu foie stelinta restas ciam stelisto. Capo estas portio que gisorgu pricio. Belae racontoi el translamontoi. Mofo Zamenhof Fasto Fast Mesuri To measure Ricolto Harvest Enspeso Income El speso Outlay Juro Oath Suspecto Suspicion Corvo, raven. Piki, to stab. End of section 61. Recording by Sonia Allen Kisa, www.kisa.ca. Section 62 of The Esperanto Teacher. Lizzie. Elze Elizabeth. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher A Simple Course for Non Grammarians by Helen Fryer. Lizzie Elze Elizabeth. De Ferenc Herceg, el Hungarai Racontoi. Mi amis nur mian patrinon Kailizi, crome neniun en la tuta mondo. Con si, con Lizi, mi jam ligis amicetson, 
Ciam mia malgranda fratino mortis je angino. Tiam farigis tre silente en nia domo. Malantaue, circa la cevastalo, bruis ya la knaboi poste, kiel antaue, sed alla loggeio, ili proximigis nur sur la pied pintoi. Ili ne volis geni la nigre vestitan virinon, kiu sen cese, quasau sen spirite, la funebra in chambro in trapasis. De frua mateno, gis mal frua vespero, en penso en profundiginta, si travagis la logeion, sen ripose ciel la pendolo de l'orologio, quasau si eterne ion au ion certus. Ia foie, si malfermis la shrankoin cae tirkestoin la vizo. Tiam mi ciam vidis en sia mano malgrandain infano roboin, Shuoin kai antau tukoin, kiuin si longe rigardis kai caresis, po rilin de nove remete kun la pupoi la scrip kai eroi, kai ciui aliai objectoi, kiui iam appartenis al mia malgranda fratino. Primi si tute ne occupigis, si non pli amis la mortinton, ol ciuin vivantoin. Cae tamen en mi ciam steliris post ci. Se mi ia foie scian robon ec prenis, au scian bracon careses, porque si min nur remarcu, si ec regardis min indifferente per sciae carae de nocta plorado lazae oculoi, au diris, cion vi volas, Ianco, ciu mi devas doni al vi orangioin? Si tiam el tiris la tirkeston, kie la orangioi cusis, cae lasis men electi, ciom mi volis. Cae mi tute ne volis orangioin, mi nu restis ialusa ie mia malgranda mortinta fratino. Vocabulary Ligi, to bind, ligi. Angino, quinzi, angino. Stalo, stable stall stalo pinto point pinto geni to trouble disturb geni funebro morning funebro pendolo pendulum pendolo shranco cupboard shranco tirchesto draw tirchesto vizo turn vizo antautuco apron antautuco Lazza, weary, lazza. Jalousa, jealous, jalousa. End of lesson 62All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer Ventega Noctor de Heinrich Bandlau El Nord Germanae Racontoi La ventego criegis cae bruegis dum la maluma nocto, cae blovege pelis la folioin antausi. Cia sonado estis en la aero. De mal proxime venas la ventego, el la regiono cie estas la altai montoi, cae la granda acvo, el la malvarma nordo. Cio, cion gi ec captas dum voie, devas conflugi. Gi pelas la folio en alten, tiel ke ili kirle flugas, cae en sia timo saltas unu super la alia. Ien gi permesas al ili dum memento reconciigi, ili opinias ke nun cesis la sovagia pelado, ke ili povas tranquile, Malle vigi teren, 
jen la sovaĝulo ree e kaptas ilin kaj la ludo de nove komenciĝas nun ĝi estas en la torfejo tie ĝi trovas nenion kun kio ĝi povus petoli tiam ĝi atakas pluvnubon kiu ĵus volis ekpluvi puŝegas en ĝian flankon ĝis ĝi tuj disflugas jen la blovulo venas en la arbaron kaj furiozas inter la arboj kiuj ĝemas kaj krakas ankoraŭ salton kaj nun ĝi estas ĉe la lerneja domo kiu staras kaŝite en arbetaĵoj inter la du vilaĝoj ho kiel ĝi ĝoje kriegas ekvidante la malnovan kadukan domon tie ĉi mi devas eniĝi per ĉiuj pordoj ĝi bruegas kaj skuas ilin provante malfermegi ilin sed vane eĉ ne la lignan kovrilon de la truo en la frontono ĝi povas deŝiri kvankam la rustiĝintaj hokoj preskaŭ ne plu povas teni ĝin sed almenaŭ ĝi klakas kaj frapegas per ĝi tiom ke la edzino de la instruisto vekiĝas vocabulary nordo the north nordo kirli to whisk to twirl kirli konscii to be conscious konscii opinii to be of opinion opinii torfo peat torfo petoli to play to tease petoli furiosi to rage furiosi gemi to groan gemi kraki to crack crackle kraki kaduka decayed infirm kaduka skui to shake skui vane in vain vane frontono gable frontono rusti to rust rusti hoko hook hoko clacky to clack to clap clacky end of section sixty three The Esperanto Teacher, Section 64, N. Pirin. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher, A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians, by Helen Fryer. Section Sixty-four, N. Pirin, de Ivan Minchev, El Bulgarai Racontoi. Clime perdis la voyon, la blovegoi estis covrintai cion, valoin, montetoin, voyoin, campoin. Li eliris hierau ce bona vetero el la villaggio, cae nun? Dum tutai horoi li vagadis en pirin monto, kai li nest sias, kie li trovidas, kien li iras, kion li recontos. Li comprenis nur unu, ke mal proxime, mal proxime li estas de sia villaggio, en neconatai montai desertoi, en la regno del sovagei bestoi, kai de la pereo. Subite li ekvidis tra la crepusco multai nigrain ombroin, kiui iris sen brue sur la nejo. Kiu estas tiuci? Ciu lupoi? Ili estas tuta aro, kai venas de la dextra flanco. Ili boyas, li ekkuregas. La malsata aro rapide lin sequas kun sovagei boyoi. Cium da tempo li curis, li ne memoras. Antauli ciam nudajo, ciam deserto, ciam negia campo. Subite clime vidas, ke antaue ec movigias io. 
lumai punctoi brilas, kai lin rencontas, la bestaro el sendis kelkain lupoin por fermi lian iradon. Clime vidis teruran ne eviteblan morton. Tiam li re ecoregis kiel frenezulo maldextren al nova directo, sur ia crutajo mal supren, kai postli la lupoi. Li du foie implicigis yes sia scarpo, kiu trenis, kai li ec falis. Trovigente en la valo, clima gioia vides che li eniras en ian villagion. Chia giestas, ciu pomaca, ciu cristana, li ne pensas, char la luparo lin persecutas ec cienci. Ci iras post li ai calcanoi. Li enxovigis en ian pordegon, ciun versaine la ventego malfermis, cae li al curis alla fenestro, ciu lumis, cae la lupoi anca curas postli. Clime chovis mal gentile la pordon, cae en iris en neconatan domon. Li ec gemis, li vidis pulgaran cristanan domon, cae la sanct figuruion, cae antaugi la sanct lapeton. La flamo mal clare briletis, cae estingigis ancorau. El la crepusco eliris iai homoi. Li circau regardis mi rege. Cia li trovigas? Subite clime excias, che li estas en sia heimo. La cio povanto estis directinta lia en vagado en alia villaggio, alia domo, ciam li pensis che li iras en tutte malsaman directon. Footnote. Pomaco estas bulgaro fariginta mahometano. Vocabulary. Clime, a man's name. Clime. Blovego, storm. Blovego. Valo, valley. Valo. Sovaja, wild. Sovaja. Crepusco, twilight. Crepusco. Boyi, to bark. Boyi. Nuda, bear. Nuda. Puncto, point. Puncto. Eviti, to avoid, eviti. Freneza, crazy, freneza. Implici, to entangle, implici. Scarpo, scarf, scarpo. Persecuti, to follow in order to harm, persecuti. Shovi, to shove, push, shovi. Verschaine, apparently, verschaine. Estingi, to extinguish, estingi. End of section 64. The Esperanto Teacher, section 65. Somera Pluvado. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians, by Helen Fryer. Section 65, Somera Pluvado, de J. P. Jacobsen. El proso el danai norvegai autoroi. Estis premante varmege, la aero vibris pro varmo, cae crom tio estis tiel quieta, ne nio alia sin movis, ol la coccinelloi, tie sur la urticoi, cae celque da velcitae folioi, cui cusis sur la herbo, cae curbigis sin con etae ec movoi, quasau contiritae de la sunae radioi. Cae tiu homo sub la querco, li cusis spiregante cae melancolie. Sen espere li regardis supren alla cielo. Li cantetis iom, cae cedis, faifis per la buscio, cae cedis anco ietio, turnis cae returnis sin, 
rigardis malnovan talpan teratageton, kiu tute helgrizigis prosecetso. Subite, eta ronda nigra maculo, vidigis sur la grisa tero, ancora uno, tu, tri, quar, multai, ancora pliai, la tuta altageto farigis mal helgrisa. La aero estas nur longai mal helai streikoi, la folioi clinigis cae balancigis, sibleto pli lautigiantigis sublego, sonis, aquo fluegis teren. Cio briletis, fairetis, cracetis, folioi, branchoi, truncoi, cio brilis de aquagio, cio guteto falanta teren, herben, stonen, cien, Disrompigis cae disspruzis en miloin da etai perloi. Malgrandai gutoi pendis tia iom da tempo cae farigis grandai gutoi, mal suprenfalis tienci. Unuigis con aliai gutoi, formis fluetoin, malaperis en sulcetoin, en fluis grandain truoin cae el fluis malgrandain for conducis polvon, lignagetoin cae folio pezoin, Fixigis sur rifoin, cae de nove liperigis, turnigis cae ree surifigis. Folioin, ne istintain cune della tempo, ciam ili estis burgionoi, collectis la aquagio. Musco, neni igita de secchezzo, ex felis cae farigis mola, cifa, verda cae succlena. Cae scimo ciu prescau farigis polvo, disfatigis en graziae maculoi, cun brilo ciu silco. La convolvoloi lasis plenigi siain blancain calicoin gis la rando, interpusis ilin cae versis la acvon sur la capoin del urticoi. La dicae nigrae ar barlimacoi afablege rampis antauen, cae rigardis danke la cielon. Cae la homo? La nud capa homo staris mese en la pluvo. La sante la gutoin sibli en haroin, provoin, oculoin, nason, buchon, cracetis per la fingroi e la pluvo. Iom levis ia foie la piedoin, quasau li intensis danzi. Excuis iam ca iam sian capon, ciam tromulte da acvo estes en la haroi, Plen gorge cantis sen pripensante tion cion li cantis, tiel plene la pluvado lin ocupis. Vocabulary. Vibri, to vibrate. Vibri. Coccinello, ladybird. Coccinello. Urtico, nettle. Urtico. Velki, to wither. Velki. Fifi, to whistle. Fifi. Talpo. Mole, talpo, streco, streak, streco, clini, to bend, clini, sibli, to hiss, sibli, spruzzi, to spurt, to gush, spruzzi, sulco, furrow, sulco, truo, hole, truo, rifo, reef, rifo, burgiono, bud, burgiono, Musco, mos, musco, schweli, to swell, schweli, chifi, to crinkle, crumple, chifi, shimo, mildew, mold, shimo, grazia, graceful, grazia, convolvolo, convolvulus, convolvolo, calico, chalice, calyx, calico, limaco, slug, limaco, brovo, brow, Bravo, nuda, bear, nuda. End of section sixty five. Somera pluvado. The Esperanto teacher, section sixty six. Kion ne comprenas la hirundoi kai papilioi. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org.
the Esperanto teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians by Helen Fryer. Section 66. Kion ne comprenas la hirundoi kai papilioi. De Victor Gomulitsky, el pola antologio. Iom pli mal proxime cusis flava gren campo. Malalta barilo apartigis gin del construajoi kai del mal granda placeto antau ili. La barilo formis angulon kai en la loco Kie cunigis du giai obliquvai duonoi, gi havis portegon, altan largian, cae en tiu momento tute malfermitan. Ni proximigis al la malalta barilo. Agno ne havis ancora sufficie da tempo por apogi al gi sian ombrelon, cae iam en la flava domo oni malfermis la pordon cae viro starigis cela soelo, cae laute demandis, Ciu vi iras exterlandon? Ni comprenis, la barilo, mal zorge construita el curbae bastonoi, estis io pli grava o limo de campara proprajo. Ci tiu barilo apartigis du nazioin, du landoin, du civilazioin, La secalo, crescanta posti, estis iam germana secalo. La ceianoi, chiui, ciel bluoi lumetoi, ruletis inter la spicoi, estis iam germanae ceianoi. Germana estis ec la vento, fluganta de tie cune con la miela odoro del convolvoloi. Compreneble, agno devis rifusi al si la ricigon de sia buchedo per germano e floroi, cae si tuit ti igis prigi la laute demantan viron. Li reigis domon tranquilliginta, sed sendube dec celcae paroi da viglae, quancam nevideblae oculoi observis ciuin niain movoin. Cun stranga sento, ni comensis rigardi circaue. Cial, demandis agno, large malfermante la oculoin, sequi la spico, ciu el crescis tieci el graino al portita de tie de la vento, estas nia, sed milionoi da aliai spicoi, giai fratoi, estas fremdai nur tial, che ili crescas unu passion pli mal proxime. Mi penis clarigi al si, che tio ci estas tute natura, ec necessega. Por ciu? Anstato respondo, mi levis la schultroin. Occupatai della penso pri la divido, ni turnis la oculoin alla cielo, serciante anca surgi liman linion. Sed la cielo estis nur uno, ne dividita. Ni rigardis la sunon. Ancau la suno estis nur uno, ne dividita. En la sama momento, papilio, ciu sidis proxime de ni, sur la barilo, ca ien etendis, ien altiris siain rugiain flugiletoin, cun argenta subajo, rapide levigis ca transflugis a la germana flanco. Gi longe flirtis tie, Super la balanzi giantai spicoi, cae trovinte amicon au amicinon ancora pli tranquille revenis. Sam tempe, celci da hirundoi, antausentante proximigion de fumotondro, comensis con lauta pepado rond flugi mal proximen cae sen pune trans la limon. Vividas! e cria sanio con infana triunfo, la herundoi cae papilioi no consentas la necessetson, pri ciu vi tiel sage parolis. Ci ciui sen considerai vortoi mal gioigis men. Ah, agno, agno, diris mi riproce, ciu vi forgesis che la homo estas pli sagia cretajo o la flir temmai birdoi? Cae papilioe sempre pensai? 
vocabulary. Greno, corn, greno. Plazzo, place, square, plazzo. Apogi, to lean on, apogi. Ombrello, umbrella, parasol, ombrello. Soilo, threshold, soilo. Lauta, loud, lauta. Secalo, rye, secalo. Ceyano, corn blue bottle. Ceyano. Mielo, honey, mielo. Buquedo, bouquet, buquedo. Paro, pear, paro. Spico, ear of corn, spico. Linio, line, linio. Papilio, butterfly, papilio. Flirti, to flutter, to wave, flirti. Fulmo, lightning. Fulmo, tondro, thunder, tondro, pepi, to chirp, pepi. End of section 66. Section 67 of the Esperanto Teacher. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sonia Allen Kisa. The Esperanto Teacher, a Simple Course for Non-Grammarians. By Helen Fryer. Section 67. Printempo Venus. Se la naturo rigidijas, de prem del vintro frostiganta. Se tute per la neige covrijas ye longe tero ector manta. Amico cara, vi ne ploru? Printempo Venus, cae somero. Che la naturo re floru, che verdu, revivi giutero. A. Nauman. End of section 67. Recording by Sonia Allen Kisa. www.kisa.ca The Esperanto Teacher, section 68. La Voyo. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non-grammarians, by Helen Fryer. Section 68. La Voyo, de L. Zamenhof. El fundamenta crestomatio. Tra densa malumo brilletas la celo, al chiu curagini iras, simile al stelo en nocta cielo, al ni la directon gidiras. Cae ni ne timigas la nocta e fantomoi, nec patoi del sorto, nec mocoi del homoi, Char clara cae recta cae tre definita, ci estas la voi electita. Nur recte curage cae ne flanquigiante, ni iru la voion celitan, ec guto malgranda constante frappante, traboras la monton granitan. L'espero l'obstino cae la pazienzo, Yen estas la signoi per quies potenzo, ni pascio post pascio, post longo laboro, atingos la celon en gloro. Ni semas cae semas, neniam la cijas, pril tempo e estontai pensante. Sent semoi perdijas, mil semoi perdijas, ni semas cae semas constante. Ho cesu, mocante la homo e admonas, ne cesu, ne cesu, en cor al ni sonas, obstine antauen, la nepoi vin benos, se vi paciense el tenos. Se longa se quezzo, au vento e subitae, vel cantain folio in desciras, Ni dancas la venton, cae repurigitae, ni forton pli freshan akiras. Ne mortos jam nia bravega anaro, cin jam ne timigas la vento, nec staro, 
obstina ji pashas, provita hardita, al cel uno foyon signita. Nur recte, courage, kai ne flankigiante, ni iru la voyon celitan, ech guto mal granda, constante frappante, traboras la monton granitan. L'espero, l'obstino, kai la pazienzo, jen estas la signo e per kies potenzo, ni pascio post pascio post longa laboro, attingos la celon en gloro. Vocabulary Celo, aim, celo. Simile, like, simile. Fantomo, phantom, apparition, fantomo. Sorto, fate, sorto. Moco. Mockery, moco. Electi, to choose, electi. Flanco, side, flanco. Guto, drop, guto. Frappi, to strike, frappi. Bori, to bore, bori. Signo, sign, signo. Atingi, to attain, atingi. Lazza, weary, lazza. Semo, seed, semo. Chesi, to cease, chesi. Admoni, to exhort, admoni. Coro, heart, coro. Vento, wind, vento. Subita, sudden, subita. Velki, to wither, velki. Deshiri, to tear from, pluck off, deshiri. Akiri, to acquire. Akiri, provi, to make trial of, provi, hardi, to harden, hardi. End of section 68. Lavoyo. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater. The Esperanto Teacher, a simple course for non grammarians by Helen Fryer. El la parola de doctoro Ludovico Lazaro Zamenhof. En la Guildhall Urbo Londono, la dude cunuan de Augusto, mil nautsen sep. La dua culpigo, ni ofte devas audi. Estas tio, que ni esperantistoi estas malbonai patriotoi. Char tio esperantistoi, que ui tractas l'esperantismo en quilideon, predicas reciprocan justetson cae fratetson inter la popoloi. Cae, char lau la opinio de legentae chauvinistoi, Patriotismo consistas en malamo contra cio, cio ne estas nia, tial ni, lau ilia opinio, estas mal bonae patriotoi. Cai ili diras, que l'esperantistoi ne amas sien patruion. Contra tiu ci mensoga, mal nobla, cae calumnia culpigo, ni protestas plei energie, ni protestas per cio i fibroi de nia coro. Vi staras nun antau mia oculoi, mia cara litovuio, mia mal felicia patruio, ciun mi neniam povas forgesi, quan cam mi forlasis vin, ciel iuna knabo. Vi, ciun mi ofte vidas in miai sonjoi, vi, ciun nenia lia parto de la terro iam povo sans tatau in mia coro, vi attestu, ciu vin pli multe, pli corre, cae pli sincera amas. Ciu mi, idea esperantisto, ciu revis pri fratezzo inter ciui viai logiantoi, Quan cam ite vis pedarinde forlasi vin, simile al multae centoi da miloi da liae viae filoi, auciu tiui personoi, cioi desiras que vi appartenu nur al ili, cae cioi liae viae filoi estu rigardatae ciel fremduloi au sclavoi. 
ho patriotismo patriotismo kiam fine la homo lernos compreni juste vian senson kiam via sancta nomo cessos esti armilo en la mano de diversai mal honestuloi Kiam fine cio homo ricevos la raiton, kai la eblon, al gluigi per sia tutta coro al tiu pezzo da terro, kiu li nascis. Longe dauros an corao maluma nocto sur la terro, sed ne eterne ci dauros. Venus iam la tempo, kiam la homo i cessos esti lupoi unui contra aliai constato constante batali inter si el shiri la patruion unui al aliai per forte altrudi al si reciproque sian linguoin cae moroin ili vivos inter si pace cae frate in plena interconsento ili laboro sur la terro sur quiu ili vivas Cae contra tiui crudae fortoi de la naturo, ciui ilin ciui negale tacas. Cae cune, cae interconsente, ili celados ciui al unu vero, al unu felicio. Cae se iam venus tiu felicia tempo, ci estos la fructo de constanta, cae sen laza laborado de tiui homoi ciu in vividas nun en ci tiu chambrego, cae cies nomo ancora o tre mal multe conata, cae tre mal multe chatata, estas esperantistoi. El the British Esperantist Culpo, fault, culpo. Tracti, to treat. Tracti. Predici. To preach. Predici. Gento. Tribe. Race. Gento. Chauvinisto. Chauvinist. Chauvinisto. Litovuyo. Lithuania. Litovuyo. Sonjo. Dream. Sonjo Atesti to bear witness Atesti Revi to imagine dream Revi Bedauri to regret Bedauri Sclavo slave Sclavo Senso meaning Senso Raito right Raito al glui to glue to stick to attach al glui lupo wolf lupo trudi to obtrude trudi morro manners custom morro pazzo peace pazzo consenti to agree Consenti. Cruda. Crude. Rough. Raw. Cruda. Fructo. Fruit. Fructo. Shati. To prize. Appreciate. Like. Shati. End of section. End of the Esperanto teacher. A Simple Course for Non-Grammarians by Helen Fryer